Tell me when we're good, we're good. Okay, here we are, guys. 2023, this is my Aboriginal Rugby League knockout. I've got the big Foxy back. Hey, how good's that, Foxy? Oh, we yes, you missed me yesterday, didn't you, Ginge? Mate, we, we, oh, mate, tell you what. I had that many texts hard. and phone calls saying, get that John Jarrett off and get back in there. Mate, it was hard. It was hard, brother, I'll tell you now. But, <laughs> hey, what about, what about today, hey? Mate. This is what it's all about. We got through the women's section yesterday. I've done it without you. We're here today with the men's section. It's We've be got a... two great games to start today. Uh, we've got Murray John Memorial um, up against the Gordon Cope Memorial. So a, lot of, a lot of family connections in both teams here. Um, boys from Gordon Cup Memorial from out at Moree, Western New South Wales, and obviously the local uh, Murray John Memorial, Uncle Gungi, representing the family. Some nice gear going around here already, Bingy. Yeah, mate, there is. Strutty's have done a great hey, job. what about this today? You've got an option. You can listen to us commentate, or you can go straight to your live stream on ground two. You've got Yambora Roos up against the Casino, Casino All Blacks. Casino All Blacks, that'll be Foxy a cracker Roberts too. Is, Foxy Roberts up against Grant Brown. Oh, hey, how good What a that. game. But here we go, guys. Here we go. Strap yourselves in, viewers. Strap yourselves in, everybody. And we're going to go now live. We are for the Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout of 2023. And here we go. The kickoff for the first game. And we're underway. We're underway. Straight away, we've got the uh, Gordon Cope Memorial receiving the ball here. Straight up there. Nice run there by Cookie. This will be an interesting game, Les. As I said, mate, there's a lot of family connections here. The Gordon Cope Memorial and um, and the Murray John Memorial, the family connection is through um, the father of the Brown boys. Uh, obviously, he's got a... We, both him and myself are closely related to the Gordon Cope Memorial team boys out here. Uh, we're actually first cousins. Um, so this is a really... As I said yesterday, this is going to be an emotionally charged game, I think. Mate, yes. have a go at some of the players playing in this Murray John Hezekiah side. McKenzie here now with the ball. We Mate, all know what Hezekiah he's like. McKenzie. You've got Ryan Walker. And you know what, Chris? I've got a bit of trivia on Ryan Walker for you. You want to hear this one? Yeah, tell us, mate. Ryan Walker informs me last night he's never lost a game at the Lismore knockout. He's never lost a game. Never lost a game. Every so knockout he's played, he's, he's won. He's won. Okay, well, there you go. There's a good stat. We've yeah. got a couple of players that are playing this weekend, Les, that are in similar pathways. I've got you know, Jorah Breckenridge. He hasn't lost a knockout. He's won five straight, so he's five going for straight. six. He's going for six. What teams he jumped on He's playing on this for year? the uh, Nine Ball Brothers. Yeah. Uh, without, look at this, Corey McGrady. Corey McGrady in the half. Walker, oh, mate. What, what a halves pairing. What a halves pairing that is. You've got Khalil Hammond playing hooker. Sione Tonga out there playing. Oh, the number eight. Row. Yes. Uh, mate, I'll tell you what. Here's one for the crowd. The person that I think actually would say he owns Oaks Oval, um, a guy from up at North Queensland, um, Palm Island Way, Milton Thido. Yes. Milton Thido, we're going to get him up here and have a bit of a chat. How good was he as a I, player, I, mate? I, I run into Milton this morning. He's looking good too, but he tells me, nah, the body's too old. Mate, I'm not going to play. He's got an extended career. Lismore Workies. He's played, he's played here for the Lismore Workers. He's played for Ballina. Ballina. Uh, he then went on to play for the New South Wales Waratahs in Rugby Union. And then went, then went on to forge a career down at the Newcastle the Knights. The mighty Newcastle and Knights. And, mate, he's probably one of very few players that are here today in the crowd that could probably say he had the pleasure to play with what, what we now call the greatest halfback of all time in Andrew Johns. Um, oh, well, I'm not going to say that the greatest 5'8 of all time either, but Andrew Johns' other brother, Matthew. Um, so, are you mate, trying to be like Cody's other brother? Yeah, he's like Cody's other brother. Um, is he actually... Quick, quick bit of trivia. Is Cody's other brother playing today? No, nah, he's not playing today. Oh, geez, there you go. So, it's, so we've got Cody's other other brother out here, Ryan. Um, he's the double other brother. All right. So the Murray John team here working it out. No, they're working it. They're working it in, mate. They're attacking, mate. You had that day off, so I think you're a little bit. No, 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 That was mate, behind the line. Interesting. Ryan and um, and Corey McGrady have gone straight into that kick and chase game. Um, very smart, very experienced. So. I would have liked that one to stay in there, though. If, the, if there's ever a team that probably would likely at round one go through pretty, fur, pretty far in this competition this weekend, it would be Murray John, only because of their two experienced halves. I, I think they would be the most valued halves in this competition this weekend. Mate, Corey McGrady, we've, you know, we're lucky enough to have Corey play in our local comp here for a year. 
with Norman and I reckon he's got one of the best short kicking games that I've ever played with. So yeah, mate. Well, oh, there's a bit of. Oh, it's not. It's not trivia. There's there is a little bit of a. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. The halves pairing of the Murray John Memorial could could, could potentially could potentially uh, might even suit up for Northern next year. Northern United. Well, wouldn't that be good, mate? It'd be awesome. Gordon Cape Memorial on the attack here, going in, 20 metres out, straight into their game oh, great here. Great run there. Great run there, boy. We'll just have a look at who that is there. I think that's that's Jane Boy Smith. No? No, it's actually my nephew, Keenan. Nice little kick Keenan across. Duncan. Oh. Keenan Duncan, mate, number 23 out there. He's my nephew. He's um the son of another hitman. He's the son of Wesley Binge, um, who was renowned hitman in the knockouts. And uh, Keenan's out there suiting up today and taking his part in this team here for the Gordon Cope Memorial. So we've got Murray John now coming out, deep in their own half. It's Very like, tactical game It's like here. Kyle Binge is ready to come on the sideline here. Mate, yeah, this is my young bloke, number 17, so we'll see how he goes today. He was a little bit nervous yesterday. That would be his first time, would Corey it? Corey McGrady goes for the long ball here. Yeah. Pushing it out here. Nice run there. He stayed in as well. He's about five metres off halfway here. Ryan Walker, he's looking in here. Rashawn Brown, strong young kid here. He goes Sione Sione Tonga, Tonga on the attack. Two tackles left. He's got the ball away there. Willie Hammond Jr. of the ball. He's playing 13 today too. I really he, like Willie out there. Yeah, that, I too. actually oh, think that's his spot, mate. I, I actually think, think he's a quality too. 13, to be honest. Chris Brown here. Good hands He's had a big Chris year, Chris Brown. Brown. He's looking here. Ryan Walker's on the... Oh, oh so that's going to be six again. That's going to be six again. Uh, here we go. We've got a scrum here. Knock here on go. there from the... Mate, this is, the, this is probably Murray John Memorial's best attacking opportunity yeah, in this set half. Set six here within the 20. 12 minutes gone. Oh, so sorry, not 12 minutes gone. 12 minutes remaining in this game. Mate, it's a beautiful day here. Mate, it's it's actually a, this is a one this is this is a sort of weather you love to play. The ground's for looking good. Mate, I'll tell you, the crazier field. I know if people get an opportunity on the live stream on that one today, that's immaculate. It, it's probably the most outstanding field I've seen in a very long time, mate. Oh, it's got this venue, as I said, and I keep saying it. Bring on next year. Yeah, mate, I can't wait for it. Oh, well, this year's going to be great, but next year this is going to be an absolute uh, bell ringer venue to play at. Kyle Binge here. Oh, little, oh, little, oh, little, little rap little play. Run around. Hezekiah Find McKenzie. Find some space here, Hezekiah McKenzie, down that blind side. Oh, he's taken out there. First gotta, tackle there. For, you can't for fraught the... with that, um, that sideline. It is knockout footy. Is that Alan McKenzie out there too, Chris? Yeah, mate, Alan McKenzie's out there as well. He's he's uh, repping up for the Murray John Memorial team, playing against his uh, again, playing against his mob here from out at Moree. So he's got a close family connection up here with the Murray John team, young Alan. You can see straight across from the ground, got, got over here where the guys are just at now, the Murray John Memorial support team up on nice that hill. Nice tackle there from All Kyle the family. Binge. You got Nicky Roberts over there. You got Leone. I'd say Milo will be over there as well, Johnny Boy. All the uh, the, the sons and uh, all the son and daughters of the uh, late Murray John, Uncle Gungi. We've got the uh, Gordon Cope Memorial here trying to bring it out of their own half. We'll see what the defensive efforts here can be from the Murray John Memorial team. They're doing pretty good at this point. Two tackles left in this set. Looking on the short side here, going down, young Alan Mc... Oh, this is... This is young Mackenzie as well. Is that Mark Walker there too, number three from Murray John? Young Cra Sorry? Is that Mark Walker there, number three from Murray John as oh, well? I think it is. Oh! Jermaine Roberts. Mistake early. Mistake early. This is, again, this place is the Gordon Cope Memorial and really good attack and oh, space here down deep into the uh, Murray John half, 10 metres off, 20 metres off the try line. I'll be getting young Jaleel Brown into the action. As mate, soon he's as a special Chris. kid, Jaleel Brown. I, 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 mate, I've got everything crossed with young Jaleel Brown to take a big 
step forward this year outside of the knockout with Northern United um, as one of our young front rowers coming through. I think his development over this last 12 months, Les, has been absolutely brilliant. Here we go. Tuck Cup Memorial. Will Fernando on the attack here. Drop nice little under's ball. Nice little footwork there. Nice from bit the of footwork coming back in. And I think that was Tyrell. Neil Orr here. Here we go. Still. Five metres off the Murray John line. Gordon Cup Memorial on the attack here. Jumps out of dummy half. Oh, Ooh, very close there. there. Nice last ditch defence there by Willie Hammond. They look out to the right side. Will Fernando. Short ball. And. The first try in game one this morning goes to the Gordon Cope Memorial team. Takes a score for Murray John Memorial, nil. Yeah, the, that was good work there Murray from the Memorial, Memorial side. Memorial Capitalising on the mistake there from yeah, the kick downtown. Pretty sure it was our young Mark Pegas that scored that try. Showed a nice bit of footwork. Uh, found that line quite easy. Uh, the Murray John Memorial looked like their defensive efforts there were um, they were just grabbing or clutching at it and they weren't looking for the contact. They need to make contact. Knockout's all about contact and you've got to be able to you know, make those really big efforts in your defence. So Chris, I want to ask you yep. if, if, if the game is a draw at the end of full time is it go back to the first try first scorer? Try scorer mate. So it's very important, important to get the first yeah, try, mate, isn't it? It is. It's very important. And Gordon Cape Memorial have jumped out of the blocks there um, with the first try in this game. Um, this, I mean, you know what it's like. Les, I don't know about these no, close-ups, Gigi. Footy. He's not looking after us. Sorry? I don't know about these close-up shots. They're not looking after us. What are you talking about? What happened? Oh, did we get a bit of footage? Yeah, we're oh, close up too. <laughs> did I look all right? No, we didn't. Oh. <laughs> do I have to do anything to make myself look better? Or Probably what? not. <laughs> Well, you mean I can't look any better? We can't, both we, of us. We can't or I can't? We can't. We can't, there you go. It's a very close-up view of us. Mate, have a go. Like, this is this is game one. <laughs> this ground is starting to get packed out already. already. There's a big crowd over at the ground two up in the grandstands over there as well. How crazy it feels. It's what we've been waiting for all year. Getting a phone call coming there. Young Caleb Binge is looking on. Shout out to Caleb Binge. Shout out to Caleb Binge. He's trying to ring me. I'll probably, I'm not quite sure what he wants, but I'll give him a call um, probably after the game. If he wants to text me a message, I'm happy to look and review it while I can. He's probably telling me how good you I just looked. You can't your own personal messages through here. Yeah, oh, mate. <laughs> oh, they found the line here. Oh, it's on the full. No, no, no. no, no she's caught on the back. No, she she's saying it. She said she's caught on the back. She's calling back. She's holding the line. What's going here? Jermaine's making it. Jermaine, that's why you've got touch judges. You've got to listen to them. The young lady standing there, she, that tells me that she's obviously thought that that ball found the ground first. Yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on there. The referees today, they're not mic'd up, so could be an issue. So we got the Gordon Cup Memorial on the attack here now. They're about 40 metres out from the Murray John Memorial team's line. Big defence there, the number three for the Murray John team. I'll get the look at the uh, team list, Les, at half time. Yeah, so we actually I think can that get might a... be Mark Walker, but we'll double-check Here we that. go. I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. Just ask the Aaron prison, boys. Gordon on the attack here for the Gordon Cope Memorial team. You've got to watch him. He's a brilliant player, Aaron Gordon. Will Fernando, they're looking for the short ball. Oh, ball gone down. They had opportunities. They had numbers there, the Gordon Cope Memorial team. So score, the score at the moment in game one, I'll just get an indication of score at the moment, 6-0 here to the Gordon Cope Memorial team. And on the other field, 12-0. Oh, yeah, Bora has jumped away to a lead over there in ground two. 12-0 over the Casino All Blacks. Grant Brown will be pretty happy with that, I'd say, Les. Yeah, he'll be pumped up here. Let's get back to the live they got action a nice young side, too, the uh, number one. Yeah, Bora Roos over there. Willie Ammon out of 
the back of the scrum, passing that ball on. I'm going to get a read on who that number three is out there for the Murray John Memorial team. Jermaine Roberts here jumping out, having a bit of a look. The defensive work here from the Gordon Cope Memorial seems to be up to it though. Ryan Walker, Siani Tonga, ball down there. Straight on the attack, the GLC yeah, mate, Memorial. They're, they're not giving uh, the Murray John Memorial any breathing space here. Les. They're up to the task in defence, aren't they? Yeah, they are, mate. Nice 20 tackle. metres out. Second tackle here. Bit of a show and go. Big tackle there. Young Kyle around the legs. Jumping out of dummy half here. No, knock oh. on. And he's forced a mistake. Good work there from Kyle Binge. Good work to Kyle. He's put his hand straight up too. He wants a break. Put Jaleel Brown on. He looks a bit like Maui out there, doesn't he? <laughs> from Moana. Is that who he's called? Maui? <laughs> Here we are, look, there he goes. I told you, it's bad, isn't it? Mate, I think, oh, might just look a bit. Do we look, we actually looks, oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to say we look slim, but you are slim. Does that look better? Yeah, mate, yeah, no, yeah, that's all good. How good is it? What a view from up here as well, Alice. Mate, we've got the best seat in we the house. We've got the best seats in the house. It would have been better if we were in the air con, but anyway, this is good. Here we go, let's see what the Murray John team can do here. They haven't played much footy out of Oh, that half. was a strong run there. Bingy, they haven't played much footy out of their half yet, No, have they? they haven't, mate. And when they have been down here. Here we go, Alan, Alan McKenzie, McKenzie on the attack. Nice run. Oh! Nice There's run. a guy, McKenzie, was right off his hip looking for that ball. Yeah, I like that, though. I think go down, set it up for the next play. Get a Corey roll back. Corey McGrady, Siani Tonga straight up that middle again. <laughs> Willie Hammond looking, showing. Seeing what's through that middle. They're 30 metres out from the uh, Gordon Cup Memorial's line here. We've got a penalty here, I think. Yeah, push down in the ruck. Penalty here. This this will be an interesting set. They need if mate, they need points here now. There's, there's, uh, I'm not quite sure how long to go in this game at the moment. We've got four minutes to go in the first half here. Great attacking opportunity here with four minutes to go for the Murray Drum Memorial. Mate, they're going to have to look for a big set here. Let's I think. see what they can set up they're, here. They're going to need something going into half time with that first try, with that rule of that first try scorer. Still you no think, sign Liz? of Jaleel Brown yet, mate. Mate, they still haven't used him. I'd be, mate, I'd, I'd be get, I'd be getting this kid on. Big tackle there. Siani Tonga. Siani Tonga on the attack he's got, here. He's going to try and barge he's, he's his way over. He's trying to barge. He's far. He's close. Oh, he's, he's short. just off the line. They're looking to the left here. They're going back under. Corey McGrady with the ball. Bobbles. Goes back through the middle. Ryan Walker now. He's looking to have a bit of a shot out here with that number three. Very pretty, strong pretty run sure in this play. that's Marky Walker. Is that Marky Walker? I think it is. There you go. They're about a metre and a half off the line here on the attack. The Murray John Memorial team. Corey McGrady looking for a repeat set. Willie He's Hammond. got the ball back here. It's Willie this Hammond. It's going to be six again. Yes, it is. Or oh, Willie Hammond, sorry. Kyle Binge on the charge. He's over. Is he in? Oh, he's no, just he's, just, he's just off that line. Ryan Walker. Here he is. Yeah, Give me the fast. ball. Show me the line. Ryan Walker goes over for the Murray John Memorial team. Great try there, Ryan. I'm just going to say, Les, Kyle Binge sucked in about four players there, which opened up a bit of a space on the edge. I think that was pretty good effort there by Ryan Walker to have a look on the outside and find that line quite easy. Found space, mate, and... We know the experience that Ryan has when he sees that sort of stuff, mate. He, yeah, he just steps up and he takes that, up, doesn't takes, he? Yeah, he takes control. Great work there from the Murray John Memorial. They're on the board, 6-4 here with mate, the kick to come. Mate, if I was, I'm looking down here again, Jaleel Brown has not been put on yet, and I'm telling you now, if I'm going to get a player on that I want here out there comes. now, here he comes. Watch this young kid, Jaleel Brown, number 15 for the Murray John Memorial team. The efforts that he's got out, and he'll punch out in this game now. I just got big raps on this kid, and I think he's special. That was nice minutes there from Sione Tonga. I actually think it was his second stint, though. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. yeah. There he is. Look at him. Maui. <laughs> uh. Mate, there's some interesting blokes out I can see standing around down here. I'm looking down at the... Uh, at the tunnel area, young Akeem Torrance. 
Who's he playing for? We'll get a call. Well, who's he playing for today? He's got his hands up. He's a wanted man. I'll be watching him all day today, Akeem Torrance, when he gets out there. Mate, I'm going to fancy this call. It's an interjection here. I'll see what he wants. Hello. So that conversion was unsuccessful. So the score is GLC Memorial 6, Murray John Memorial 4. That was Caleb there saying how good Maui was playing, mate. <laughs> I want a bit of big, big shout out there to my grandson sitting back in his lounge room with his father watching his grandfather here commentary, young Charlie Binge. Love you, my boy. Here we go. Here's Jaleel Brown now on the charge. Straight into it, Jaleel Brown. Takes it out 30 metres off the Murray John Memorial line. Khalil Hammond giving it to Rashawn. Rashawn Brown, they've, they've been Great strong defense, in his yeah. defence on Rashawn. They've, they're not giving him much today, Les. No, they've been on to him. Chris Brown, short ball, tip on play. Walker again. They'll, they'll look to get Corey will come in here. He'll look into that early kick here now. Is that BJ? Yeah, I think that's young BJ. Yeah, there nice he is. Run. There right goes. on half time. As the car McKenzie jumps out. The Murray John Moore look inside. Big play here on the bell. He's strong again. He's going. Can he find the line? Yeah, and he finds there. a line. Murray John Memorial on the stroke of half time. Score in the corner. Gee, they, they wanted that one, didn't they? Been oh, right mate. before half time. If you want to, if you, I know they want. Uh, Gordon Cope Memorial scored the first try in this game, so it just gives them the advantage going right into the half time. We know it's changed over two straight away. There's no half time break. What a connection there down the left edge. Heads of Kai McKenzie, jumps out, finds. Alan, Alan McKenzie, McKenzie back inside, and I'm not quite sure who scored that try, that centre uh, out in that uh, left-hand side there. I just got a big shout-out here. My old brother boy back in Moree, Beasto, big Beasto, Jeremy Smith, singing out, and guess what he said? You're looking good, my brother. <laughs> Thanks, Beasto. Appreciate you it, look, bros. You are looking good, the ginge. I am, mate. Well, I mean, look, I've had a knee replacement, for those people that probably don't know. It's 14, 15 weeks on now. I've got a brand-new knee, titanium, they call me. Um, Man, since I've deal. had that, mate, I've had to lose a few kilos. So hopefully, touch wood, that all that pays off. And uh, in about another three months, so you never know, I could be back playing again. Must be all those beers you stopped drinking. Well, mate, yeah, I'm off it, uh, as you know. Just, mate, you're I, only just having one or two, no, there, which well, is I'm, good. I'm thinking about actually giving it away altogether, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's just a quite change, bit of a change of life for me. Conversion successful there by Corey McGrady. Takes a score there now. Murray John Memorial 12 <laughs> over the Ten. Gordon Cope. Memorial, 10-6. Yeah, so just to confirm the score, it's the Murray John Memorial, 10, GLC Memorial, 6. Oh, there you go. Les is on to the scoreline. So it's 10-6, is it? <laughs> Gee, you're lucky I'm back. Oh, no, mate, I struggled with that yesterday. Yeah, there's Murray Got a big, uh, another another big shout out there to uh, Caleb. He's got the day off from the mines today. I think he's out there sitting in the wonderful hot town of Wee War, um, sitting in the lounge room there, arm sharing it with his Caleb, son Charlie. Caleb won't answer his phone. Binge. Yeah, that's him. Caleb, Les said, answer your phone. Here we go. We're going to get away the second half here. I can't believe how good of a day it is. The crowd's piling in already. Yeah, mate, it is. We've got the second game, mate, to follow this game on ground one here. will be between the Torrance Descendants um, and the Victor Wright Edley Vale Memorial team from Kempsey. That'll be a great game, mate. And on ground yeah, mate, two, and on field two, we've got the Cubbawee Connections. Connection, KV Connections, we should call that. The Up KV, against KV, the... KV Cubbawee Connections. Versus Kambangi Yangay. That'll be a great John game. Jarrett, too, Dean Jarrett Memorial Team. Yeah. Here we go, straight into it. Second half, 20 minutes to go. BJ there, bringing it out. He looked like he might have... He's either pulled up a bit tight or he's uh, copped a bit of a knock there, BJ. But the Murray John Memorial is straight on the attack. 
Let's see if these. See Chris Brown here. He's been good, mate. I'll tell you. He's he he, he, adds, he gives a bit of edge of difference. He he has a good tip on in him. He plays a bit of five eight. He's a good oh, ball playing back rower. Got a mistake here, bit Bingy. Yep, this will be interesting. Mate, how good's the day going to be today? Mate, if you're around Lismore, Balna, anywhere here on the Northern Rivers, get here, pay your $10, come yeah, in the ground, and watch a great day of football. Oh, $10 is cheap day, for mate. how many massive day of games you're going to be watching. It is going to be an absolute bell ringer of a day. I think we've got to be... And you might even see an NRL player or two. Mate, but well, Braden Trindle's playing for... Uh, Country Coastal. Uh, Brian Kelly with the Nine Brothers. Brian Kelly's playing with the, with Nine Bull Brothers. So yeah, there'll I'm be. I'm hearing there. there's a couple more with Nine Bull Brothers, but yeah, we'll see how we we'll go. Wait and see how we go. So we've got the Gordon Cup Memorial on the attack out here. The number four and he's found oh, the line. Nice that defence got found there. wanting there. BJ, as I said earlier, he copped the knock and that ball he took out there, and that'll take the score now to. The Gordon Cope Memorial 10 versus the Murray John Memorial 10 as well. The first try scorer in this game being the Gordon Cope Memorial. So. Yes, that first try scoring is very important here in the knockout. Well, mate, as I just said, I'm looking down here now again and young BJ's over on his haunches and the bench down here, I'm not quite sure. The coaching staff need to have a look at that because... He got found wanting just then, Les, in that number four for the um, Gordon Cape Memorial basically strolled through. It's going to be a hot one today. I'm not quite sure what's going on down here, but the kick... Uh, oh, no, he's just, he's just he's slowing it down. Right, Try scorer. Down, mate, the way they're sucking the water in it there, mate, it's already hot. I'm 32 at, today here. I'm having well. second thoughts. 30, 32 today. Oh, you're playing today, aren't you? Mm. What game do you play, mate? Mate, I'm over here, 11.30. Oh, 11.30, mate, you've got a couple of games up your sleeve before you get into the dressing sheds. Mate, you don't have to get in it. You got, can you just get dressed here and commentate while you're getting dressed? Yeah, I've already told them. Yeah. So it's 10 all here, ladies and gentlemen. With the, uh, we're probably about five minutes into the second half of the first game here on ground one between the Murray John Memorial and the Gordon Cope Memorial. Conversion to come here. Conversion unsuccessful. Score remains 10 all. First try scoring this game being the Gordon Cope Memorial. Murray John Memorial 10. Memorial 10. Good update on yeah, Big shout out out there to my niece back out, out in Moree as well. Gracie Dawn sitting back in the lounge room with her mum, Rebecca. Have a great day. Strap yourself in, Uncle. Go and get your mum to buy you all the chips, the chocolates, the lollies. There he is, the man, Jaira Breckenridge. Yeah, the mate. Knockout specialist. The knockout specialist is here. Jaira Breckenridge, the knockout specialist. Get mum to buy all the uh, chocolates, lollies, drinks and everything today, Gracie, and get into the lounge room and watch Uncle commentate and bring the game live to the lounge rooms of... All the uh, viewing audience out there today on the live stream. Here we go here now. The Gordon Cope Memorial. Coming out of their own half. Oh, big defence there. Alan McKenzie. Oh, the nice defence there, but not hitting the stick yeah, again, end. Again, BJ looks like he's spent, mate. They, they actually have to have a look at that. Yeah, I think they need to make a change here. Oh, oh ball down there. Here we go, Murray John. So, Christo, today, straight out knockout. So Yeah, mate, that's how it works once here. Once you beat, you're gone. Yeah, that's it. Once you're out, you're out, mate. She's knockout rules. Have a look over here. I think this is a Cowboy Connection over here. Don't their gear look good today? Mate, there's 
beautiful gear everywhere I'm Mate, looking. Yeah, when we said that yesterday in the women's games, how good everyone suited up. And we've got Strutties, that of our, one of our major or goal sponsors of the event as well. And they... um. Mate, there he goes. Oh, McKenzie. there goes a guy, McKenzie here. Strutties, we're still waiting for the ginger yeah, and the mate. big fox shirts. We are, mate. We'll, we'll sort that out between the end of now and the end of the day, mate. We'll get back to the game here. He's doing a lot the of work. Isn't Memorial, he Brown? He's getting twenty metres out, work. going in, attacking in on the Gordon Cope Memorial try line here. A oh, nice it, defense. Oh, that's big defense. He's going to get it. I think he's lifting tackle lifting, there. Yeah. That was young Jaleel Brown that took the ball to the line. Nice defence, just lifted a bit too far. Yeah, a bit horizontal there in that tackle. It's a bit of feeling here in this game. Yeah, it's our Mandara Welder, mate. So he's going to be out there mouthing and he's going to be actually telling, he's going to get into the boys here. He, 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 play, he knows no other way, old Mandara, mate. He's, he's, he likes it hard, he likes it tough. That's the way he's, he, a, he's, he's a, a knockout, knockout footballer. footballer. <laughs> <laughs> but it was big defence there. Every team needs one of those. Oh, mate. Don't worry, he'll be out there with the best of them. He'll give as hard as he can. Murray John here, what are they going to do? Here we go now, Murray John on the attack here. Going to take Billy the Hammond two with the ball. Going to take the tap? No, 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 they're not taking the two. What's the score? 10 all, is it? Yes, yeah, 10 all, mate, 10 all. There's a lot of stoppages in this game. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I think it was just an injury coming off there, Chris, I think. Oh, Ooh. over the top there. Again, Mandara Weldon. Look at Iggy Walker. Yeah, they Corey McGrady, they're going out the back. Nice Again, nice pick there. up there. Was that Walker with the ball? I'll be coming out here and I'll be getting that ball in Alan McKenzie's hands if I was Murray John. Oh, another high shot there on Jaleel Brown. Forward pass. No, it's a high shot. Forward pass, mate. Oh, forward pass. There you go. Bit of feeling in this one, Bingy. Missed opportunity there from the Murray John side. Yeah, mate, they had an opportunity there, Les, and they've got to make the most of them. When you come down in the knockout and you get down the opposition's half, you've got to come away with points. I would have took the two. It's just that mental thing. It's the sneak, two points makes that front. big difference, yeah. Anyway, here we go. GLC Memorial working it out. GCL, mate. Oh, sorry. G GCM. GLC, sorry. My apologies. Mandara taking the ball straight to the middle of the defence there. Murray John holds strong. Chris Brown up. Nice Shutting that play down. Straight through the middle here. They're looking wide here. Oh, oh ball's gone astray. Picked up there. They're calling a the touch there. What have they called? No, they're calling a the touch there. Oh, they're calling knock on Murray John. Ball, GLC. 30 metres out off the Murray John line. 10 all in this game. We'll get a bit of an indication on how long gone. 10 minutes. Plenty 10 minutes left in this game. Plenty, Plenty of, of time in the knockout. The crowd's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, mate, they're, they're rolling in now. They're rolling in now. Here we go. GLC on the attack here. Over the Murray John. Looking for that big run here. The defence is up for it here though. A nice defence there. Could Ryan Walker. Ten all here still. Ten all. Good opportunity. Oh, here. that's oh. a forward pass. Oh, no. He's penalised. Intentional him. forward. That's an intentional forward. It's a penalty, the first penalty we've seen for an intentional forward pass. That's the round one. 
Yeah, it's the round one. Yeah. In the sheds. The canteen ladies have got it. The round one, it's a circular key. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to coordinate a knockout and also commentate at the same time. We've got people wanting every piece of me at the moment, Les. Oh, we might have a drop ball here. Oh, first play and they've dropped the ball. Jeez, they can't. You can't yeah. afford to be given those second chances. Is that Chris King in 16? I think it might be. I think That's it Chris is. King. <laughs> I think it is. Mate, how good does some of these gear look like? Mate, have that one walking up, there's that. I'm not quite sure what team that is. Might but be Torrens Descendants, I think. That gear is amazing. Yeah, it looks awesome. There he is, number nine. Here we go. Nice charge through the middle. GLC on the attack here. 30 metres out from the Murray John line. Offload. Second face play here. Bouncing off in the tackle. He's still bouncing off in the tackle here. Still going. Still going. Wrapped up eventually there by Chris Brown. They'd love a try here. Yeah, look, they're, going, they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to penetrate the middle of um, the Murray John Memorial team. Play on call. Chris King with the ball. I'd say there'd be about seven minutes remaining left in this game, Les. Alan McKenzie puts his hands up here and said, give me the ball. I need to get forward. Oh, he's looking for the penalty. No milk in today's game. Walker with the ball coming out. Tough game we've got here, Big oh, mate, this is, this is Typical knockout footy, knockout mate. football. Big run there. They're about seven metres off the halfway line here, the Murray John team. A nice kick early. Good work there. Early kick here by Willie Hammond out of dummy half. Deep down into the half of the GLC Memorial team. First tackle here. Oh, big hit. No penalty in that. Looked like James Roberts. Oh, nice They're trying there. to find space out here on the edges. The GLC Memorial team jumping out of dummy half. Again, forward pass. Forward pass call there. Mate, could this be the opportunity that the Murray John team need I to think, progress through? Mate, I think Corey McGrady and Ryan Walker need to put their hand mate, up here. Mate, if you're going to go to anyone, that's who you've got to go to now. The experience needs to tell the tale. So they're about 40 metres out, attacking in here, Les. So an update for field two. Yeah, Bora 22, Casino All Black 6. Here we go, the Murray John Memorial on the attack. First tackle, Alan McKenzie. Strong run there. Isaiah. Isaiah Brown. Brown. And oh, it's they've got a penalty. Mate, I don't I'd know here. I'm taking the two. I'd take the two. I'm taking the two. I'd take the two. Let's see what they're going to do. They're going to back their defence here or they're going to back their attack? I think they're going to go for the no, two. No, they've got to take the two. I'll be taking the two. Oh, let's have a look here. They can't make their mind up here. Yep, they're taking the two. Corey McGrady stepping up. We'll take the two. So they are taking the two here. We'll try and get a we'll try and get an uh, an accurate look at the time here. There's five minutes remaining in this first half. Yeah, I Murray John Memorial get a penalty in kick and range. They'll take the team to 12 if they Definitely. conversion successful. It'll be 12-10 with five minutes remaining. Corey McGrady lines up. I'm, I'm backing him in here, Les. I know we, we won't put the commentator's curse on, but I'm backing him in.
Yeah, quite easy, Corey. Well versed in that in that space. So Murray John Memorial. Now this has got to be the most important set for them coming out of the half, Les. They need a secure ball, get to the kick with a big chase. Yeah, Try and put this GLC Memorial team down in the corner here. There's still plenty of time for the GLC Memorial side. Oh, oh big collision. Play on, he's called. He's play on. They got the ball. He's called play on. Oh, nice, nice tackle there. there. This has got to be a big defensive set here by the Murray John Memorial. Gordon Cope Memorial's on the attack. Again, Isaiah Brown, big tackle there. He needed to make that. They're going to need everything they've got here. Nice little show and go. The defense we had Kaki Bum shooting out of the line as well. He's got to hold his shape. He can't shoot in these games. You leave a bit of space, I'll find you out. Nice ball. Nice short ball. Nice Mandara Wellen, offload. They're going wide, taken there. Two tackles left in this set. Three minutes left in the game. They're going wide. wide. They're looking for the long balls oh, are going long here. Long ball. That could be the shift on the defence. He needs to make the numbers, needs to make the tackle. Nothing silly here. This will be the last tackle. Can the Murray John defence hold? They're going to the middle. Mandara Weldon. He's looking. He's shaping. He's getting the flick pass going. A little kick in there. Play oh, on. Nice work Great there. set there Good by the Murray John set. Memorial team. We've got their supporters in the grandstand here. Gemma Roberts. She's telling them what to do. Yeah, this is very She's important. very animated here. Very important they don't make a mistake here, Benji. No doubt she'll be singing out for Sione. I'd say there'd be about two minutes left in this game, if that. What a game to start on ground one. What a cracker. They need a mistake-free set here, the Murray yeah, gonna, Memorial. It's a second tackle here. Willie Hammond, he'll just settle it. He'll do, he'll do the smart things. He's finding ground. He's looking for the quick play Good here. Play the ball. Marky Walker off the Marky back Marky Walker. Of it. That he, we've confirmed that he's Marky Walker. I'm saying it's Marky Walker. Okay, there you go. Well, I'm going with you today, Les. This has got to, they just want to roll the set out here and get to this kick. It's got to oh, be Willie a big Hammond's kick here. They'll be looking for Corey McGrady now. He, he'll manage the game from here, Corey. Yeah, straight to that kick. Big kick. Nice kick down. This could be a 40-20. Oh, oh, what a nice kick. Nice kick there from Corey McGrady. They need a big defensive set here. The Murray John team holding the uh, GLC team down here. There could be about a minute left in this game. Minute and a half. GLC trying to come out. Murray John defence up to it at this point. Three tackles to make, and you can hear Gemma Roberts in the background. They've got a long way to go here. Yeah, Benji. oh, mate, one minute in the knockout. They've got about 60 metres, 65 metres up to get upfield. Two tackles left in this set. What can happen here? Oh, nice Will little Fernando. chip. Got he looks, he shapes, he's, he's through the inside. middle. A little chip. He probably, oh, he's, oh, what's the call? Oh. Very, oh, he's called a knock on. That could be game. They had numbers there out wide too, I thought. Oh, I'm not quite sure what that call is, but he, he's saying that he's knocked Knock it on. on. It looked clean for me. Yeah, I think it might have been a drop ball. That could be game, Les. Yeah, I don't think there's too long to go. 16 seconds to go. Yeah, Gemma Roberts, she's telling us it's a good game, all right. It's a good game. <laughs> I'm hoping she's going to go away and sit on the other side of the <laughs> field after that game because we just needed a bit quieter over here, Les. <laughs> there there you is. go. The Murray John Memorial advance after a very <laughs> tense two minutes. So they will go through and play Cabestry Island. They'll go through now and progress their way through and they'll play Cabestry Island against you, Les. Yeah, mate. So... Mate, I'll tell you what, a very close game, right down to the wire, 12-10 to the Murray John Memorial team over the Gordon Cope Memorial.
as I said, there'd be a lot of feeling in that game, and that's exactly what it was, Les. Very family orientated game. But, mate, what a game to start the knockout. What a cracker to start hey? the knockout. How 12, good was that? 12 10. To come down to a penalty conversion. It's what you want to see, mate. So, game one over. We're going to now progress into the uh, second phase of game two between the Torrance Descendants up against the Victor Wright Edley Vale Memorial team. I'm going to leave you, Les for a minute while I go and sort out some uh, playing apparel for a couple of the other teams, mate. So, yeah, so keep us entertained, two. mate. Torrance Descendants versus the Victor Wright and Edley Vale Memorial will be coming up shortly. Stay tuned.
Yeah. So the Victor Horace. Wright team, mate, it's uh, it's a team in the purple set, and then you've got the Doc Torrance Descendants team, with the team in the uh, black and brown and yeah, white. So it, it's a uh, the Victor Wright Edley Vale. Is that like a Kempsey? Yeah, mate, it's a Kempsey team. It's um, Willie Lockwood, mate. He's the he's he's the uh, coach of that team today, and and one of their main stays. Will is. We all know Will Lockwood back in the playing days, mate. He was one of the best knockout footballers you could probably go on around in the day. So he's out there taking control of this team today. But we've got uh, the Torrance Descendants on the attack here. They've got a good young team. It's a family-orientated team. They're um, pushing down here now. They've got two sides. They'll play, yeah, they've got two teams in here today. The other one's Torrance Connections. Young Bucky's running that, that team, I think. So Bucky, Uncle Buck. Here we go now. <laughs> Getting right into it here. Victor Wright, Edley Vale with the ball coming out of their half. <laughs> 10, 15 metres out from their halfway line here. Oh, geez. Bit of a merry-go-round there. Nice little tuck down here on the left-hand edge. Oh, they oh. look good there going in. Back row goes down with the ball. Play on here, Les. Taking it back. Mate, it's pretty hard commentating and people oh, coming mate, up to you. And we just need a, a bit of a block out. We need to be up in that box in there. Yeah, that, that heat start, you can feel a little bit of that warmth coming in now, can't you? Knock on there Mistake by the Torres Descendant. So the Edley Vale team now get the ball in some really good space here to attack in. Let's see what they can come up with here. Obviously all representing the uh, Dungutty area. Kempsey region. Here they go on the attack, the Edley Vale. Victor Wright Memorial shifting out to that right hand edge. First tackle, 20 metres out. Trying to slow that, play the ball down. Have a look here. Shifts, shape, push through. Here we go. We're going to get shaped up here to the left-hand edge. Going in about 20 metres off the line. Strong run here. The big Rocky Rocco. Walker. He usually finds a line from there, Les. He's plenty of knockout experience there, isn't he? Oh, there? mate, he's got a wealth of it. They're looking, they're shaping, they're showing, they're going. The big front row here. Looking back in under. Strong run there from the hooker. Yeah, it's a strong run. Taking him in, in there, so he'll take it out 10. I need someone to kick us down to that coffee van in a minute, mate. <laughs> We've got the Torres Centre coming out of the half here, Les. They're 20 metres, their side of halfway. Shape and showing and going, he's gone through. He's gone through. He's, he's got, found space here. He's, he's got, got inside support. Side. He's, he's gone, gone away. He's got to take it himself. He's still looking for support. He's showing, he's got it. Oh, he took the ball down. I think they're only this. Two tackles left in his oh, set here. That's a There's long a time. It might have got to be a penalty. Oy. Oh, he's coming from behind and taking him out. Come on, boys, settle down. Oh, you're 
There's no need for that, boys. Let's pull back from that. So there's a penalty here to the Torrance Descendants team. He's called on a player out from the Edley Vale Memorial side. Penalty will be sufficient. So Torrance Descendants on the attack here. They're going to centre it straight away. They're going to have some shape both sides. They're looking on that. Having a shot on their left hand edge. Trying to find that space. Now they're shaping up looking hard. Oh, look nice at that. Nice step. He's oh, in. Oh, mate, he's in. What Great a try. Great footwork there, wasn't Great it? Great footwork, mate. There was some good vision too. I mean, he took that ball to the line, mate, and he showed it. He's seen that shooter in defence, and he found that space in behind. Straight to the line, mate, and then try time. 4-0. Kick to come. 4-0. Torrance Descendants. Great start to, the, uh, to their campaign in the uh, Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout here. Mate, while we're here, we probably want to thank some of our sponsors uh, for this weekend. We've got the New South Wales Aboriginal Land Council. We've got the Department of Aboriginal Affairs as our two major sponsors for the event this year. That combined with New South Wales Health District, also a major sponsor of the event. We've got our goal sponsors in the Bunjum Aboriginal Cooperative. We've got the iProud program. We've also got Transport New South Wales. We've got Strutties. If you're looking for some gear today, the apparel, they've got plenty of apparel over here. All the teams that are participating in this year's knockout. Strutties have got all their gear on sale today. Go over and tell them Chris sent you. Get the two for one deal. If they say no, tell them well, Foxy will be over there. So get over there, get some Strutties gear. Um, it's on the cheap at the moment, so... There's a, a lot of good gear over there. Hats, hoodies, bags, shorts, kids gear. They've got socks. Uh, they, mate, they've got it all over at the Australia's tent today. Any more sponsors, Benji? Yeah, mate. We've got Lives Live Well there over there as well. You've got uh, Department of... You've got the Corrective Services over there. You've got uh, Southern Cross University. You've got... Uh, I think you've also got Jarjum, Jarjums. So you've also got the uh, Nunja Jarjums as well as a, as a sponsor for the event this year. So, yeah, no, it's well sponsored, mate. Everyone's into it and uh, everyone's uh, their support is definitely welcomed by the club and the event uh, organisers. Myself has been the coordinator. We definitely appreciate that. So thank you to all our sponsors and uh, you'll see them throughout the day as well. Yeah. So here we go. Back to the game, mate. Torrance Descendants now come out, score 4-0. Was it 4-0? 6-0, sorry. 6-0 on game game two on field one here. Torrance Descendants here trying to work out from their own end. Very important they complete this set after scoring points. Nice run from oh, the middle. Oh, that's very now. strong. Sir. He's nice going through race. straight Still through going. the middle. Mate, I'll tell you, these young blokes for the uh, Torrance Descendants team, mate, they, uh, the, they look so good. We're going out here now. On that left-hand edge again, they're finding it. Nice oh, ball. nice ball around the corner. He's found it. He's free. The Torrance Descendants Torrance. find space. Oh, a little over-the-top tackle in the end, but... Nice try there. Nice to try there, Torrance. mate. Nice try there to the Torrance Descendants. Torrance Descendants, they're on at the moment. Takes the score. Torrance Descendants, 10 with a kick to come. I think that's Leon Torrance's young son. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's James Torrance. James Torrance has scored that try. Very strong player, mate. Good experience. He's got a, he's had Queensland Cup experience as well in New South Wales Cup. He's played lower grades. Played in the grand final the, uh, with the South Grafton Rebels this, this year, year. Did he? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they end up going down this year, didn't they? Got beaten the grand 20 final. 20-something yeah. to 6, is that right? I'm not too sure of the score. Talking about NRL boys, here we got two. We've got Tremaine Spry coming in with uh, Brian Bud Kelly. Kell walking in as well. He's looking Playing for the Nine Bull Descendants, or Nine Bull Brothers. Off. 
Here he is, Cody Walker. No, it's not. It's the other brother. The undefeated Ryan. knockout player. The undefeated knockout player. He's, he's, uh, his record still stands to this point. Conversion oh, to come here. About, you're talking about legends. Look at that legend in the tunnel right there. Steve Kelly. Stephen Kelly, is he playing today? Or? Yeah, he's having a run. How good's that? Noble Brothers. Really? No, I don't know. <laughs> Conversion successful. There you go. Torres descendants go out to a 12 nil lead over the Victor Wright Edley Vale Memorial team representing the Dungati country and their families. But who we got over on field two? We'll just get a check on the field two score. Kabui Connections and uh, Gumbangi Yangay. That'll Try be the Dean Jarrett Memorial team. Big run here by the front rower. Oh, mate, close game over there on ground two. Gumbangi Yangay six. Kabui Connections four. That's the, uh, that's the score line over on ground two. That's also live stream today, guys. You've got an option today which you want to, which game you want to watch. Or uh, you can either watch Field 2 with no commentary or you can stay with the Gingy and the Fox. Stay with the Gingy and the Fox. Why on ground one here there? today with the call nice all the kid. way through to the last game of the day today on ground one. I really liking the look of this Torrance, Torrance side early, mate. No. Yeah, Half mate, they're very, nice very controlled football team, mate. Young Akeem Torrance is out there as well. Grant Brown's up here at the table. Obviously, the Ambor Roos progressed through to the next phase of the knockout. I'm looking over at Grant, and he's got the biggest smile on his face. He's looking at me saying, I told you, Bingy, I told you. <laughs> hey, 40-20, Chris. 40-20, there you go. Torres Descendants. 40-20. Well, we've got a guest, special guest. Our first special guest of the day, we've got the Ambor Roos organiser, captain, coach, player. Grant Brown, how are you, brother? Yeah, I'm doing okay, thanks. Doing okay? Yeah. Good to have you, Buzz. Good, and good to see you pull that team together down there today down at Yamba. Oh, we'll just stop uh, you there Yamba quickly, Bingy. We've got a Sorry, try. Sorry, mate, we've got a try here. Try here to the Torrance descendants. They're in again. Was that a Keem Torrance? Jumping in out of dummy half? Didn't I think it was. it was. Yeah, Keem, yep, very okay. smart player. Obviously played over here with us at Northern this year. All right, mate. mate he's back he's over played a lot of first grade. Just takes that score out there now to Torrance descendants. 16. Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial, yet to score. Mate, you, uh, you you pull this team together from down at Yamba, brother, down in the McLean region, representing the mob down there, all the Eagle crew. Mate, very young football team. You got, you'd got you be one of the uh, older statesmen in the team down there, mate. And uh, you got through, through, through to round one and you got a win in that game and you progressed through the knockout, mate. How was it? Yeah, it was um, very good to see that young bunch, you know, play with just pure pride and ticker. That's all I ask, that we turn up. We, we play knockouts for a reason, you know. We, we play to represent our mob and our communities and our fans. And the results come naturally if you, you go out there and you give it all you got, whether you're winning or losing, you know. Um, so just very proud to be a part of. Um, yeah, definitely nicknamed Pop in the team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, there's nothing better than representing your home, home community, is there? Oh. Uh, you know, it's it's been we know how many years. You know, like in just local local Aboriginal knockouts. You know, we got to represent our mob within the tournament that you know a few years back. But it's not the same when you you know you're going out there and you got all your fam, your your friends. You know, we have got mob up from Wollongong come to represent you yeah, awesome, this bro. this you know this weekend. So it's 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 special. You know, these are memories made and they last a lifetime. Mate, you'll progress your way through to round two. You'll be coming up against the uh, Country Coastal Brothers uh, at 11.30. Mate, again, just to get through that round one with those young blokes you've got in that team. And, mate, you've had the privilege to play, be the first team post uh, the 2023 or 2022 floods to play on the new uh, ground over there at Crozier Field. How was it, mate? Oh, the facility over there, you know, it's going to be 
Yeah, A1 as it once it's finished and all done. But that ground, you know, it's I don't think I've ever played that Crozier like it before, but even back in the past when I played for United too, you know, it's 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 something different, it's special, it's good to see the community bounce back yeah. from that massive impact they had. Yeah, mate. So um once again we want to say thank you for taking the time and effort to come over and have a bit of a chat with us, brother. We'll try and catch up throughout the rest of the knockout, but um we're gonna let you get back to your team, mate. I know you've got a bit of planning to do between now and your play, I think at eleven thirty, so like, we want to wish you all the best, mate. Wish those young fellas all the best. Hold your head high, mate, and you're representing the, the Eagle Mob down there, and, mate, keep doing what you're doing, and you're doing a great job down there, mate, and those young boys will, you know, you'll see the fruit of that labour, mate, in the next few years coming through as well. So, well yeah. done, mate. Congratulations. Uh, muchly appreciated. Thanks, brother. And um, we'll just go into the next game doing the same thing we did in the first one, you know, playing on pure pride and ticker, and we'll see where the results leave us after that. Thank Thanks you, Thanks for the day, and good week for it, eh? Awesome, brother. Ta- good to have you. Good luck, bro. So, there mate, straight on the attack down here, it's 18-0 to the Torrance Descendants team here. They look very well, mate. They look like a good team. They do look like a good team, mate. They they're getting not, through they're their not, sets. They're kicking good. They're chasing. They're tackling. They're not just family connected. Um, they're not just family connected. They're um, they're football connected, mm. you know. So, uh, yeah, no, you can I see no that. I doubt a lot of these boys grew up playing footy together. It's really showing out here yeah, today, isn't it? definitely, mate, definitely. Mate, how good is um, how good has it been? You know, we're two games in, and my, the intensity and what's happening out here at the moment. I know I had to go down and settle what you know, my cousin down over there, bit bit fiery at the end of it. Um, you know, James Roberts, Kucky Bum, and him and Mandara seem to have a few words there, but two fiery characters trying to settle it all down. But we can't sort of have that. You know, we're, people are here. It's a family community event, so we want to make sure that everyone's safe, everyone's happy. Uh, we don't want to be putting up with all that sort of stuff, you know, on and off the field. So we want to make sure it's a good day, guys. So play within the spirit of the game, play within the spirit of the communities. Good opportunity here for the Victor Wright. Big Rock over with the chip and chase. Rocco. He's, got, he's kicked this. it through. Oh, he's, he might have scored. He scored. That's a Rocco special. Rocco's Rocky Walker. Chip, chase, regather, done it all. Front row. Are we going to see that today from you today, brother? Definitely not the chase bit, maybe a little <laughs> kick. <laughs> so big play there, Rocco Walker. He set the standard high for the front rowers early. Well, he needed he? to do something there, mate, simply for the fact that 18-0, just before half time, Edley Vale, you know, Victor Wright Memorial needed something and they found it, they found it in Rocco Walker. Is he going to kick the goal as well? Oh, why not? He might as well. <laughs> he might as well. Mate. Big shout out to my old cousin sitting back in his lounge room. He's already tuned in out there at Moree. Si Duncan, you love you, brother. You uh, Tish, hope he's having a great day. Can you please make sure you clean my pool uh, and make sure that you're out in that in that uh, you know pool having a nice day. Take the TV out. Listen to listen to us here at the uh, Gingy and Foxy game call for the Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout of 2023. You wouldn't believe who's asking for a shout out. Tomcat signs. Tomcat signs. Shout Mate, out to Tomcat signs. I'll tell you what. I know he, they probably think there's not. Just want to say to Tomcat, there's no competition with uh, what they're doing with their podcast and the call. But um, conversion successful there, mate. We've got the Gingy and Foxy podcast, Tomcat. And we know you guys do your thing, but um, again, it's not a competition. I think it's just great that we've got people like ourselves at the moment getting the game the Indigenous brand of that game out into the communities. And we've just taken that one little step further by going out and um, making our um, you know, our, our podcast and, and what we do here live on the calls, um, you know, and we do that again too with Bar TV. So how much fun is it, Leslie? There he is, the knockout legend, Stephen Kelly. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll size put it out. How good's old Bungeroy? Hey? That's the Bunjeroy Gomeroy connection. That's what they call me at times, Bunjeroy. Here we go now, Edley Vale back on the attack here. After points, just before half time, and he's knocked it on. I think he's calling a knock on here. So, first knock on to the Torrance Descendant. So, Edley Vale, Victor Wright Memorial will come back with the ball here now. There it right is. Right on half time, half so he's probably going to call that. It's a change straight over, guys, so we'll see what goes on from here.
score at the moment at half time is the Torres Descendants 18, Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial 6. We've got the uh, Niable brothers warming up over here too, ready for next game. They're up against the Muller Raiders. Mate, you got, got got caught out on the uh, live stream. I was on the I was, I was on there replying to some text messages. Oh. Look what happens? Hey, everyone, all the viewers, Gingy and the Fox. Hey, we sit back a, in your lounge room, enjoy we, what we do we, today. Can we get a zoom out a bit? Like, well, what's happening on? We're looking good. No, no, we look good, mate. We're, look, we're, we're shaping right up. Here we go now. Second half of footy, Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial with the ball coming out. They make it up to about that 30 metre line. 20 metres, their side of halfway. Good carry there, second carry there. The defensive line here for the Torrance Centre seems to be really strong as well, Les. We need another Rocco special. Here he goes, Rocco. Here goes Rocco. Rocco. Rocco's shows. playing a bit of 5-8. It's a bit of a 5-8 role here, the big fella. Last tackle here. Right on halfway. Victor Wright, they take the chance. Chance they're on. They're going to go down the side. Inside, outside. Oh, he's called it back here. No, oh, he's, he's put his foot in the touch. touch. Put his foot in the touch there. Nice little short side play there. Unfortunately, just put his foot on the line. Took a chance, went down the short side. Can't stop looking around at the crowd here, Gingy. It's, mate, it's mate, packing it's it out. Great crowd. We haven't even had a look at or had an opportunity, Les, to have a look at the uh, the games over at ground two. No. Um, but I'd say no doubt the crowd over there would be, the grandstand over there would be chockers at the moment. All right, Torrance descendants here, rucking it out. Update still on field six four two. over there on ground two, six close game. Torrance descendants, and they go through again. Looks They're like finding space. Corey they look inside Torrance. support. Yes, there inside it is. Inside Akeem Torrance. Akeem Torrance once again underneath the post oh, takes the score out now. Torrance descendants twenty two. Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial, six. Oh, he's a good player, Corey Torrance. What a he showed a bit of mate, footwork there. Hakeem Torrence, he's had a great year for Akeem Northern Torrance this year. On the inside. Mate, he's played his first full year of first grade in any competition. Um, his development throughout the year has been absolutely sensational. And he just his support play inside is interestingly enough. He can play six, seven or nine. And in this team, he's playing nine. And he's taking a bit of a, you know, a bit of a roving role in directing the team. But he also has a good support role through that middle. I like the look of this Torrance descendant side. Mate, they, be, they look like they're a team, Les, also, that's done a fair bit of work as a group of players that have trained together. Mm. I know we don't get very much time during the season for teams that compete in the knockout, but they look like a team that they've not just gelled because of their family connection, they've also gelled because they've done some work. Yeah, I have no doubt a lot of these boys have played together over the years too. They're just gelling together nicely. Conversion successful, mate. That's going to go out to 24, Torres Descendants. Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial, 6. I'll tell you what, Les. If there's one thing I am sure about, I'm going to get a triple shot latte with one sugar. <laughs> you need one, mate. You've been doing a lot of work this weekend. A triple shot latte with one sugar. Here we go. Nice high kick off here. They'd love a mistake here, the Memorial 
Memorial side. The Victor Wright and Edley Vale Memorial side. Yeah, they mate, they're looking the goods, as we said. I mean, with the Torrance Descendants here, I'm talking to. A nice contact there. Now here they go again, offloading, finding some space. Shifting. Whoa, oh, nice, nice little, little short, short pass ball. there. Again, the, the support oh, inside and outside of this team is... Inside, oh, he's knocked it on. He's knocked it on. Mate, they find space, these guys, and then the support inside and outside just seems to be there every time, but... Bit of a knock on there and a, an unlucky opportunity, but no doubt from my, you know, my view up here, they do look the goods, the Torrance descendants. A nice little skip to Malou there. Yeah, they're, they're, he's down the sideline here. They're going to have to find something, the Victor Wright team. Oh, he's knocked it oh, on. Knocked Just it when on. you think they're good, you know, they found space. They look good. Uh, they've, they've always, they seem to be coming up with their mistake riddle team. You know, apart from that lucky opportunity down here from Rocco uh, just before half time, they just haven't seemed to be in the game. The, the, the Torres Descendants guys here, just have dominated this game from the outset, mate, and they, they don't look like they're going to take their foot off the pedal either. We'll see if we can get an update on field two for you. Mate, the score's still 6-4 over mate, there. what a tight game. Bangi Yanga over the Cowboy Connection. Very tightly uh, contested game, that one. Again, for all those people out there viewing, you can actually go onto Mark Goff Media Sport or directly onto the uh, Northern United Facebook site and also the Fox and Gingy Facebook site. You can jump on there and find us uh, with the live streaming. Um, we'll get Les to fix I that up with Fox and eh? Gingy. We better put it up there, Foxy. But you can also watch the, the uh, entertainment on ground too. It's non-commentated, but the games are uh, streamed live on both grounds today. So the game's of your choice, which is a first for the Lismore knockout. Oh, inside-outside play here. And he finds the line here. What a try by the Torres descendants. Inside-outside play. No look pass. They find their way to the line in the corner. Takes the score there to the Torres descendants. 28. Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial. Nil. Oh, sorry, six. We've also got a send-off in that game. There's something that was said to the referee there, so we're not quite sure what was going on, but there's been a send-off as well. Sorry, Benji. I'm just trying to update our Gingy and Fox Facebook page. Torres descendants are looking the goods here today at the Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout for 2023 here at Oaks Oval. Kabawi 10, Gumbangi 6, update from field 2. Oh geez, that could be an upset on ground 2. Darren, 
I'm going to leave you over now, Fox, here to take the rest of this game out for me while I sort out a few issues here, mate. So, no doubt the viewers will uh, love the one-on-one -on -one time with the Foxy. <laughs> yeah, no worries, mate. I'll hold the fort down while you take off. Here we go, ready for kickoff here. Nice high kick. It's allowed to bounce. Cleaned up there from the Torrens descendant side. 20 out from their own line. Push it forward here, nice run. The defence was equal to the task. Harry Torrance, nice little short ball. They found their way through again here. The Torrance descended side. Nice covering tackle there from the Victor Wright and Edley Vale Memorial side. Here they go, the Torrance descenders. They put the foot down. Long ball over the top. James Torrance has got the ball. Looking for the try line. Nice defence there. They're a centimetre short. Oh, we've got a penalty for a rake. They'll have a full set of six, full set of six here, the Torrens descendants. Nice run there. Ooh, a little bit of a late flop there. Yeah, the ref's got it. Penalty there to the Victor Wright and Edley Vale Memorial. Nice touch finder on the 40 metre line. Inside their own half. Here we go. Nice big charge forward. Finding good metres. They really need a try here. The Victor Wright and Edley Vale Memorial. Slow play the ball. Rucking it. One out. Oh, wild pass there, but it's cleaned up. Offloaded. This tacking left. A little bit of a short side raid. Back to the middle. I'm back, Foxy. The Gigi's back. Did you feel lonely when I left, mate? I did feel lonely. It's different not having your right hand, man. Looks, looks like Kieran Vale here, scooting from dummy half. He's having a look. They're 20 metres out here, attacking in. The Victor Ryder Lee Vale Memorial team. I think the score's 30, is it, is it, the score's, sorry, 28, 28, 6 to the Torrance Descendants team here. Mate, I've got a heap of shout-outs going on, I mean, everyone's, my phone's off the hook at the moment, and Big Beasto keeps telling me how good I look when, when the camera goes to us, so I must be in pretty good shape, it's all that training starting to pay off, Les. Well, I've got a shout-out here from... Edric Mega Smith, he said, Christo's looking fit. When is he going to put the boots back on? Well, I'm going to make the announcement. I would love to uh, come back here next year and actually have a run with my three sons. So we'll see how we go. Eh? We'll work towards that goal. Um, and I reckon by this time next year, the major announcement in this year's Lismore Average Rugby League knockout that Chris Binge will be playing with his three sons, Caleb, Chris and Kyle. When's this? Next year in the knockout. Oh, yeah? What team's this for? Uh, we'll just make our own team up. <laughs> we'll call it Bungeroy. <laughs> here we go. The oh, Victor yeah, Rider really Memorial Team's come away with a consolation try. Takes that score now. 
to Torres Senators 28, Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial 10. Mate, interesting coaching uh, debut at the knockout this year for the Cabaway Connections, Milton Thiday. Yes. Well, he's coaching, coaching the arm. Um, and I'll tell you what, meeting him this morning, as we said earlier, how, how good does he look? He's he looks looking like he's really still good. Around, around, he's he? looking nice and He's shaped up. He said, mate. Mate, I, 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 I grabbed him by the arms and he he still looks rock solid. Yeah. <laughs> he said, mate, I'd love to play, but my knees are a bit sore these yeah, days. He's all good in the upper body, but his legs have failed him, he reckons. So, um, in saying that, mate, you know, having someone of Milton's calibre here. And what he's done in the game, both in rugby and also with the Knights. But also, mate, the, the entertainment he provided us yeah, here in this competition. Mate, we you know, love, Liz, we love Milton here in Lismore, oh, don't we? Yeah, mate, it was so good to see him this morning. What was that, 30 seconds to go, was it? 30 seconds to go here. I'd say the Torrance descendants will progress through to round two. I should be. Here we go. All those kids. Can you keep it on the bench? Come back to the behind the fence, please. You guys have got to sit on the bench. Back behind the fence. Now. I don't think there's too long to go in this one. Nah, mate, nice this little chip is about done. And I'd say, based on what I've seen in this game, Les, the Torres Descendant team, for me, they look the goods, eh? Yeah, they're looking really strong they're early. They're a real Torres knockout Descendants. branded sort of team. You know, they, they're not too big, uh, very mobile, but play a nice brand of footy, mate. They play that real knockout brand. Yeah, they just... Oh, oh look here. Intercept. Intercept taken Can here. Can he go all the way? The Victor Wright Ellie Vale Memorial. The chase is on between the two forwards. Oh, he's got the Off ball line. away. The chase is still on. Oh, oh, there you oh, go. Nice try. What a knockout try. Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial. Where was that for the first 20 minutes? Nice try there. Nice try there to the Victor Wright, Edley Vale Memorial side. Jermaine's pulled up sore already. Jermaine's pulled up sore already. <laughs> So there you go. I think there was a draw on ground two. And from what I'm hearing up here, the Cubway connection goes through on the first try scorer rule. We'll get a verification on that one. Ground two game, Cubway connection goes through on the first try scorer rule. Ten all, there you go. Ten all on ground two between the Gambangi Yangay and the Cubway connection. And the Cubway connection now advanced through to the next stage of the knockout. Cave, would be pretty happy with that, brother. He'd be loving it. So the two Sounds local like teams. Sounds like a cracking game over there, doesn't it? The two local teams. How long to go? Conversion successful with a minute 50 to go. Time is 28. Pick the right. Edley Bay. Edley Bay Memorial. 18. Well, mate, now that uh, the Gambangi Ango team's out, we might get John Jarrett to be the ground manager for the day. For the uh, day. For the day, mate. He'll love that. Yeah, well, he's got no choice. He's uh, he's a big part of our club, vice president of the Northern United Rugby League Footy Club, obviously the host club of the event today. Short kickoff here. Uh, looks like a knock on. Play on here, Torrance. Torrance Senna's the centre to the ball. ball here. Play on here. Again, Five look meters. at this. That, that's that real knockout brand of footy, the Torrance Descendants. They were very unlucky earlier, mate. They got through in that part. The last pass went for an intercept, so... Here they the go, back. set up the back. Torrens, a keen oh, Torrens. Akeem, going for the short ball. Score that forward. Overplayed his hand there, young Akeem. 
Mate, it looks like it's warming up here more. Mate, when we have the break, I hope we stay live if we can because we might as well get those shout-outs out of the way. I'm getting smashed <laughs> with shout-outs, and I don't know how much more I can take of it, to be totally honest. I've just got a call out there, I think, from my cousin Sylvia Swan. She's just heard the announcement that I made in relation to having a run next year, and it's definitely on the cards. She said, my big brother, watch you from Casino. Can't be over there today. You need to run the ball up. Be good to see you run around next year. You'll see me run around next year, my sister, for sure. There you might go. have a chat to your two Exclusive young fellas. Have a run news. with me. We'll put the, uh, we might put the old in the background. The Bunjeroy connection. Um, the Binge Bunjeroy Connection team in there. Yeah, that's the team that's going to be in the knockout here next year. Here we have it, Chris. Full time here. Torrance Descendants, 28. Oh, the Torrance Descendants. There you go. Run out winners, 28. 18. 18 over the Victor Wright Edley Vale Memorial team. They were a little bit worried at the end, but they pulled away with it. So, mate, what a day. So far, so good, eh? Two games down on both grounds. We've had some really great games happen on both those grounds. And... The winners of the game over there, as I said earlier on ground two, was the Cowboy Connection advancing through to the next stage of the knockout based on the first try score rule. So, really big day here. We're going to now progress into the next games of today. The 10 o'clock games here on field one is the Muller Raiders versus the Nine Bull Brothers. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about the Nine Bull Brothers. Been a lot of talk about them. We'll see what names, happens here today. Big names in this team. The we'll ground see. two game on at the same time is the Stony Gully team. Up against the Lismore Wanderers over on ground two on the Crozier Field. Again, all of our viewers, you can watch the games over there today on live stream. The only thing you won't have is the Gingy and Foxy commentary team will be quite well strapped into the Oaks Oval ground one venue today. Or well, at least up until about 11.30 when uh, my counterpart here, the Big Fox, has to venture out into the... Uh, Wide, wonderful world of playing rugby league. I'm, I'm warming up for my game next year with your team. Do I get a start or what? Well, mate, I was actually just going to, I know it's early, and I know we've got a long uh, weekend ahead of us, but I'm going to put it on your hard and cold right now. Are you up for a run in the Bunjeroy uh, binge <laughs> team next year here at the Lismore Knockout 2024? Well, if you're in, I've got to be in. It's yeah, the mate, that's and it. Big Fox. Yeah, we're going to have to find some commentary. I wonder well, if Goffey can get mics and mic us up while we're playing. Oh, well... How about we go next level? Let's We're going try. to do some roving mic stuff over the next you know, day or so. But we're looking around here. The media bloke, he's just gone at the moment. But when he comes back, we'll have a bit of a conversation with him to see if we can actually get an opportunity to um, be mic'd up when, when we both play next year. <laughs> All they're going to hear is... <laughs> well, that's what they'll hear from you, mate. I'm pretty fit at the moment. All those viewers can account for that too. Have a look. Mate, I'm getting so many positive comments from the people watching us on live stream at home. Mate, everyone's um, saying we are working hard off the field, aren't we, Les? Mate, stay in good condition. It's we, all those gingy, uh, uh, big foxy salad rolls. Well, mate, we, well, you know what? To be totally honest, with, I could have one of them right now, but we, I do need a coffee. If, I'll see if I can get a call out here. Um, I need a triple shot latte with one sugar. Uh, we'll quickly go to the coffee van very, very shortly. So. We've, I think we've got security. Are they looking for me, Leslie? Oh, I don't know. If they are, they're probably looking to take me out. <laughs> Definitely looking for me. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Les. Yeah, no worries. We're just having a... Uh, next teams are making their way to the field. Here on field one, Muller Raiders and the Niable Brothers. Yeah, so we're just waiting for these two teams to make their way on the field before we get underway here. We'll try and get a team list for this game. We can see Brian Kelly out there with the Noble Brothers. 
Tremaine Spry. Michael Roberts there too, fullback. And like Chris said, Jira Roberts, Breckenridge is there as well. He's going for his sixth straight, I think uh, Chris was saying. got the Muller Raiders and the Niable Brothers on the other side. Shouldn't be too far away for kickoff for this one. It looks like the Nyable brothers are the kickoff here to start this game. like Michael Roberts will get us away here with the kickoff. Okay, here we go, we're underway. Muller Raiders bringing it out. Nice scoot there from dummy half. At the 40 metre line here now. Nice little tip on play. Short side raid here early. Nice good, good metres here to start off the, for the Muller Raiders. Fifth tackle. Oh, nice pressure on the kicker. Kick down here from Michael Roberts to bring it back. Young Brett Kelly Worth, I think it is, taking it forward. Freddie Pitt coming in from work, grand final last week with the Boundless Seagulls. Nice set there, getting to their kick, putting it down in the corner. Oh, we've got a mistake early here. Knock on there from the Muller Raiders. Nice set from the Nyble brothers, getting to their kick. So they'll get an opportunity early here. Nice kick there. I think that's Kirill Phillips in the number six. Young Will James here, halfback. He had a good year with Northern United. Nicking with Kareel Phillips. We'll see what they can put on here. Scrum feed. Phillips with the ball now. Offload from Michael Roberts. Throws a dummy. Tries to slice through. Gets close there. Clarence Kelly from dummy half. He might be over here, Clarence Kelly. Yeah, first points here to the Nyable brothers. Clarence Kelly, too strong from dummy half. 
Takes Nibel Brothers four with a kick to come. Nice, nice start to the game there for the Nibel Brothers. Kick downtown, forced the mistake. Found points after that mistake from the Muller Raiders. So 4-0 here to the Niable Brothers. Brothers. Kick to come. Good look inside here, the Niable Brothers. Convergence is sex successful there, so it takes the score on to 6 0. Joshy Beach now bringing it forward. Nice carry there to start the game. We have John Jarrett here joining us in commentary now, mate. How's it going, boys? Yeah, good, mate. We've got some good action here today. Here we go. As the, they make sure, a break down like the right hand side. Tremaine Spry. Oh, he's Unlucky. gone into touch. They've caught it back. Yeah, the touch, he called that one back. Mate, That's tough game early for your boys. Yeah, well, the tough game. We ended up playing Cubaway, they local fellas. A um, lot of local boys there. It was a tough game. I think with only one try there, they got us in by. Um, yeah, so it was a good game. A lot of big crowd, mate. I'll tell you what, it is hot out there. Oh, hot. don't tell me that because you know yourself. I'm about to put the boots on. I haven't played for a while. I'm yeah. a bit worried. It's mate, looking hot. It is hot. Believe me, brother. I usually play um, big minutes in a regular season, but I can only last one half this time, but that's how hot it is. So I've got three minutes max, you're saying? Um, I think, mate, you're looking pretty good. I reckon you go maybe three and a half minutes for <laughs> yeah. 30 seconds. That'll do me. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. The Muller Raiders got the ball here now. So who the Muller boys got? Not sure, mate. We haven't got team lists here, but they're looking like a nice, strong side, the Muller side. They sure are. They look well drilled too. Look yeah, here they go right. now on the attack. Oh, nice defence there. Can we have Wayne Caldwell to the um, official table in the grandstand, please? Wayne Caldwell to the official table in the grandstand. So, Nyan Bobathers? Yeah, and our apologies for if we pronounce any pronunciations wrong. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying Niable Brothers and Muller Raiders. Okay, right So, Muller Raiders in the mostly green. Yep. And Niable Brothers in the dark colour jumpers. Oh, yeah. So, 6-0 any, any any, here so far. Any player to keep an eye on? Mate, I can see Brian Kelly out there, NRL player Brian Kelly. Oh, yep. Young Michael Roberts out there playing fullback. Good on him. Uh, Clarence Kelly. Clarence is playing. Clarence is playing. Kareel Phillips, 5'8". Oh, yeah. If your team is playing on field two, you can collect your team sheets from there. The boys are looking good. Here we go. Michael Roberts here with the ball now. There you go, young Will James. Try a little short ball. Behind the back, play the ball there. I haven't seen those in a couple of years. Muller's got the ball back. Here we go. Nice ship wide. Good contact there. That was good contact. They wrapped that ball up really well. And they put him on his back. Yeah, oh. Nice little show and go here from the Muller side. Quick play of the ball. Oh, oh nice, nice contact, contact there. Good offload. Shifted wide oh, here. There's shit. a bit of room Look out that. here. Look at that. In play. and away. What about that left foot step, mate? What one about on one. That little in and away. Yeah, that was Down amazing. the sideline. 
And that left foot step, he just lined him up, stood him up, and went bang on the outside. The not, Muller, many, mate, not many players can do that these no, days. No, mate. The Muller Raiders, they hit back. They sure Six did. points to four with a kick to come. Yes, they sure did. Looks like Nick McGrady there too, playing with the Muller Raiders. Yep, I can see him out there. That was a good try. That was a very good try, I think. They really worked that play up. You can see them go... Like they went way to the middle, a couple of played, and they was having that right big side. shift to yeah, the right. Big yeah. shift. They actually there was, a, there was two or three quick play the balls. Once they got them three quick play the balls, they went wide and caught them off, caught them flat footed. So six four with the conversion to come. That's it. Mate, Mate, this crowd looks like it's getting bigger and bigger every time I look around, like you mentioned. And that's not including the people that's sitting on the grandstand Mate, over there on field two. It is packed over on that other grandstand on field two. In that grandstand, it's just completely packed. You walk straight over here, and it's bloody packed all the way over here too. How I don't know how all these people are coming in. How good is it? It is amazing. I think it's great. Also, ball. if you can't make it here today, jump on Markoff Media Sports and watch it on live online. Hey, hang on. How can you say that when they don't know that because it's already live stream? Why don't you just say if you know anyone or if you want to spread the word, jump on Markoff Media. Okay, what you just said. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's sounds good. <laughs> Spread the word. But if you're in the area, get down here. It's a great day down here. That's him. That's exactly right. I think um, if we also have it on um, Northern United. have the link on their Facebook page and their Instagram page. So if anyone's looking to watch some games, share the link on your social media pages. They can click on the link in the bio on the Instagram. And it's also on the link in Facebook page in the comment section as well. Um, we all go. team delegates have been emailed the link as well, so all the team Della can share that link as well for everyone. The more live streams we got, the better, I think. Yeah, here we go, Muller Raiders bringing it out from their own, nice defence there from the Nibel brothers, young Will James in there with Brian Kelly, who is it? That's him. Playing second row. I oh, know, that's Brian Kelly you in know the what? second row. I'm he's done a one-on-one -on -one rake here. One -on -one, mate, he can play back row, lock, Fenner, he's defensively, he's strong. Yeah. He's absolutely strong, Brian. Who's that? The seven. Ethan Roberts. Who is it? That's Ethan. Ethan. He's Ethan Roberts. He's come off the back of a grand final with Ballina. Yeah. Kareel Phillips, long ball out there. There it is. Look at that. Nice try to Freddie Pitt. Another grand final player That's from last right. week. I agree. Mate, they looking good early here, the Noble brothers, but Muller Raiders are looking good too. They yeah. hit back before. That shit, that, We're going that, try for try at the that moment. That shift, and again, the boys are catching people out, which is pretty good as well. Yeah. Um, the, 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 ability, the ability to see other players out wide being isolated is pretty good. You have to have good vision for that stuff. Yes. That's why me and you will never play halfback a five. No, game. never. Never. So that takes Noble brothers out to ten. With the kick to come. I think for a second time, Leslie, second time in two days, we've got another Jared coming into the um, commentary. I just want to welcome back my auntie, one of our um, Mid-North Coast and Northern Rivers local legends, as well as a national, former national um, Australian women's rep player as well. Did you captain the Australian side? I'm not sure. Yeah. She, and, and captain of the women's side. So she's a pioneer in the game. How not good. only Not only is she a pioneer for women, she was one of the pioneers for our local Aboriginal women too. So a lot of our Aboriginal girls playing today. Got to thank this lady amongst a few other Aboriginal players to lace their boots up and lead the way. So pretty yeah. good. Thank you had a bit of a call that. yesterday, I believe. Yeah. How was it? Yeah, it was good. Was, well, it, that, was Bingy as good as me? Tell the truth. Uh, well, at the moment, it's on the path. So <laughs> now, 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 Bingy... John's got a lot of work to do, though. Mate, no, no, Bingy <laughs> yeah. never gave you as good of a rap as I did. Yeah, no, no, that I know. Yeah. That <laughs> was a good rap. That's true. <laughs> Conversion successful here, so that takes the Noble Brothers out to 12. Versus the Muller Raiders. Muller Raiders 6. Here we go. Nice deep kick. 
Young Will James collects it. Offloads to Liam Anderson to bring it forward. Liam Anderson. Nice little Good charge there. Him. Got to the 20. Whoa, oh, nice. Good line good speed line. here from the Muller Raiders. Oh, great. That was good line speed. Stop him right in his tracks. Nice tip on. The defence is up to it, though. Muller Raiders are doing up pretty well. They're doing a fantastic job. Hit back to the short side. Whoa. Oh, nearly intercept. Freddie here Pitt here making some metres. My buddy, um, you watch him play, his strength is quite deceptive and his speed. I'll say that about the bloke. Oh, we've got a mistake here. Just a forced offload there from Ethan Roberts. So, from your reports and gossips around um, the ground, who's the team to watch? Mate, I don't know. I haven't asked too many questions. Obviously, this Niable Brothers team's looking pretty good. Uh, there's a bit of a talk about the Country Coastal Brothers as well. They're yet to be in action. Yep. Uh, obviously, that game early with Kabawi and your side. Yep. Two strong teams. Also, mate, I've, I've really liked the look of the Torrens Descendants side this morning. Oh, they yeah. had a good win this morning. Yeah, who did they play? They beat the Victor Wright and Edley Vale Memorial side. And who were the who were the players to watch in that team? Uh, Akeem Torrens was strong. Corey Torrens, just a well-drilled side all over the park, I reckon. Yeah, them boys, I must say the the Western Bunjalung boys. Oh, nice oh, short ball go. here from the Muller Raiders. <coughs> The Western Bunjalung boys, you know, from out um, Tabulum and Casino, mate, they're a really skillful um, bunch of players, they are. Look oh. at this. Oh, goodness. Play on. Play on. That's a, that's, a, that's a knock on any day of the week. About 10 out here. He's gone from dummy half. Offload. Uh, looks like a knock on there from the Muller side. Unlucky there for the Muller side. Yeah, Knock they look on. dangerous there that first couple yeah, of Yeah, they look there. dangerous in that set. They made cheap yards this end, the green side. So, um, We've got the Muller Raiders in the green and the Niable Brothers in the darker colour. Yeah. Freddie Pitt here scooting from dummy half. Brian Kelly wants his hands on the ball here. He takes a charge for it now. Nice defence there from the Muller side. Here we go. Alan Roberts is on the field now. Oh, we've got a knock on there from Alan Roberts. We've got a very angry Chris Binge over there. Moving crowd behind the fence. What was We've got a very angry Chris Binge. Um, <laughs> I think I think the commentary is going to say a different side of him today. I, I think the heat from yesterday and this morning is starting yeah. into him. <laughs> <laughs> the Muller Raiders would like a try here, John, before half time, wouldn't they? Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and foot shuffle there. Yeah, bit of footwork. Defence was up to it. Muller Raiders haven't gone away, I'm telling you. Um, these boys are going hard, and they're working hard for each other. Oh, what do we got here? Six to go is the call. Yep, another set. Another set of six. That puts so them in a good position This here. puts them in a good position. Let's see what they come up with. <coughs> Takes it forward here, 20 yards. 20 out from the Nibel line. That's number two or number three. What tackle is that? I think that's tackle three. Here we go. Short, no, without the back. Long ball, oh, it's no. intercepted. Here we go, they're away. It looks like Tremaine Spry here for the Noble side with an intercept. Defence is coming. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. Under the, not under the post, unfortunately. I think that's Tremaine Spry there with the intercept. Good chase, good chase by 
um, the Malawaita player. He was he watched got, that. He yep. watched that from the start. Yep. In the set. Yep. He, he, Tremaine could have went under the goalpost, but the Muller boy, they kept chasing they kept and chasing him to hold him to the corners as well. That could be the difference. That can um, be. If he misses now, his goal, it kept Remember him. yesterday, Ledger, a bit of a head up yesterday, um, Ani Carroll and, and Chris were having um, discussion about if, goal, if people were going to kick conversion, and they were calling conversion before. And now saying they got it, got it, and everything that they said, it was the complete opposite. <laughs> so they were jinxing all the players. <laughs> okay, so yeah. what's your call here? No, 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 no please, you're, you're not doing jinx, it. Okay, you're not jinxing the player today. We've got to give them a fair go today. <laughs> um, so, but I must say, I'm not saying it's in or out, but he can kick conversions. Okay. I'll say that. So you're saying he can kick conversions, so that means he's going to miss now. <laughs> no, I just said he can kick a conversion. I didn't say it was in or out. Young Will, yeah, he can kick a ball, see if he can put this one over. How old Will? He's about 19, 20. Yeah. Young kid coming through and playing in the halves. Nice big I mean, year with Northern this year, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, he's put it over. He's got it over. There's now no commentator curse there. Fantastic <laughs> kick by Will James. That's what happened when you don't join it. So, good on him. So, yeah, it takes a score on to the Niable Brothers 18, Muller Raiders 6. Here's the kickoff. And Brian going to get it. Brian almost slipped up there. Mate, he got good hands. He can catch the ball under pressure any time, that boy. Man, he got one of the strongest legs to go in the game. Like, you can, you can hit him up high, and he just keep pumping those legs. He and a nice little players. offload there too, John, as you just saw. That's his uh, asset. I think his leg's power. Leg NRL, power, leg drive. NRL centre, but a knockout back rower. Put me anywhere, it's knockout. Yeah, that's right, brother. Put you on the wing today? Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> nice run here from Kai and Laurie, I think that is. Good metres. Look at these boys. They're offside. Wally Kelly and dummy half. Mikey Roberts, he's tried to chip. He's chip. regathered. He's got young Willie on the outside. He goes he's himself. Unfortunately, oh, nice offload. <laughs> Dry there, right on half time to the Nible brothers. Do you think Muller's going to go away? Do you know how to pronounce it? Am I pronouncing that properly, John? Do you know? Nible, Nable, Nable? Um, I think it depends on the who you talk to. Yep. Um, Our apologies if we're pronouncing it wrong. Yeah. Mate, we're pretty bad because we are both from Cabbage Tree Island and that is, that is our clan. Different people pronounce them differently. Yeah, that's right. Now, I know it's not the spelling, but it's the phonetics. That's so how you say it. Yep. So I'm, I'm reluctant to say it. Um, I, may, I feel like I may upset different people. Yep. So That's um, why I said our apologies if we're pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, so please forgive us, guys. Try there right on half time. Conversion to come. That was a good half by the boys down there. Um, I think Mullerwaders, I think they might still have a bit of a go in them. If Mullerwaders can score a try this next half, I think they're in four games. Yeah, if they can get a try early, they'll get that little sniff they need, won't they? And we'll I must say, I must say, the boys out there are quite strong on that right edge with Tremaine. Defensively and offensively, their danger's been with the ball and off the ball as well. They've been making some good tasks, good decisions, decision making in defence too. So um, their right edge is quite strong. That conversion was successful too, by the way. Conversion well, successful, so there we'll get you an so updated I'm score you, in a minute. It's, it's the real thing. <laughs> it was a different it goal kicker, all, mate. Was it, it was Michael Roberts that time. Well, he can kick too. <laughs> so <laughs> half time score, Niable Brothers 24, Muller Raiders 6. Tell me, John, is it odd out there in the middle uh, playing that first game? Yeah, it was. I was just saying. Like I, I, I normally play. I normally p play. Um, I normally play some minutes in footy, but today I absolutely struggled. Absolutely struggled. Hello. No. Um, I must say we're getting. I must say we're getting some yeah. messages, some Hurry raps up. from people. Um, Anika and Natalie and that we are, We're doing a great job. 
Um, though, well, he can make his way over. I think we aim. I think I must say Liam. his name. His name's Luke and Walker. And John's here with me. So, Luke, if you're listening to this, mate, um, I just want to say a, um, a big hey out to you and big shout out to you, my brother. Um, hey. I know I can't do as good a job as John's you, mate, here. but you know you're more than welcome to come up here and help, Liam. Then I'm happily, I'll happily step aside. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Second half underway. Michael Roberts here with the ball, offloading to Kai and Laurie, I think that is. That's, that's him. That nice, is him. good charge there to start off. Here we go, Malik kelly Torrens. Nice, strong run nice there. Nice, strong run there. Gets over to the 30. And look at that quick play of the ball. The ball quick play of the ball, and Freddie Pitt's taking advantage of that. Here he goes. Nice run from Freddie Pitt. He's got support on his inside. He's kicked it. And look at that Malawaita player chasing that. Oh, oh we we'll see who's got the ball and here. Josh is still making a decision. He's saying knock on there. On. It took a while for him to That's make that one, start. didn't he? That, that was, was a good start. start. Good Second start. Half. I think he should have went down there instead of kicking it. I but think he should have too. Uh, it might be a dropout here, is it? Yeah. yeah, we've got a dropout, sorry. James playing for the boys down there. We've got Jimmy the Jet too with the Nyable brothers. He, the, the grandfather coming after who we're playing for. Hmm. Here we go. Al Roberts with the ball now, charging forward. The, he the put a step on then, did he? Yeah, he rarely steps. <laughs> but you know what? Knock out, knock out, anything can happen. <laughs> yeah, We've got exactly. back rollers and front rollers doing chip and chases here. We've got wingers <laughs> running like front rollers. Mate, you would have missed it because you were playing at the same time. Rocco Walker grubbed through, regathered and scored. You're kidding me. Beautiful You're front. He set me. the standard for the front rollers for the day now. <laughs> Well, that's knockout footy, isn't it? That's yeah. knockout footy. Anything can happen. And you know what? The crowd will be sitting there cheering that on, I bet. They yeah. would have been sitting there cheering that one. Here we go. Class dude, I think Jira Roberts Breckenridge might be over here. A little crash play on the line. This yep, team, he's in. This team is just too strong. Chris is telling me that Jira Roberts Breckenridge is going for his sixth straight knockout. What? Win here? In a row. That's what Chris Binge is telling me. You're kidding me. Mate. That's the word. I don't know how correct he is. He's been known to be wrong. <laughs> oh, mate. Look, so that's we'll, why I'm sitting here in silence, because I'm trying to calculate. We'll try, I'll try, we'll try and get the man himself after the game, yeah, and we'll ask I, him. I think, I think it's a good idea. We need to hear it from the horse's mouth, yeah. because Chris tends to really pump some people's tyres up. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't, I don't want to go too much on my brother. Not saying he's a, um, a liar, but sometimes he gets things wrong. And you know yourself, Les, when we did um, come here the other day, we were setting things up, and there was a conversation about gazebos, yep. and he got that one wrong. Yeah. And he was not happy. He hates being wrong. Anyways, he's doing a great job, the binge. Hey? He's doing a great job, the binge. I'll give him that. Yeah, and that's the Conversion successful. successful. There we go. Get a score update for you. Yeah. This team is strong. Uh, I don't. They will be up there. Yeah, very very strong side, the, isn't it? Thirty to six here. The Nyable brothers over the Muller Raiders. Yeah, look, they got NRL experience with Brian Kelly, Tremaine Spry, yep. Jimmy the Jet. They Young do look Michael good. Roberts is one of the. He's been in the lower grades. Look at that kick. Is that was that a kick off? They got Kareel Phillips. Plenty of knockout experience. Yep. Here we Mate, go, Freddie Pitt. Look, you know what? I, I know the I know Jai has got a good track record for a little knockout, but Kareel got a good track or track record for a big knockout. Now I, I was saying earlier before you got here, Ryan Walker tells me he's undefeated so far in the Lismore knockout. Every Lismore knockout he's played in, he hasn't lost a game. Ryan. Ryan Walker. Well, that that is interesting. Here we go, Muller Raiders have got the ball here now. It's a good attacking opportunity for the Muller Raiders. I think so, and I agree. I really hope these boys can control their sets and get the play of the balls. Maybe I'll be able to catch these boys out. I hope so. Be a very good game. Whoa, that was a good tackle. Good nice numbers. defense there. Jai's shoulder, mate. He can hit that boy. Here we go. The nice little unders play here from the Muller side. Defense is up for it in the middle. Got something planned out here to the right. Shifting it. Shifting long go. ball. Freddie Pitt put the kick in. Yeah, they'll Maybe get six to go here. Actually, Josh stands the forward pass. Oh, he's, he's caught, caught a forward. forward pass. I got a bit excited there. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Be nice to see them boys with some ball on them. 
I'm um, playing some footy, so. I was saying before, John, everyone's gear's looking nice too. Like all the different teams, the jerseys are looking good. Yep. I think I think so too. I'm, I must say, Cabot Tree Island shirt, I actually really like. Looking good? I really like them ones. So, Lev, um, who, who, who the person that's organised all these for you? Uh, Des Anderson. Okay, so I'd like to speak to Des Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Des, if you're out there, mate, young Des or old Des? Old Des. Old Des. So, if old Des, if you're out there, brother, um, shout out my size is anywhere between uh, extra large to large, depend on the make, maybe medium if I want to look tight in it. But, <laughs> so, my Strutties have done a fantastic job. All right, Noble Brothers here with the ball now, rucking it out from their own 20. Al Roberts is coming to the sideline. Joshy Beach coming back into the action. That is a good rotation for a middle four. Nice rotation, isn't it? Nice little unders play there. The defence was up for it, though. Both teams are doing nice rotations, but... Yeah. Keep it fresh, aren't they, in this yeah, hot heat? In this hot heat. Out nice there. little scoot there. I don't know who the hooker is for the Noble Brothers. Do you know who that is there, John? Um, I'm trying to have they a look. they got a cheap penalty. <coughs> That's Brad Kelly. Oh, no. I'm not too sure who that is. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't, I can't pick it out. It's too far away. Brad like the Kelly's there, Brett Kelly's there playing the lock. Player. Brad Kelly playing lock today. Yeah. That's good. Mate, he can hit two, four guy. He's five, as, as lanky and skinny as he is. He's absolutely strong as well. He offers speed through the middle as well, Brad Kelly. Here we go. Muller's in a good position to attack That's the line good, again. Good control of that, Fat. Good control. Here goes Brett Kelly now. He's pretty strong, Brett Kelly. Nice run there. Good tackle in defence yep. there from the Muller Raiders. Another nice, another control tackle there. Here they go, back down to the right. Another control tackle. Kareel Phillips is calling the shots out here. He wants, his, he wants the ball. Here we go. Will James throws a dummy and goes. And, oh. oh he's short. Oh, Good he's work. in. Hang on. Hang on, he's, he's in. Call it. They That's a try, mate. Yeah, it's a try. It was not short. He backed himself there, young he's Will James. Him. Show and go. Nice try there to William James. I thought he was short, to be honest. I thought he was short, too. Looking from here, yeah. Again, I don't call plays beforehand. We do, don't because, we? <laughs> because we're not afraid of getting things wrong, are we? <laughs> you got to wait till after the play, and then well, bang. I couldn't see the line; it was pretty fading out there. At yeah, the that's moment. why I waited till the referee called it, and that's when I called the play. So, <laughs> mate, I'm right every time. Okay. I cannot be wrong with that. <laughs> They're kicking away here now, the Noble Brothers. I like the look of them early. Yeah. They're a strong-looking team. They are looking good. Yeah, they're getting a, the game getting away from other waiters, so. Plenty of experience in this noble side and lots of yeah. boys that have played footy together. They sure have, brother. They sure have. I think they've, they're really good with their halves. Kareel Phillips, young Will James, a mixture of experience and youth. Yep. They've also got a good balanced forward pack and outside backs as well. A lot of these boys have played footy all season um, in the NRRL World Competition. Um, some of the boys play with Cabbage, uh, with um, Evans Head, Northern United, um, Ballon of Seagulls. There may be a little more Miles Brothers in there somewhere, player. Um, but a lot of these boys have played together all year. And yeah, they young Wally them. Kelly's there from Miles Brothers. Yep. There you go. Wally Kelly can pull something out of the hat. So here we go. 36-6 the score is currently okay. Noble Brothers. I wonder, I wonder how long left. Update on field two for you. Stony Gully 12, Lismore Wanderers 10. Nice tight game over there. Must be a nice tight game. Someone just scored over there, but... I think there might be a try over there too, so we'll keep you updated. Here we go. Kick off again. Here Breckenridge comes Jira Breckenridge. That's a 20-metre run by Jira, and he's taken down on 25-metre. That's a good hit up. He put the team in a good field position already. Here goes Ethan Roberts. Who's the number four out there? I think young Tyrone Kelly's in that dummy half now. And no, here goes Joshy Beach. Tyrell, Tyrell Kelly. Yep. Tyrell Kelly. Number yep. four. Is he four, is he? Yeah. Yep. Playing dummy Jumping half. in the dummy half role. Yep. They're an under-18 player for Northern United. They give him some knockout experience. Joshy Beach putting his hand up again. He wants another charge. Kareel Phillips is demanding the ball here. Let's see what they got here. He's got the ball now, Phillips. He's kicked it. Chase is going through. Nice take there from the Muller fullback. 
That's with interesting. Nice from the brothers. Nice set from, from the Niable kickoff. brothers after scoring points. Yep. It's interesting to say, Les, that um, Tyrell he's having a good opportunity to play with his uncles. Yep. Um, he he's um, mother's um. His father's brothers are playing, and his mother's um, um, brothers are playing, I think, as well. So he's playing with both sides of his family out there. I think he may have recently have a birthday, 18th birthday, too, just in the last day or two, maybe. I'll double check that one. I'm surprised he's still playing. Um, if someone, if I turned 18 yesterday, I would not be playing. I don't know out. if it was through the week or <laughs> when it was. <laughs> Muller Raiders here pick up a penalty, which give them good opportunity in the Niable Brothers half here if they can get this kick down. What's your thoughts on the referees so far? Mate, referees always do a great job. We're lucky to have the referees. I think that they do an awesome job. It's hard work for them, you know, just as much as the players. They're out there in the hot heat as well. Yep. I agree. Like I said yesterday, if you don't notice the referees, they're doing a good job. Yeah, they are. Oh, what we got? What's, what's Josh called here? Josh Gollan, you might, I must say, Josh Gollan recently done the um, NRRL. Um, grand final. Um, he had a he had a pretty tough job. Um, Josh Gollan had a pretty tough job in the NRRL World Grand Final. He refereed the Grand Final first grade between um Ballin of Thigal and Cudgeon Hornet. And yeah, mate, yeah. So he done a great job out there. He come off the Grand Final himself. So a lot of these people talk about finals. We've got some referees who've done some finals too. They so definitely understand pressure footy. To be able to make tough decisions at crucial times. Especially at knockout level. That's it. That's exactly right. Chance for Raiders to attack here. Get some points on the board. Nice play. Oh. Unfortunately. Try go begging. Les, try went begging then. Yes, I missed that, sorry. Who's coming up next on this field, Les? Who's coming up next on this field? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 10.45 game it'll be, won't it? Field one. I think it might be the Julie's Rabbitohs versus Torrens Connections, I think. Might be the next game here. Nibel Brothers here get a penalty. Oh, they the far the fine the touch defense. here. I think nice work oh, there from no. the Muller Raiders. Didn't go out. They'll get the ball back here. See what they can do in this set. Here we go, the Muller Raiders here attacking. Oh, nice inside ball. Bit of footwork. Oh, another oh. nice little offload. I haven't gone Quick away, play have of the ball. Uh, oh, nice take there from the Nibor. He's gone. He's got some open space. Defence coming across. Offload. Oh, another knock on here. Play on for the Muller side. Nice, uh, exciting play there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Nice little passing off there. Oh, he's chipped he early. Oh, that no, could be a penalty here. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. yeah. Late tackle there after the kick. They've got opportunity now, Raiders, to attack the line once again. What can they do? We've got a couple of boys out there putting their hands up, ready to come off. Fatigue um, starting to kick. It's going to be a good game. Who's playing next? We just went through that, mate. Uh, we think it is the... Julia Roberts. Julie's Rabbitohs, Rabbitohs versus Torrens Connections, we think. Yep, and on field two. Uh, we think that will be Inverell Roosters versus Steve Williams Memorial. Yeah. 
Mullerade is here now, close to the line. Nice little offload. Can he get across the line? Just short there. Oh, oh mistake. mistake. That's the coach killer, Les. It is, isn't it? When they had opportunity to score. And they give it up again. They were looking tough there, the, the Muller side. Nibble brothers there, good defence on their own line. Yeah, exactly. About four and a half minutes to go here in this one. Here we go, Brian Kelly, straight off the scrum. Nice leg drive, as you were saying earlier, didn't you? He's got Sorry? good. Le he likes, got oh, nice, yeah. good leg drive, doesn't he? He uses his power on the legs. Man, of players going astray there. Here we go. Yeah, a bit of breakdown there. Yeah, a little bit of a nice little offload there. Joshy Beach just says, I'll take you forward. <laughs> He's a hard man to handle. I'll he is a that. hard man to handle. I played against Joshy Beach this year, and he is a hard man to handle. Phillips here, Phillip. nice long ball down the right-hand side. They've got a break. Jimmy the Jet. Uh, I would love to have seen him back himself. Oh, he's, what have we got here called? I would have loved to see Knock Jimmy on. the Jet back in. Yeah, side. put the foot down. Come on, James. You want to see you run hard, brother, and fast. He just ran and he just looked inside. It was always passing. I just want to see him put, put, put his foot down and put, put his foot down and <laughs> run. But, 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 but. I'm starting with now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at John Jarrett. Look straight off the field into the commentary box. Got That's his him. gear on still. That's him. <laughs> Well, you know, you got to wrap this stuff. <laughs> got to wrap it, brother. <laughs> scrum feed here for the Muller side. Nice carry there for the first play. Nice little quick feed oh. from dummy half. He's gone through. He's, He's chipped. To main there. Bang. Ones. Yeah. He was just jogging. Tremaine was just jogging. He, he had no... Offload. Nothing. He was just jogging. Bit of room here for Freddie Pitt. He's going to take him on on the outside. Here we go. Still There's going. Space. Back there through the space. middle. Found plenty of metres there, Freddie Pitt. That was a smart play. Go down with the ball and just play off the back of that. I like this Noble Brothers. They're, they're using their bench well. These big men are coming on, going off, coming on, going off. They're keeping them fresh. Yeah, exactly. And you need to with this heat. Brian Kelly here now with the ball. Here they come down this little Kareel Phillips again. Step long ball out here. Tremaine Spry. He <laughs> stepped back in the inside. Oh, try, try time. <laughs> nice try there. I think I might jinx this one. I, I think he's going to get it. Just for fun. Because uh, <laughs> I, I want to I help Muller Raiders out here. They're getting smashed, so I really want to help them out. I, I hope he gets the conversion. I really think the ref could put this one over. How are you doing the commentator's curse, are you? Yes, I want to. Just one, just one play. I want to help the bubble out here, Muller, Muller Raiders. They deserve it. One minute left to go here in this one. And what was the score there, mate? Did you hear that one? No, nah, sorry, mate. I was distracting. What was the score there, Mark? I think we said 40, to, 40 to 6 with the kick to come. Take this win away. Yeah, I think we can say safe to say that the Niable brothers will go through to the next round. Been some entertaining football in the second half, played here, but. Yeah, I think the Muller side too, like they've had some exciting plays. They've made some good breaks, a couple of little chips over the top. Little Just unlucky to get the bounce, weren't they? They were unlucky twice, the Raiders taking the line, making silly mistakes. Well, I thought it was a curse that doesn't go. work. <laughs> maybe I'm not as, um, you know, magic as you guys. Yeah, like maybe and, not. And, and Chris. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Muller. I really tried to help you there, boys. Sorry. Conversion successful. 42 
Mullerator six, not long to go here. Seconds going now. The Niable brothers, they will, they will advance on to the next round. There it is, the full-time siren. Niable brothers through to the next round. We'll be with you in a minute for the next game. If Torrance connected, to send their team sheet up please. Torrance connected, we need the team sheet.
Okay, now. It this is on. next game's about to start. Yep, it's on. But we've got, we're going to start this game. It's only just me and you, Honey Cack. Lev's gone off to get ready with Cabbage Street Island. And um, Chris Day's gone off to manage a protest. Yes. Yep, so. so it should be interesting commentary here today. Yep. And I must say it again. It's great to see two Jarrett's <laughs> in the commentary box again. Again. I'm loving it. Nice take. So Torrent descendants are on. And they're playing Julie Rabbitohs. I'm not sure how this te this way is going to go. Both teams look good. I can see Anthony Robinson out there playing for Torrent descendants. It's early to say. Torrent descendants is the black team. And Julie Rabbitohs, obviously, the green and red team. I wish both teams all the best. Yeah. Um, and I think it's going to be an interesting game. I think this game could go either, either way, way by the looks of things already. It's only early days. and There we go. Nice run there. And a nice takedown as well. Oh, Already a turnover. That's right. There's already a lot of energy for the Rabbitohs there. Rabbitohs in a good position to attack here. That was a 10, 15 metre run there. That was a good break. Simon, break. Makes Simon a difference Kelly. every time. That's the third tackle. They're at 10, 7 metres from the try line. How this going to go? And potentially it's a try. Mate, it is a try. I am, I'm not calling it until the ref set. gives it. First set, of the, first set of the game for the Rabbitohs, then they've scored a try. And it's, he's awarded it. So what? I'll say yes, that's a try. That, oh, okay. So I called it before. Yes. See, mate, I don't have any of that jinxing <laughs> stuff like you and Chris do. <laughs> that shows the mistake that was caused by Torrens. Uh, Rabbitohs was in a good position to attack, and they succeeded from it. So that brings it to scoreline four. With, With the, the kick, kick to come. come. <laughs> and don't the Torrens about get the, the score. <laughs> do not say anything about the kick. No, I'm not. But that was their first set by the Rabbitohs. And they scored straight up. Yeah, that's showing some goods there at the moment, but it's early stages still. Yep. But they're intense there, and they're here to play footy. Dev, I gave you a rap on here, brother, and I just want a shirt. I want a shirt, mate. I just gave you a rap on the commentary. He's not going to give me a shirt. How, how bad is that? We're still waiting for the kick. Bit of a breeze blowing up top here. Yep. I'm not sure about in the middle of the pitch, but. <laughs> and uh, it's the post. That there was the no score curve line. on that one. There was Adino out and hit the post, and it went out. <laughs> Unfortunately. Four minutes down in the first half on field one. Billy Travelos four. Torrens Connections nil. There we go. Julie Rabbitohs four. Torrens Connection nil. First half, first five minutes of the game's already started. Torrens Connection has kicked off. Nice kick to the corner. See what the Rabbitohs got in this set. Now that was a good run. That was a good 15 metre run hit up there. Simon by Kelly. Win Kelly. Nice tackle. He's gone down with that one. That was a good strong tackle there. Come over the top, slow that right down to get their line speed right. Just confirming the previous game score on field. Second two. phase is on. Sony Gully running out winners 16 to 10 over this more wonder. And that was another hit up. Oh, oh, bad mistake then. Unfortunately. Pushed that pass too much there. Yeah. Torrens are in a good attacking position, John. Oh, that was a nice hit up there. Okay. Bump look number nine. Number nine just got straight back up. And he went in for the tackle. 
You heard it here first, it's been announced that well, Kabawi Connection have played a non-Indigenous player. A protest went in and that protest has been won. Um, that was done by Independent Judiciary, Independent Committee. And um, Gumbanga Yangai goes to the next game. Kabawi has been disqualified, so you've heard it here first. Um, they played a non-Indigenous player, unfortunately. Um, and, and that's these, the way the rules run in the And knockouts. that's the consequence of knockout football, I think. Um, unfortunately, they did win the game but they did have a non-Indigenous player. Um, That's good news with the... If I were them, honestly, if I were them, I'd have ran out with 24 and won the game. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, know, back to this game. The Torrens got another set of six. They either attack the line. There we go. So, still 4-0. Conversion coming. Torrens connection. Done a short dropout. And unsuccessful and they've got the ball so the boys are on the attack already they're already it's going to be interesting how this plays out this set that's already the tackle there boys are set up over the right hand side which is looking good they're playing wide that's tackle three they've flown it right down to get the defensive line set time connection look like they're ready to roll Mate, they're building, they're, I think they're building up here for this set. They are building. But there's good defence by Rabbits at the moment. I agree. I think Harold Torrens is playing nine. Anthony Robinson playing oh, seven. Oh, there we oh. have it. There's the mistake they was waiting for. Good defence. That was a pressure tackle. If he, didn't, if he missed that tackle, that would have been a try, I think. Under the ball and knocks it out. Good, great defence. Great defensive read by Julie Rabbitohs. They're not going away, Torrance Connection. They are not going away. Oh, nice tackle. Quick play to ball. Look at that. Look at the metres on that one. Yeah, that from was a, a quick 15, play to 20 ball. 20 metre run. He's still going. That was second fade play. He's still on his feet. Torrance Connection that is scrambling great. really, really well. They are scrambling. Great run. And a kick's come in. There's a good chase coming in the back of that. One on one. And he's got it. Great tackle there. They got him in the corner. They got him great there. Great opportunity. Great kick. Great opportunity for Julie Rabbitohs. See how they go. They are defending well. They're holding them down in their 20. Torrance Connection are working hard. They are getting out. And that second phase that just might be what they need to get out of get themselves out of danger. Um, Julie Rabideau are working extremely hard here in defense. And here comes the kick. The protest that was launched was successful. And that will here we go. We've got another 20 meter run hit up. Bang. That was actually a 15 meter hit up. Tone's connection is scrambling really hard for each other. Julie Rabbitohs is working hard as well. The amount of ball these boys have, they're in good field positions actually play. They are. Look at that. Great tackle by Harold Torrin, also known as Bucky. Um, Bucky's worked extremely hard to put this team together. Bucky's also a very um, well-known um, member of our, of our Bunjalan community, um, Harold. Very highly respected. Oh, there's the mistake. I think that's a turnover there. This game can this still game. go either way. It's, it's going to depend on who played the clutch moment good. There hasn't been much of an opportunity to play clutch moment at this stage. The, um, the mistake rate's pretty high in, on both sides. Handovers. Would, would you, someone needs to stand up for this team. They just need to complete um, a set of six to get into the game and I think and then I, we'll see. I think for I think for um Harold uh Torrance descendants co co Torrance connection um I've called them being descendants all this time. It's actually Torrance connection. I apologize to everybody. Um I mean no offense offense on that one. I'm really sorry. I'm just saying that I think the clutch play for um Torrance connection will be um Anthony Robinson. The guy here with the man bun. 
Um, he's had his hands on the ball a few times. I think he's going to be their danger player. He's just made some good cheap yards. Yep. Oh, but now he's made the mistake. After a good run. It was a good run. Turns it over already on halfway. We're waiting for somebody to stand up. There's for the no next rush game. to the scrum. I think the heat's taking its toll a little bit out there at the moment. I think that's young Brian Quinlan that's playing there with the head gear. Um, he's normally a fan. He's a very thin guy, but this year he played for Lower Clarence. He's had a marvellous, marvellous year with them guys at Lower Clarence. Yep. Lower Clarence have actually made the final for the first time in quite a while. Um, and he's been one of their key players along with a few other boys um, yep, that yep. are currently playing with Game Ball Roos. Um, Brian's been fantastic. He's work rate. He's probably one of the one of the high ones. He can tackle hard. He can work hard. He gets the quick play the ball. He does all the little things right. And Here that's what you want out of a player, but Here we go. There well you done. go. Put Talking him up. Bang. Nice oh, tackle. Nice tackle. That was literally two metres from the try line. Little fella and big fella. Here we go. Bang. They couldn't Tr hold him there. Hang on. Don't call it yet. I'm not going to call it yet. Is that a try or not a try? I don't want to jinx anybody. And that's a try. Mate, that's a try. <laughs> that's how you call it. From up here, it looked like a try. <laughs> it did look like a try from <laughs> up here. But we can't put... But, yeah, we can't yes, call they've been short bar. before. Yes, that's right. I don't like being wrong. No. <laughs> Just keep an eye out, guys. Um, we have a photographer down, down um, working today and tomorrow. Um, it's Phoebe's photography. Um, Phoebe, you probably see her walking around the ground in a pink vest. Um, she's a lovely lady, Christine. She takes um, a lot of photography for our local football. She's actually coming to the knockout this weekend to take some photos. Um, I, I, I think she'll get some photos of the crowd and the game action shots, some teams together. Um, she'll post it up on her Facebook as well, so for people to see as well. Um, she does a great shot, great photo for our NRRL competition. Um, you'll see her walking around. So guys, if you, say, if you see her, please be nice to her and maybe put your face on our social media too. I think it'd be good. Pose up, give a smile. Yeah, that's it. All fingers up, got to rep that west, you know what I mean? So <laughs> um, if you want a west side, east side, south side, north side, I don't know well, how you rep, <laughs> but there's a good opportunity to throw your, throw your hands up. Away. Unfortunately, he missed that one. That that takes it eight nil for Julie Rabbitohs. It's been ago? a good game, seven minutes. Seven I think minutes. He said. This, this is actually a tough game. It is. And it's been a tough game. They're for showing both tough in the both, defense, side, both sides. Both sides are working extremely hard. Here we go, here comes the hit up. Boom. They, I think they're playing with a bit more confidence now, Rabbitohs. They're playing with a lot more confidence. Um, there's a couple of boys for the um, Torrent side that are sort of waiting for them defensively. Um, they are that, going up. Yeah, I think up. The, the heat's getting to them, um, the boys. So I would love for them to really push hard, work hard for each other, move off the line, and play for that. What that that family pride? Yeah, exactly. And 
and a hit up being made. They're now just short of the 50 metre line. They're going back to the middle. Here we go, dummy half run. That was a good tackle. That was a good takedown. That was a it's real a good takedown. bit of a breakdown then, no one wanted the ball. Now that is a good kick. Good chase as well. Rabbitohs aren't going away. That was a good pass out. They're throwing the chance in their oh, arm here. The They've made here. a break. And he made 30, 40 metre break. He's still, he's still going. And he's right on the 50 metre line. He's that just was been a taken, great run. He's just been taken down. I think that was a good, good play. Good play. Showed a bit of speed there. Sure has. That's the second play of the game. And they're just over the 40 metre mark. We've got a hit up happening here. They're setting up here. They're working hard for each oh, other. That's and a coach killer penalty. That might be just what they need for that's, this part. I think they needed that one. They still got an opportunity, Torren, to yep. put points on the board. Yep. Stay in touch. See what they can do with the ball. Here we go. Referee Jermaine pulled that one up. He has to go back and re go again. Julie Rabado is already on their defensive line. Howard, Howard, here we go. For a guy his size, I know he's very thin and lean, but he just works hard. But you can is. absolutely whack him, but he gets up. He's probably one of the toughest players around in this competition at the moment. That's going around. Yep, yep. He, he does not he does not shirk from that responsibility. He'll put his body on the line every time. Uh, nice ball. That was a good line. Good line there. Rabideau's working hard defensively on the line to keep them at nil so far. Here he goes with the ball again. Number Was that number seven? Yeah, I was talking about Anthony Robinson there. Don't hang off him because he can do anything with it. Nice, nice tackle. Play on. Here we go. Nice and long. Number four's got it. Bringing him under. Nope. He had to pull himself up there before he ran over the sideline. <laughs> yeah, the Senate winger shouldn't have come in. Still holding out. Rabbits are still strong in defence on the line here. Torrance trying to find that gap. Yep. Here he goes. Anthony Robertson, Little bang. Foot. Here he goes. Brings the players under. Great work, great offload. Second phase. Rabbits are working hard here. They have their, de line, their line defence has probably been the best I've seen in this competition. He's going to play. Come on. They're still struggling to find this try line. They, are, they sure are. Great defence by the Rabbits. And that's not the way to the line. Fifth and last. I want to go get a repeat of that. No, they've gone for oh. it. I think. No. Beautiful charge here down. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. He put the foot down. He's trying to dummy him when he's still. He's still got chases. Hang oh, on. Oh, and he's nice gonna go palm. All the way. Nice palm. He's that was a brilliant charge down. I mean, they did three or four de defence on that, on that line. They deserve that try after that Absolutely. great defence. Absolutely. The Rabbit defence on that line, I don't think any team would have got through in this competition. They're working hard for each other. That's something they could take away. Yeah. If you can defend well in this competition, It'll take you a long way. Exactly. It'll take you a very long way. The try scorer was looking for someone to pass through, but he went himself. And yep, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. He backed himself. Yeah. They're the things you like to see at knockouts. And a kick to come. And a What's that score? Yeah, he 
dead. Fourteen nil. Yeah, he just kicked it. They the conversion successful, and that takes it to fourteen nil. Halftime score this game is Julie seven eight fourteen. Time is ten six nil. That's half time. That's half time. Yes. That was a higher quality game. That back end, it took a while for Julian Vabado to get started. They started strong, scored in the first set, and then they went into a bit of a lull. Yeah. And when they went into that bit of a lull period, that's when the um, Torrens side started to really come come into the game. That but showed that defence on the line. Exactly. Their defence was what won them that first half. Still can say it's anyone's game. 14 nils not sit comfortable with. No. Nah. Knockout football is any game. Yep, if anyone's you're, game. If you're um, playing with the Tyron side, you'd still be motivated to win. You'd be still motivated to win. They and show you, you know yourself. Knockout footy, knockout footy where anything can happen. Where? Anything can happen here. In patches they show that they can do it, but getting across the line with that great defence is, yep. is the next question. Can they do it? That's right. Howard played that whole first half. Um, Bucky, he played that whole first half. Um, I think he's now gone from dummy half. Now he's playing fullback for them. I see him at the back there. Oh yep. A man, um, a man that he um, jack of all trades, but the master of none. <laughs> um, he he's definitely a quality player. You want players like that, but in your side, John. It's pardon? It, you want players like that in your side. It's That's good right. to have. Yeah, absolutely. The Put them anyway. That utility, anything can happen. Knock out the players. And they're still going ahead. And they'll have to regather. They'll have to regather a nice 10 metre run there. They'll Here they go. Nice Rabideau's break. on attack again. And he's still going. Rabideau's a throw. Oh, they're still going. They're still working. Oh, oh, unfortunately. No, unfortunately, the rest called a forward pass. That was a forward pass, and it's a knock on. This then. I can't it's my team. We've got a scrummer here, just on the other side of halfway. Rabbits made a mistake. Torrens got the ball here. See what they can do with this ball, John. Some great defense from that um, Julie Rabbit side in the first half. Now it's given them a lot of opportunity. Now it's given them a lot of opportunity to motivation to actually play well now. So I think it's putting them on the front foot to really play some good footy. Um, Anthony Robin, Robinson has been dangerous every time he's touched the ball. Yeah, exactly. He's been dangerous every time he's touched the ball. He has the ball in front every time he plays. That's right. And you don't That's know what he's going to do with on. it. Jermaine called a play on for that. I thought that would have been a knock on. But like I said, we call play after the um, call it after the play the decision being made. Yep. The energy in the Rabbitoh defence has been really good. Look at that. They're already up 10 metres in the in the. He's thing, running the whole going team. nowhere. He went sideways then and because that right. defence stopped that, had that wall up. The energy from this team has been fantastic. I think what's helping them too is the quick changes that yep. they're doing. That's right. You got players fresh players out there. you got players sitting down in the Rabbitoh side that are standing up ready to go, moving around. Um, the interchange has been really, really good. I think if Torrens can get a sniff at a try, yep. I think the might, game might change. Yep, I agree. But it's at the moment, it's hard to get through that Rabideau's wall. That was a good chase there, good chase. Some of the boys are looking to come off. I think they're going to make some changes for the Rabideaus now. 
Um, the Torrance side still working hard. They are not going away. They aren't. They aren't going away. They want Their kick's been good. Their chase's been good. I know it's scrappy at times, but you know what? They're working hard for each other. Oh, Look at that. that mistake. We that mistake that they asked for, they got it. That, that's it. When you work hard like that, you get the ball back. So I think it's a great opportunity. I think they're in a good position now to be able to do something good. Yeah. Hopefully we see some tries coming out of um, the Torrance side today. The number seven needs to get the ball in his hand in this um, attack and raid. Shag. He needs to be involved. Yep. Here we go. He's Here going we go. wide. Look at the slide on the rabbit They're still working hard from the inside out. Look at that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six players that slid across in the defence to help cover that. Yeah. So they're working hard in defence for each other. Now they're moving up the line again. The communication must be good out there for these boys. For the, yeah. With the defence, yes. With the way they're defending, for sure. Yep. And I'll tell you what, Tyron's side isn't um, just any side. They're actually trying to ask questions in attack. The rabbit just keep turning up. Yeah. That's three tackles already. Yep. Short side play. I Look still at that. call it. Number seven needs Look to be that. involved. That's one set on the try line. They still turned it up. There we go. There's and the, the mistake. Turnover. We talk about good defense on the line. That's it. That's what happens when you work hard. They get the rewards, rabbits, with that great defense. Yeah. Sit down and talk to us. <laughs> we're just saying, we just want to welcome back um, the man himself, Chris Binge. We were actually saying that you guys have the curse, you and Annie Kak have the curse to curse players with their kicking game when they go for conversions. I tried it once or twice, it did not work for me. It did not work for me at all. We were just talking about the Rabbitohs' defence. These guys are just turning up for each other. There was one part where they had about four or five sets on the try line. Here Liam we go. Kim, Look at this. Liam Kim Look makes the break. Yep. Liam Kelly, sorry, makes the break and Look sets at the try up under the post. Great play. Now, that is a good play. That's rewarding them from that great defence on the try line. Yep. I agree. That's going to give you a lot of confidence, like in a knockout. If you can turn up and defend like that, no matter who you play, you, you know you're in for a chance. Yeah, Every exactly. time. 18 nil to Rabbits with the kick to come. Torrance yet to score. Do you want to um, give your um, commentary curse a go? Yeah, just call out to all the mob from Nambaka that's come up here this weekend to support the teams and the, and the, and the mob down home that's listening. Hope you're all having a good day. And Rowena Chapman, she <laughs> said to give her a shout out. So Erin AB, so hopefully they're watching and listening to this today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I did a shout out before um, as well. Oh, did you? Yeah. But um, you done a good shout, shout out. I was getting um, cursed upon saying I'm a terrible commentator. <laughs> but I just said, you know what? Um, if that person who, I, I, he's Luke Walker, his name. So Luke Walker, if he wants to come up here and take the, take the seat, <laughs> I'm happy for him to take the seat. <laughs> and that takes the scoreline. What scoreline? Rabideau's 20 and Torrens yet to score. Still plenty of time for him to put points on the board, Torrance. Yep. I don't know how they're going to get through with this defence, but it's still plenty of time. Yeah. They've got to work hard for each other, these fellows. They're, they're, not, they're asking questions, though. I must say the Torrance side is asking questions in attack. Yes. It's not a matter of, of their attack. I think just the Labrador's defence is just... I can't, I can't stop talking about it. No. Neither. It's just been really good. A 
play. Short side. Short side play was good. That's tackle two. And they're already on the 40 they're metre already line. Already in attacking radio already. What an offload. They're playing with a lot of confidence now, the Rabbitohs. They're playing with lots of confidence. He's still going. That's right. Uh, on the back of their defence, their, um, their confidence in their attack has been really good now. There was one, the, f the other try just before, um, he just went straight through the middle. Look at that, look at that shape. Boom, look uh, at that nice shape. Ball. Oh, oh, no, he's caught it forward. I think that was a good call. That was a good shape. The, in the, the intention was good. The shape was good. Just the timing, just execution just yeah. come off bad there. Eh? Yeah. I think, I think their attack will come along a little bit better in the next game. Um, if they make to the next game. You know, your first round's always your hardest round. Um, the thing, team got to figure each other out a little bit. Players got to figure each other out yeah. a little bit. So it's always the hardest game. If you're lucky, you're lucky and have a majority of your players playing all year with each other, that helps big time. That always helps. But if you're putting side together from different, different um, Oh, a little areas, kick through. Here go. He's got a chance. He re oh. oh, unfortunately. Regathers. What's the ref going to call here? He said it's a knock on. Unlucky by the Torrens. That yep. was a good little tacking raid. The, the chance in their arms. By a chance in their arms. <laughs> Scrum fed by Rabbitohs and one. Now they're on an attacking rate again and they're through the line. Nice, nice run there. They're already over halfway. That's the second tackle there. Look at that. What a play. No look pass. Another offload. Second phase. They're playing with confidence, these boys. They are, aren't they? Yeah, they sure are. Lots of confidence. Who's? The amount of defense the Torrent side has been doing, um, the amount of work that they've done in the heat as well, I think it's sort of getting to them a little bit more. I mean, I mean it's almost midday. Here we go. Takes it on himself. Oh, he takes it on and then he scores. Under the post. That was a try to Rabbitohs. Number seven. Try to Julius Rabbitohs. Julius Rabbitohs 24. With the conversion to come from the descendant hill. I think the second half's taken its toll on the defence with the Torrens now. Dropping off tackles. Hands on hips. Yep. I can see the big fox out there warming up for Cabbage Tree Island. Um, you know what? He still got it, I think, the man. I think he still got it. I would like to see him do a um, uh, little Thank chip and chase or grubber for a try. If you don't know who the Fox is, he's wearing oh, number 25 for yeah. Cabbage Tree Island. Um, his first time playing in about two, three years. Come out of retirement. Come out of retirement. Um, he's a bit I nervous too, he said, sitting up Did there. Did he? Yeah. He never said that to me. He said it to me before he went in. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm looking forward to the game. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. That try was converted. <laughs> Jermaine, the referee, Jermaine Bradshaw has done a fantastic job today as well. Uh, he made some calls. Like, I mean, I can't shirk, shirk the referee today. No. They let the game flow. Um, they did well yesterday and they're doing good today. Yeah, that's right. I mean, in this heat, the rotation of the referees in this heat, 
Um, I mean, they'll be buggered by the end of the day. I think there's 16 round in the first first round. 16 round we've got to get through, and that's round one. In he goes Leroy. So 16 games. Nice run by Leroy Buchanan. Well, that Leroy Buchanan. Just come off the season in group two. And he's the name Bucker boy, isn't he? Yeah, he's if playing. You don't know Buchanan's another um, Barrel name that very strongly representing that community. Um, they come with a good reputation in, in the rugby league circle and community circle as well. And I'm sure Leroy is doing his family proud. He is. They're already in a position where they can attack the line. Yep. 20 out. Short side play. Oh. Here we go. The rabbit oh. oh. The right edge has been dangerous in terms of attack. They just passed it, gave it over, but. Yep. And their left edge, their left edge defense has been really good. You saw before the scrum when they shifted earlier. There was about four or five players pushing on the inside to cover from the scrum. We had front rolls break the front row in terms of scrum and pushed all the way across. Yep. So yep. they're working hard for each other. I see Josh Gollan, he's doing a touch judge at the moment, Josh. He just refereed the game, so he went from refereeing in the middle of the last game and now he's doing a touch judge on the other side. So he's doing two games back to back. Not, running, not much running for him to do cause <laughs> over that side of the... Tr oh, oh, I agree, but the heat, mate, that's going to get to you. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I done one game and I'm already bugging <laughs> from the heat. Nice run. Good tackle. Good numbers in their defence as well. Shouldn't be much longer than time to go, are you? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh no. That was, a, that was a half an opportunity there. That was there. the opportunity there, gone begging. Don't want to say they're giving up, but with that mistake. Yeah, that'll definitely break some hearts, wouldn't it? Yeah. So the next game on field one, do you know who it is, Chris? It's the Cabbage Tree Island and Murray John Memorial. So the next game is on field one um, at 11.30, Cabbage Tree Island versus Murray John Memorial. Um, if you don't know Murray John, uh, Murray John, they um, go, Aboriginal Oil okay. from the Widgeable Wible country. Um, he's a very well respected man and um, this team has been put together by, by the family and community Good members. Um, so. They're, they've got a strong side. So it's going to be interesting how Cabbage Tree Island goes today. That's another try scored by the Rabbits. Is that another try, mate? I think, I think the game's sealed here. I think the Rabbits yep. are going to take away this win. I agree. Well, from, but from a good, hard defensive game, mind you, um, yeah. keeping Torrens out. To nil. To nil at the moment. They still on get the score. On your first game to keep a team out to zero, it's a big effort. It's big it effort. is. And a good effort. Look, so far what I've seen teams played in the field one here, this rabbit side's looking good. Yeah. You've seen so far all the all morning this morning, the you've witnessed the attacking teams just going, you, you're, you're admiring that. Yes. But this team has come with a different mentality. They come with both yes, attacking that's right. and defence. That's right. So I think if anyone's watching, they will be smoky. They'll be the underdogs every time, and I think they will thrive in that. Yep. That conversion was successful. And one of the things, one of the things too, is we talk about all the big name teams, right? That's going around. This team sort of flown under the radar. That scoreline went up to 32 to nil to Rabbit's way. Full time on Stadia Field. Big win to Memorial 34. In the World Roof to 6. Thank you. 
been. This is the second half. I think commentary going quiet for a little while. They are playing with a lot of confidence. I'm, I'm really enjoying watching the Rabbitohs play. They've made some good interchanges. They've worked hard through the middle. They've got some quick play of the ball. They've caught the Torrance side off, off, the, off, their, off their feet, really. Yeah. Here comes the shift. Then, then still Look at the confidence in that. Uh -huh. Oh. Number seven was going to go if he would have took that. Yeah. I think he was under the post. If he would have got that. Well, do you have your money on him? Jam, would you add your money on number seven if you took that intercept under the post, for yeah. sure? The number seven? Yeah. Shag? Yeah. For um, Tone side? Yeah, would you reckon you'd have money on him under the post? You reckon? Well, they've got to get the ball back first. No, he, he just missed out on the intercept. Oh, yeah, he would have went under the post. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't following you there. Yeah, sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Rabbits are in a position here to attack the line again. Nice run. Looking for a second phase, but no one backed him. I wonder if I wonder if the Torrance side will defend this set. Well done. Oh. That was a good takedown short before the line. I Got some players busting for each other out here. Look at that. He'd done another tackle and he's held him up over the line. You've got some players that are absolutely playing for their pride for the Torrance side. Yeah. Here we go, one, two, wide. overlap, and unfortunately got it yeah. in the corner. Can say fair, that's a try. Yep. It's safe to say that's a try. Yeah. That was a classic oh, old draw and pass. Overlap, draw and pass. It's just too strong. Yep. Has anyone stood out? For you, any individual stood out for you for the Rabbitohs side on the cut? Um, it's hard to pick, it's eh? It's really, it's, yeah, yeah like, like it's... It's the, the team effort. It is a, a real team effort for me. They've all put them. their hands up. Yeah. Liam King, Kelly, sorry, he, he um, showed a bit of form out there when he yeah. was out there. Yep. I think he's saving himself for the second game. I think so. Number seven impressed me in the Torrens side. But uh, what about yourself, John? Who do you, what was you impressed in? Which player? I, I can't put my finger on a thing in, 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 in an individual. See, I'm stuttering again. <laughs> I'm stuttering again. Um, I can't put it on one person. I think the team effort that these guys have put together, worked hard for each other defensively, has been probably a great thing to see at the knockout. Um, I can't put my finger on it. It's just, they're all playing great footy. They all are. And he kicks it from the sideline. Just to rub it in. I, I take my hat off. Torrens didn't give up and they showed. Yep. Yep. They sure did. That's full time. Um, I've got to get going. Um, I just want to say thanks. It's been a pleasure to commentate with you, Marnie um, and Chris. He's back on the mic. Um, so Chris is going to be enjoying himself for the rest of the day, I think. I hope he has a really good day today. It's great working with you too, John. My cousin. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> Okay, guys, here we are back again. Sorry for the little break. I actually had to do some uh, coordination uh, of the event. So I'm now back here and I've got uh, Cac Jarrett sitting next to me again in the commentary box. Uh, big Foxy, mate, he's down there having a run. Yeah. He's uh, playing for Cabbage Island. He's running out. He told me he was a bit worried before the game because um, there's a little bit of concern about the heat factor for him. <laughs> um, but 
he was he, he's a bit worried he hasn't been uh he hasn't been up to scratch in relation to his conditioning so he said just see how he goes we'll looking we'll forward look. to seeing him play coming out of retirement yeah yeah when I talked playing. up. I talked it up after, or just before you come on. I actually talked it up pretty big. I was actually saying that I'm at, uh, next year. I'm actually looking at having a run myself, <laughs> going out in one last hurrah, having Taking a run with the three the sons. On. So we'll see how we go with that one. I don't know if I'll ever. I don't know if that's the truth in the story, but <laughs> I will say that it was a nice dream. Yeah, exactly. I think you better leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> with this heat, I think you'll be they'll be carrying your. Oh, mate! I'll tell you what. How good has the game's been, though, considering Kak in these conditions? Yeah. But, like, it's quite, like, it's not humid. It's actually just stinking hot. Yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see how we go here. The next game. See what this next game's going to be. The next us. game's coming up here on ground, uh, ground one will be between the Cabot Street Island team and the Murray John Memorial. They won through their first game playing the uh, Gordon Copeland Memorial. Um, and now they're up against Cabbage Island in round two. This is we're now venturing into the round two space. So the Cabbage Island team up against the Murray John Memorial um, on ground one, and on ground two we have Country Coastal Brothers versus the Yambora Roos. So two good games. Let's see see how we go here and strap yourselves in. We'll no doubt be two great games. The Country Coastal guys on the ground two uh, make up Marky Knight. Actually, is the organiser of that team and they've got a, a, a mix of uh, blokes there from out west in New South Wales, out at Burke right through to, you know uh, other towns out in western New South Wales over across the Dubbo, back through to uh, Moree and then up uh, there have got another couple of players out from Toomla Bogabilla in that team bit of a mix of uh, hey, I'm hearing Braden Trindle is the halfback oh, i seen him walking around here yesterday So with Braden being the halfback I have no doubt that that's going to be an interesting little team to have a look at. Uh, I think my young bloke's having a run in that team as well, young Chris. Um, so he'll be shaping up over there on field two. And as I said, most of those people that are streaming in today on the live stream, either on the Mark Goff Media Sports site or the Northern United Rugby League site. Uh, alternatively, you can also go onto the Gingy and Foxy Facebook site and have a look at that as well. Um, you can actually stream game. You can actually stream the game to on field two, sorry, the field two games is also live stream, no commentary by the way, um, all the commentary is actually on game, game one, the main ground uh, game, sorry, field one the main ground, I can't wait for this game, I just want to, you know what I'm what I'm really looking forward to it's the first time I've actually commentated it's the first, it's the first time I've actually commentated with the uh, with the Fox actually playing <laughs> I'm used to him being up here with us So who, who, who's your pick in this game then Chris? Well mate, watching the first game um, Cowboy Connection played the first game of the day here on, here on Field 1. They're really well balanced, but they've got some good experience. They've got Ryan Walker uh, in the halves. They've also got um, Corey McGrady is in the halves as well. He's his halves partner. You've got young Willie Hammond playing at lock, uh, and Khalil Hammond, his brother, is at uh, number nine. But what I like about this team is they've got a good balance. Um, I know that there's a lot of blokes in this team. Hezekiah McKenzie, he's going to be one to look out for the number one. And then you've got his cousin uh, playing in the centres in Alan McKenzie Jr. Uh, mate, it's a well-balanced team. That These guys are fit. They've only come off... The majority of this team have only finished playing last week, huh? Yeah, the some, some of them in the um, other teams as well just yeah. coming off grand finals. And, and that always happens. So we'll be interested to see how this Cabestry Island team goes. I know there's a lot of young blokes combined with a lot of blokes that haven't played for a few years. Um, they've, they've actually, tr they're trying to bleed some young blokes through the Cabestry Island team. And um, with that, they've added some, obviously some experience with blokes like the Big Fox. Um, they've also got, I think they've got Mikey Roberts. Could be, well, that's what I'm hearing. If Mikey Roberts is playing, mate, I don't think he's played. The last time Mikey Roberts played on Oaks Oval, he actually played with, the Wollumbin Warriors, and they actually won the knockout here in Lismore um, and then hosted it the following year up there at Coogeon. So it be interesting to see what they put out here. So we're up for a good game on field one. Yeah, and then, uh, mate, oh, that game over on field two, the Yambora Roos, the young, very young team coached by Grant Brown has pulled that team together. Um, but they're up against a very, very, very strong coastal country brothers team. There's a, that, that team, mate, that team... I'm going to just go out on a limb. They're, I think they're, they're going to be here 
come Monday morning, I think, the Country Coastal yeah. Brothers. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday morning, sorry. I think you're thinking about the big knockout. I think I'm at the big knockout. knockout. <laughs> Murray John Memorial in the white and light blue. Pretty disappointed Big Les isn't starting. Yeah, mate, he's going to be, uh, oh, oh, you know, I'm going to get the heart monitor out after he comes <laughs> off and see how, how what, what's his heart rate, what, is it, what his heart rate gets up to. <laughs> he's looking so, good. Yeah, he mate, he's in good he's in good condition. I just don't know how much condition in relation to running condition he's in. <laughs> he looks really well, he looks healthy. Yes. Um, there's a difference between looking healthy and being footy fit, as you'd know, Kate. Um, we're, go, we're going to find out if he actually we're is footy find fit. Out, but. The big number 25, the big foxy. Mate, we're in a good spot. It's a bit warmer up here than what it was yesterday. We, yeah. had, we cooled off in the afternoon, so I'm hoping, hoping you know, after lunch it starts to cool down a bit. No Mate, what about the crowd here today? Yeah, they've That's a massive crowd here today at this venue. Um, you know, everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. We've had no major incidents. I've been off the mic at the moment managing a protest situation. So we had a protest um, here by the uh, Gumbangi Yangay team over the uh, Kabawi connection um, based on the uh, Aboriginality rule. So that protest was successful by the Bang uh, Gumbangi Yangay team. Um, They'll now progress through, and the Cowboy Connections uh, weekend is actually over. So, and that's rules for you, Chris. Yeah, it's the rules, mate. It's the knockout rules. I know people are a bit upset about it, and I know there's been some conjecture. But at the end of the day, um, the, rules. the rules are there. They're in black and white, and um, we did make that quite clear at the draw as well. So, um, if teams want to run the gauntlet, it's it's the gauntlet you probably don't want to run because yeah. it actually could risk your progression through in this competition. But good luck to the game. Yeah, Gambangi good, boys. Yeah, good luck to those boys. Now they'll progress through and um, touch wood. Uh, there'll be nothing more said about it and we'll move on in the knockout as well. So here we are, Cabestry Island on the attack here. On halfway. Or just on halfway. We'll see what they can muster up here, the Cabestry Island team. Big Glenny Rose is having a hit up here. He's playing in the back row, Glenny, today. No, he's playing centre. He's going into the teeth of the uh, Murray John Memorial team here. Looking to shift here, young Des Ferguson out here. Oh, that's a nice run there too by the number 14 from the Cabbage Trial and team. Now they're about 30 metres out from the Murray John Memorial team's line here. Attacking in, looking, showing, going. I think that's Tyrone Kelly there with that run. Defended well there, big hit there by Sione Tonga. We're looking out here now, and they're going to shift to the right-hand side. Six to go, Corey. Yeah, that's a, I'll tell you what, they've, they're, they've set themselves up quite nicely. It's the last tackle, I think. No, they got a six to go there. Oh, they got a six to go. There they you go. Repeat, set. Start. So it doesn't just happen in the NRL. It happens here at the uh, here Lismore go. Aboriginal Rugby League knockout. Cabbage Island trying to set up here for the first try in this game against the Murray John Memorial. They're shifting to the right. Going out, he's looking. Held back there okay. from the reaching out. Going again. Oh. oh. I think that's going to be called back for a knock on there. Yeah. It's a knock on. Cabo. Defended well at the end of that. Defended well at the end of that set. Murray John Memorial. First time they've been under a bit of pressure, so the defence is held up. So that, in that first couple of minutes, yeah. Many volunteers out there from Northern Ireland. They need some volunteers in the canteen. You can't give a hand. It'll be much appreciated. Northern, Northern United volunteers in the canteen, please. So here we are, Murray John Memorial on the out. We'll see what they can do here coming out of their own half and we'll see what sort of defensive uh, formation that the Cabestry Island team take up here. There we go, we've got the Country Coastal Brothers jumped away to a 12-0 lead early in the first half over on ground two. Rashawn Brown here taking that hit up. Chris Brown taking it into the teeth of the Cabestry Island defence. For those people that want those shout-outs, keep them rolling in. We'll get them out all day. We'll... Sione Tonga jumps on the ball, says, come on, boys, follow me. Nice run. Nice run through the middle up the cricket pitch. They're setting up out here. Bit of a knock on there at dummy half by Khalil Hammond. 
He's upset with himself there. They looked like they were shaping out here well, and Corey McGrady was setting up for an attacking raid down in the Cavistry Island half, but the knock-on at dummy half by Khalil Hammond has held it back. So far, it's looking good out there with both teams in defence. Yeah, look, I'm... And I, attack. I think the Murray Drum Memorial team, they don't want to be uh, taking this Cavistry Island team lightly. They look like a well-drilled team out here, the Cavistry Island team, so... Yeah. They're in another chance of attacking. Yeah, they're going. Here they are now on the attack. They're about 30 metres out from the opposition line. Taken there by Kyle Binge. Brought down. The defensive efforts here seem to be up to task. Murray John Memorial. Cavus trying to look for a little ship here. Chance for him. Jermaine Roberts getting back with a tap over there. Repeat set. That's a good set there. We've good set going in point. there by the Cavus Island team. Good thinking. Turn them around. Get a repeat. Yeah, they are. They're turning them around here. Repeat set. Mate, in these conditions, Cack, I just think those little things in the game, I know it's only 20 minutes each way, but if you can start to keep teams in their half and make them defend a lot, and yeah, you get down there and you put some repeat sets back to back, you can really put pressure on. You can put, yeah. Yeah, you know, and I know a knockout it can go anyway. And we all know that you can be 10, 15, Where 20 down and a team can come back on you in the minute, matter of minutes. But defensive efforts, oh, I think, always are, are the things that win knockouts. We've got Big Les out here now. He's just took a hit up. Oh, the Big Foxes went on. He was tackled there by his nephew, Kyle Binge. Cabestro Island seemed to be finding some ground through the middle. He's still going here. Just right by. He's just oh, pulled he's down. Short. A metre off the line there. Murray John Memorial seemed like they've got a man down in defence here. Oh, show, go. Kick. He was going to do everything then, but he held it and he took the line on. They look like they're short here now. We've got a man down. We've got an injured player in the background here for the Murray John Memorial team. It's been called a stoppage in play. Score remains nil all here on ground one. With that, with that little break there, Chris, I think Cabo's looking good. Mate, they are. With the ball in their hands. They just seem to have a nice bit of shape uh, comparative to what the Murray Johns team is. But, I mean, they've been camped down here in their own yeah. half for pretty much all they the game. They opportunity yet. There's an injury there to young Chris Brown. So, mate, here's a play they're going to need to move forward in the competition. I think it's just a stinger. Doesn't look good with his shoulder. So here we go. We'll get an update on the score for ground two. Last score was 12-0. Still 12-0 on ground two between Coastal Country Coastal Brothers. 18-0, sorry, 18-0, there's an update. 18-0, oh. Country Coastal Brothers over the Ambora Roos. Cabo didn't need to do that little kick. Yeah, I know, that short of chance they're on there. They, yeah. they really push it when they didn't really have to. But here we go, young Alan McKenzie has a big run here, doing the work of his forwards coming out of that half. We're looking here, Ryan Walker's looking to set it up nice and easy, trying to get his players back through the middle here. He's working out here now with his half partner in Corey McGrady. Corey's taking a run himself there. The, the defence is standing up good so far with the Cabos, boys. They seem to be standing up well, mate, yes. Siani Tonga. They haven't got over halfway yet, the Memorial side. They haven't been in that half very much at all in this game. Cat. The fifth tackle already. Deep kick here. This gets Cabos and deep down into their half now. Let's see if... The Murray John Memorial defence can hold the Cabestry Island team down in this half on a defensive effort. Cabestry Island boys seem to be taking a bit of time to get back. The Murray John defence is set here, holding their line. Here now we go, Big Foxy. Here we go. There we go, the boys are on the Big Foxy. Big uh, Foxy's knocked it on. Bad mistake. I will, I, I will say... I will say that run there by Foxy, too much weights, not enough speed work. I think the nerves are, nerves are kicked in there. 
He'd be a bit upset with himself on that because he knows I'm going to get up here and bag him. So here we go. So Murray John, Memorial team. Here they are. They're about 30 metres out. Cack, first time they heard the ball down in the opposition's half. Let's see what see, see, see what, what sort of do. structures they can throw at the Cabbage Island team here. Oh, nice ball at the back. Here's a guy, McKenzie. If he goes, there's not going to be too many players in this competition today that'll catch him. Held down there by Malachi Ferguson. Rashawn Brown taking the ball in now, trying to get to the centre of the field. Setting up to the left. Corey McGrady with the ball. Looks out the back. Tries to go to Ryan going. Walker. They still find Alan McKenzie. He's down there now. Three tackles remaining in this set. Here we go now. The Murray John Memorial team are set up here. Oh, oh they're going to go with the long ball. Forward. Forward pass called. There was their opportunity to attack, Chris, and they've just bundled it with the foot. Oh, no penalty to Cabo. So here we go now. Cabot Shaw and defended that set out well, mate. Yeah, they just got a penalty for a bit they of They just shepherd. got a penalty there. Big. <laughs> I'll tell you what, doesn't it look like Foxy? Look at the big Foxy. He looks hot. He looks big and foxy <laughs> and sexy. He's feeling know, the heat. I know his wife, Matt, would be sitting back up here in the grandstand thinking, what the hell are you doing, Foxy? <laughs> He's still out there, though. Cabo's on the attack here. Yeah? They've got over halfway. Cabo are actually looking all right, I'll tell you. They, they uh, are shaping up better than what people think. Yeah. Here we go. Number 22, Michael Roberts. Mikey John, as they call him. The old legend. The last time he's played football at this oval, he won a knockout with the Wollumbin Warriors. Cabo Strollen attacking in here. Two tackles left in this set. They're about 30 metres out from the Murray John Memorial line. Mikey Robert takes a hit in there. Fifth tackle. See what Last they tackle here. Repeat. What can they do? They're looking for the big kick here. He'll be looking for his winger to get up with that. Oh, uh, he's overrun it. He's taken it out. Seven tackle set. He's taken it in goal. I think that's young Jaleel Brown. Oh, it's Jakeem Brown, sorry. Murray John Memorial coming out now, the half. He's going to call that back. He passed it after he called Held. They look, look like um, they don't know what to do with the ball, these... Yeah, I know. They, they just, they're just all bunched. They're all bunched up, mate. They're all you can throw no a blanket over them at the moment. They make the hard yards. There's well, a guy, nice McKenzie. Run. There he goes. Here he goes. The speed. You can't beat speed. He takes the meters. ball here. Oh, Offload. Ryan Walker. Still going. They're going high on Ryan. Penley. Here we go, push down. Malachi Ferguson trying to push. He had a bit of a push and shove there with Rashawn Brown. Cabo needs to muscle up here to defend their line. Well, so, yeah, I know, mate. They're going to have to muscle up here, but they're all. Uh, there's a bit of a. Uh, there's a few blokes with their hands on the hips out there right now. First time Memorial Sides had an opportunity to attack and. Yeah, here they go. They're on the attack here now. Their chances? We'll see what goes on here. They're going out. Oh, they've overrun it. They come back to the right. That's Willie Hammond with the ball. Play breaks down. They just don't seem. They, they just don't seem oh, to be organised. Cabo's caused Cabo's, a oh, Cabo's defended well again. It's nil all. There's no try scored in this first half of footy here between the Cabo Island team against the Murray John Memorial. 
I think both teams are a bit unsettled at the moment. I think they just need to complete their sets and control this game. Let's see what the defensive set is here. Oh, early kick here. He's Tangle going for 40 20. Oh, he's, he's going for 40 20, but I don't think it's quite it's going to make it. No, no, it's not a 40 20, but it was. It's a good kick. Well, you probably, call it, you probably call it a uh, 30 30 30. 24 0 on ground two. The Country Coastal Brothers over the Yambora, young Yambora Roos. Some of the players are uh, walking out there. Chris, yeah, mate, there's some, the there's some, some blokes out there not doing too well at all, to be honest, and I think the conditions have caught them in the end. Here we go, the Murray John Memorial on the attack. They're going to try and play smart through middles. Little. Oh, I thought that was Penalty a mistake, there. but the ref saw something different. Doing the tackle. Penalty there to the Murray John Memorial. There wouldn't be too much longer to go in this game for the first half. Five minutes. Five minutes left in this first half. And it's Scores. nil all. Oh, mate, it's nil all. Very tight game here. Very good game at the moment. Penalty here. They're about 20 metres out now on the attack. Murray John Memorial. Let's see what they can do this time, Chris. Big Fox, he's down there on the bench, mate. They, he's having a break. Oh, no, he's, he's back up. He just got up, so... He's going to go out for another stint. Willie goes. Hammond trying to set it up here. Oh, big run here. Oh. Unlucky. Unlucky. Jump out of dummy half here. Khalil Hammond. Ryan Walker looking, showing, going. Finding Ezekiah McKenzie at the back. Slipping, diving. Jiving. But he's down. They're taking Great him back defense. here. Big driving defense here by the Cabestri Island team. They've turned up today, Cabo. With the they bench. have turned up, mate. They really have. Holding their line. Here we go now on the attack again. Young Willie Hammond trying to inject himself into the game, trying to create something here out of nothing. Trying to milk a penalty as well at the same time. Corey McGrady's shaped out here. Little out, oh, out the back door. That could be touched there by the Cabo Island There's team. Six, six again, again call. Six again call here. They need that. Marky Walker. Ryan Walker jumps out there on the right side. He's still going. He looks for the little tip pass. Mark Walker with the ball. He's held yeah, up over the line. That's held up. Nice defence. Nice defence there by the Cabo Island team. Still holding it, holding their line, Cabo. They're doing a good job here, aren't they, Kat? They need Les out there. He's standing there waiting. Oh, he's waiting to get on. Don't worry. Six again called here. Or well, time back on. Sorry. They're going straight to the middle. They're going to try and set up here. They still don't look organised, the Murray John Memorial no, no, team. Here's a penalty. I don't know. There's three minutes to go. Will they take the two? No. no. Wouldn't be a bad no. idea. <laughs> no one wants to score. Alan McKenzie takes it in hard to the Cavistry Island line. They're looking to the left again. Big pass here. Khalil Hammond trying to find Willie Hammond. Out the back to Ryan Walker. Ryan. Oh, oh it's an intercept. And it's an intercept, and I think he's gone. There aren't too many players that are going to catch him. The oh, chase is on. They're not going to get to him. They're keeping him wide. He's standing. Oh, they got him. Oh, he's pushed away. Cabestry Island. Intercept. All the way to the line. The chase nearly got him. He brushed him off, and he's over in the corner. Cabestry Island take the lead just on half time. That was great. How good was that? Defence and intercept. <laughs> defence, 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 and they come away with a lucky try there. Intercept and go pretty much 80 metres to score in the corner of the Cabestry Island team. I think it had to be done, but Chris... Great was... try. Memorial side looking to score, but... They were, mate. I think, I think they, they played two out-the-back plays. They probably could have had a look at a bit of a show and going. Could have been a different option, but anyway, Cabestry Island, chance to arm. That's Grab happens. the intercept and go. Pretty much 80 metres to score in the corner. Just before half time too. That's yeah, right on half time, I'd say. There you go, minute game, and a half to so go. Cabestry Island take the lead. Four over the Murray John Memorial. Nil. 
Coach Willie Simpson out there giving some directions. Trying to get his team organised. Yeah, he's, yeah, well, the, you set him off on the sideline, mate. Yeah, and then you're going to get him over there for the ambulance. Or we can get it up here if you need the ambulance. Or, or alternatively, he gets a lift up to the hospital because they'll charge you if you get in the ambulance. 700 bucks. So, just check him out and see how he goes. See if you can get him out there. I wouldn't be using him again, though. Yeah, no, he's definitely gone if you want. Yeah, well, mate, he's going to have to make sure he's... That kick was waved away. That leaves the scoreline. So, Cabo four. Conversion unsuccessful there. Right on half time. Court score there now. Cabo Island four over the Murray John Memorial nil. That's half time. Great game first half there by both sides. Mate, low scoring game too. I mean, comparative to the, the teams over on ground too. I think it's 24 nil over there of the Country Coastal Brothers at half time over the uh, young, young Yambora Roos team who are here today. You know, it's been a while since they've been in the knockout as well, and Grant Brown's done a great job grabbing those young blokes together. But the Country Coastal Brothers, mate, they're a very good team. Yep. This game's going to go down to the wire, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think it will, mate. I, I really think it will. Unless they pick up their form in the second half. Cabo's looking good. Just a quick update from field two, Crazy here. Coastal Brothers, 24, near 4 Yeah, it's 24 nil on ground two, mate, still. Here we go to start the second half. Security guard. Security guard. Or Monica. The one that's over there. Here we go now. Murray John Memorial on the attack coming out of their own half. Sioni Tong is back on. He's going to take a hit. Big Foxy's on him. Big Foxy and him. They'll be doing, they'll be having a bit of a lug, love, love. Give hug. him a bear hug. <laughs> the two brothers. Khalil Hammond jumping out of dummy half. Play on. No, he's called knock on there. <laughs> not a mistake. Not, not what they needed then. No, they just seem, as I said, they look a bit disorganised. So, I'm not quite sure. I know the coach down there, Willie Hammond Senior, wouldn't be too happy with that. Off the kickoff too. And it gives an opportunity for Cabo to strike first on their 40. So here we go. Cabo Island team here on the attack. Malachi Ferguson taking the ball in here. Tackle there by Ryan Walker. Murray John Memorial is going to have to look for some strong defence here because Capuchin Island seem to be on the attack here. Big Fox, you were saying earlier, doesn't know whether he's got two games in him, so <laughs> he's probably out there going, he did a it's nice good to be in there. front, but it's going to be a long day if they, if they uh, remain in front as well. Another set might come here. Yeah, yep. nice nice decision making there by the Capuchin Island team. Andrew West, little kick through.
There's that breeze, Cat. There's that breeze. Yeah. Ah, oh, they got him. Got the mistake there. Was that from the dropout? That's from the dropout. So that'll be a ball retained then, post the dropout by the Murray John Memorial team. The hard work went undone then. Yeah, but Cabbage Island looking the better team here out of the two, after just after half time. Here we go now, the Murray John Memorial team. They're going to have to find something here, Cac. Yeah. Big run in there by Walker. They need to set them. Oh, there's the mistake. Oh, he's lost it again. Oh, my God. They're, having, they're, they're just ha having troubles with their hands. I think he was rushing to get up the plate of quick ball there. Yeah, he was, mate, he was. And then made the mistake from it. Gives the Cabo opportunity to attack again. Play down the blind side. Yeah, that's straight down that blind side, mate. They're looking here now. Cabo Shiloh on the attack. They're seeing what they can do here now. The Murray John Memorial team are going to start to get desperate and I think you'll see some of that real knockout branded footy in the back end of this game. But they're looking good here, the Cabochure Island team. Nice little run by Kalis. Oh, oh Cabestry Island. Show and go. Show and go. Straight over, straight Adjacent to the right hand uprights, Cabestry Island. That was start take the up, Memorial. Take the lead 8 0 over the Murray John Memorial team. I think Cabo deserved that try, to be honest. They forced mistakes by Memorial side. and Yeah, looking down at the line there, too, Kaka. It looks like there's a player down injured in the background over here for the Murray John Memorial team. Their, be their bench is starting to look a little bit depleted as well. So here we go now. Conversion. We'll take the score out. Should he be successful to 10? I'm going to back him in. This is young Des <laughs> Ferguson. I've coached him all year, and if there's one thing I know he can do, it's kick a goal. Well, he's literally in front. So the Cabestry Island team, oh, it's actually his brother kicking a goal here. It's actually Des, uh, sorry, it's actually he's Malachi Ferguson. He, he can kick a goal too, but. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, he just... He got it. There you go. <laughs> I get one for the day. So the Cabestry Island team now jump out to 10. Murray John Memorial nil. We'll get a look on the time here. 13 minutes to go. Plenty of time in the knockout. 13 minutes is a long time in the it knockout. Is. It is. So Murray John Memorial are going to have to dig deep here to get themselves back in the game. Cabestry Island look like to have the ascendancy so far. Oh, they made a cause of mistake, you know, six again. Six again, cool. Good defence so far. Yeah, tackle one there, Cabestry Island. 20 metres their side of halfway. There's a bit of jumper grabbing going on out here now by the Murray John Memorial team. He's yeah. lost that clean, so that'll be called. Good call by the ref. I... Alan McKenzie trying to get his motivate team, his, his team motivated here. Trying to bluff the ref, but the ref saw it otherwise. 
Memorial's got an opportunity to attack here, Chris. Yeah, they have, mate. They're going to have to find something here, Kak, I think. They'll need to score, they need to score. this next set, mate, to make it a game. Ryan Walker, he looks fine. Oh, nice oh. run there. Good tackle as well, by the way. What can they come up with here? The Murray John Memorial. Willie Hammond's gone to halfback to partner up now. Corey McGrady's finished for the day. I think he copped a head knock. Jumping out of the half here, Willie Hammond. Bit flat footed, Look for the line. Oh, We've got a penalty here to the Murray John Memorial team. If they spread it really quickly here to the left hand edge, they've got numbers. The Cabestro Island defence here, can they hold out? They didn't need Sione that. Sioni Tonga taking in the ball. Willie Hammond in a dummy half. Chris Brown oh. tips on. It's still on. Show you go. Chris King's going for the line. He's, still he's on. going hard. Oh, he's pulled down a metre short. They got wide either side. Oh, the big on display. Oh, no. Penalty. Shepherd. Is that a penalty? Yeah. It used the penalty player. for obstruction. Cabbage Rowland. Once again, the they defense holds strong. <laughs> They had it out wide then, Chris. This Peter game's side. just starting to get away from the Murray John Memorial team. Nice kick out of... Yeah, he found some metres there. That'll take him up to about the 20 metres off halfway now. They take the quick tap here. Straight into the uh, Murray John Memorial defence. Very strong, this young bloke as well. Trying to get the one-on-one -on -one rake here. No success. As I, as I said earlier, the Murray John Memorial team, there has to be some, something to be said here. Here we go. Kick Big the kick deep down here. Very strategic. Could, be, could work up. for him. And that's going to hold up. Oh. oh, very unlucky there. Only nice just case. seven Bravo. tackle set. What can the Murray John Memorial team come up with here? I'd say there'd be about nine minutes go to, uh, to go in this game. They turned them around, Chris. And yeah, they have. Let's see what they can come out with here. Walker with the ball. Cabbage Island defence still holds strong. Siani Tonga looking to take the ball straight and hard. You've got to get on the back of a run like that. They need a, they need they need a nice quick play of the ball. And if you can't get the quick play of the ball, hang on, there could be an injury here. They, they didn't need that. They didn't need that little bit of stoppage. They were just on a roll there. Yeah. They need another hit up. We're going to play on here. The referee course play on. He's out of play. Oh, they didn't need that one as well. Isaiah Brown. Tackle three, just over, into Cabestro Island's half. Ryan Walker's looking for something. Oh, he's got, go. oh, he had the step. He's now putting it down. He's looking, he's looking. Still going, Ryan Walker. One-handed pass out on the in wing the here. Rashawn Brown, ball down. Try time to the Murray John Memorial team. They're on the board. That was a nice setup. Nice run by 10 the four. Six. I think Cabot Shaw scored the first try too, didn't they, Kak? Yeah, they did. Thirty-two nil on ground two to the Country Coastal Brothers. Over the Yambora young Yambora Roos team. Memorial needed to get that point. Yeah. To stay in touch with Yeah, Cabo. they did, mate. They did. They really did. So, I'll just get a time check on here at the moment to see where we're at. Eight minutes. Plenty of time. Eight minutes, Kat. Oh, yeah. There's a Kai McKenzie here. I'm no, not going to say. Kickers, their kicker's actually, <laughs> I think, uh, young Corey McGrady's their goal kicker, and he's uh, he, he's been taken up to the hospital with a big shot to the eye. Got a bit of, bit of bleeding behind the eye as well. 
Ah, conversion not successful. He'd be, he wouldn't be happy with that as a guy, McKenzie. They're taking their time. Yeah, the Cabochon and the plan are smart here. They're not rushing it. They're just coming back. There's no pressure on them. As we know, there's no time out in these games. No. So, you know, very smart here by the Cabochon team. 42. 42. There you go, 42 nil win. Country Coastal Brothers get their campaign under campaign campaign under Wales. Sound like John's yeah, in yeah, next time you go. Get a bit worried there, just trying to spit it out. <laughs> oh. Just what they does not needed then. After scoring points. No. Make a mistake, be happy with that. Line drop out. Gives a kick, nice kick off from Andrew West to give the Cabo the opportunity to attack again. Yeah, they do, mate. They really do. Looking They're going for the short, short one here. Oh, oh no. no, taken well there by the Cabo Island team. Let's see what they can come up with here in this set cat. Tackle one here. They're looking out to this right hand edge. Bit of a shape here, but hell will there. Young BJ. King, Oakland, here for the Cabot Island team, taking Pretty it up. Deep to the left. They're about five metres off the Murray John Memorial line. They're looking deep here. The little kick goes through. Oh, he's going to... Uh, he That's scored. a try. That's a try. <laughs> nice try there to the Cabot Island team, and I think that'll be... I'm just going to go out on an early prediction, but that'll be the game. Cabochiola now jump out to a 14-4 lead over the Murray John Memorial team. Size so capitalise on the mistakes they um, prevent from other oppositions. Yeah, mate, they've had a... These last few games that I've watched so far. Yeah, they have. While we're waiting for the conversion, Cac, we'll have a look at the uh, next round of games here. We've got 12.30 here now, so our next games of today's carnival will be at 12. I think we could be off the... Oh, no, we, we, I, think, I think the time frames are out, but looking at this, going into the next round games would be the Tabulum Turtle Divers on ground one, and they'll be playing up against the Torrance Descendants team. Um, and then on ground two, we'll have the Newcastle All Blacks up against the Gambangi Angay team, which is the Dean Jarrett Memorial team, who got through to the next stage based on the winning of a protest uh, with the Cowboy Connection playing a non-Indigenous player. They're taking their time here with the conversion. The Cavish Island team, I think they're just trying to run down the clock. That's going to mean for me that I'll probably lose. I'll back him Big in. Foxy looks like he could be here with me for a while, Cuck. I'll back him in. This bloke can kick. He's been in the backyard. Mate, <laughs> there, there, there you go. Good pick, mate. Well did done. The, did the call. Did that the takes right. a score out to Cavish Island 16. Over the Murray John Memorial 4 with about four minutes to go. I'm gonna leave Kak here by herself to take over while I sort out some stuff over here on ground two. That's a mistake made by Cabo. Memorial's got a chance to attack here. For the full time.
play down for Cabo. He's up, about to pack the scrum. Memorial sides in, on attack. See what they can do with this ball. They're behind in the scoreboard, 16-4. Number six and he got through. Dummy halves picked the ball up. There's the mistake. Cabo's Caused a mistake by Memorial. Not a rush to the scrum with time ticking. Cabo still up 16 4. Cabo's run to scrum. No urgency in this attack, this from Cabo. Just playing one out. Nice run then. Going for sideline Westy and he's got it in the corner. Memorial's under attack here now. With Cabo defending. Big Fox is back out there. And there's Zahuda. Penley Buck was a, for the Memorial side. That's full time on field one here. Cabo taking away the win, 16-4 against the Murray John Memorial side. Great win by Cabo. Just while I'm sitting here by myself without the boys. It's been a nice day so far. Weather's good, good conditions. Hot out in the middle, I know, must say, but been some football, good football being played here. Just like the call out again down the south coast there to Bowerimov, Nembakabov, Maximov, say hello to you all.
So next game here on field field one, we have <laughs> we have Tablin Turtle Divers versus the Torrens Descendants. And on field two, we have Newcastle All Blacks versus the Gumbangi Yangai Yang 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 Memorial side anyway. Should be a good game over on field two. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're waiting for this second side to come out on the field. Just waiting for Tablon to come out onto the field. Turtle Divers are already out there. Doesn't look like the match is over due to start. Can we have a heavy on the team for the field, please? Doesn't look like Tablin wants to play this game. There they come.
Right over the game's about to start on field one. Tavern Turtle Divers up against Tyrone Desantis, I'm a shaman. Yes, Torrens Descentons up against Turtle Divers. And Turtle Divers is about to kick off. Game's about to start. Nice kick deep. Torrent Descentons in the brown and white and black and Tablins in the orange and black. There's a kick in the third tackle. Turn them around. Oh, and they've forced a mistake already. Torrance descendants are in an opportunity to attack first. Mistake made by Tablin gives them that opportunity. See what they can do with the ball. Match underway on field one. Tablin on turtle divers versus Torrance descendants. No score after two minutes. They settle. Second tackle. Coming down the blind side again. Oh, nice defence by Tablin. Nice and deep, the Torrens. There's a kick for the corner. And I think they, and that's a nice try. Good vision. By the halfback, puts the winger over. That takes first try scored by Torrens the sentence. Four nil with the kick to come. Sorry. Good start by the Torrens descent side. Settled into the game. And the conversion was successful from the sideline. Turns the sentence up, six nil, six. Tablin, Tablin still yet to score. Nice 
nice deep kick off from Tablin. Nice first run by Torrens. the third tackle and they're still in their half close to the 40 on the oh nice play look the kick and then nice defense by Tablin takes them out So we'll have a scrum feed. Tablin's feed on the 30. Oh no, just a changeover. Tablin still haven't got over halfway. They're attacking. Down the sideline there. Nice second phase played. Defence holding well there for the sentence. Little kick to the corner. Nice play by Tablin. But the sentence stood up with it. Nice little run. Defence driving them back. Little dart out by the hooker. Both sides are just showing a bit of respect with each other and just playing their sets. Completing the sets and... No fancy at the moment. Last tackle. Little chip over the top. And he's unlucky to regather that one. Tablin's on the attack. Just on that halfway place, ah, oh, knock on, but second phase play, but they knocked it on. The, the sentence on halfway about the tack. Oh! Tipped him over, but no call on it. There's the penalty. Penalty to the sentence. Tamlin too eager in the tackle. <laughs> Torrens is sentence on the attacking position here. See what they can do with the ball. Good kick. Ten metres out. Strengths defense here you boy. Oh, another penalty. Stri two on a tackle. Strip. Let's need to settle it down again. Torrens. Get back into this game. Let's tackle one. Oh, bad mistake. Turns it over. Play the ball. Tablin get away with that one. 
with that mistake by DeSantis. Had an opportunity to yeah, score. Off the field, please. Off the field. Tablin's in attack. Behind the fence. In their own half. Defense. Good defense by the sentence. It's on the third tackle. And they still haven't got over halfway. Here we go, down the sideline. Tablin's on a tacking right here. Oh, and they just forced a mistake. Knock on by Tablin. Great little run down the sideline though. Feet here will be done by the sentence in their own half. Field two, the Bangy boys are up six nil so far, and here on field one we got Torrens ahead of Tablin. on the fourth again, nice torpedo. Turn the tablin around again. Oh. Nice defense, oh, I think. Nice hit by the sentence. Tablin is still walking back on side here. Another penalty. Strip. Tablin's on attack. Number eight, Fraser Dummy. He's through the line. Still going. Backline's deep for Tablin. The sentence up for the in defence, but second phase. They're on an attack here, Tablin. Oh, they've forced a mistake again, Tablin. The sentence knocked on. So t Tablin keeps the ball here to try and attack again. Chris has come back into the commentary box after going walkabout again. There you go. Yeah. I'm back, everybody. Great little game here, Chris. It's live, live action, I probably would say. Uh, just gone around to uh, ground two and actually had to sort out some uh, 
situation around there with some protesting, but anyway, it's all good. They've, everything's fine. So we're back to normal here at the Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout for 2023. Cack's been doing a wonderful job <laughs> holding up the fort because Big Fox is still playing. So I'll get an update. Forced a mistake and he's off. I'll get an update here from Cack. What's the score, sis? I think it's um, six. Six nil to descent, so I'm not sure. Okay. It's just been a up and down game here. Yep. Nothing spectacular happening out here. They're just completing their sets every t every time they get the ball to both sides. Descendants on the attack here. 20 minute, 20 meters out. Please forgive me, everybody. I'm just a little bit out of breath, but. As I said, my sister here, she's going to become a full-time commentator because uh, she's had to carry the fort here by herself for the last oh, the 40 minutes. Descendants in there. James Torrance puts the ball down. Gets the tabulum turtle divers. I'm not sure. I thought I'd seen a big body coming up here, and it is. Big Foxy back on deck. We'll wait for him to... Gear up, settle down, give himself a breathing space, and uh, we'll find out how he pulled up after that game <laughs> that he wasn't expecting to win, but he ended up winning. It'll be interesting to hear what he has to say. Uh, what's the score here? So there you go, 10-0. 10 nil. 10 nil. To the, to the Torrance Descendants team there. I'm hooked up, mate. Got Fox back on the commentary as well. The boys are joining me. It was a big, long five minutes. <laughs> How was that that game out there for you, Foxy? It's nice and hot, I tell you. But the young boys, they back done from, well. Back from retirement? Back from re for <laughs> one day only. <laughs> Hands on hip there a couple of times. Mate, there will be plenty of that. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yes, but you look good out there. Must say, I ain't Chris. Just look good in uniform, nothing else. <laughs> you look like you were struggling. We got some closes up, close up oh. on Foxy. I told um, Goffy, no close ups. So it was very interesting at the time we went to you. It was just after you made a mistake coming out of your half. Yeah. Uh, a bit of a knock on there, and um, you weren't happy. Huh? You weren't happy for some reason. I just got up and put my head down and went to the scrum. So was it, it was all your fault? Yeah, I tried okay. to pass. I'm glad to see you're probably the first player out of here today out of the old event that actually takes responsibility for their own mistakes. So, mate, how are we looking on field two? What's happening over there? I think Gumbang uh, Gumbang Yang Gumbangi Yange are up at the moment. Yep. We'll get a score on that very it shortly. 6-0 just a minute ago, but... Conversion is 12-0 here on field oh, one between the Torrance descenders, descendants and the Tabulum oh, Turtle Divers. 12 nil over there on ground two. Gumbangi boys are up. Gumbangi are up over the NAB boys. Very young NAB side, must I say. Big run there from the Torrance descendants. I think that was, was that Eddie Walker? I think it was. Big number eight. He loves it that way. The descendants on the attack here. 20 metres their side of halfway. Now we go. Little shape. To, oh, big go. run there, James Torrance. Very strong run there by James. I can tell you, Chris, there's nothing spectacular in either of these sides. They just completed their sets of six. Yep, get to the kick. Nice tackle there, nice kick there by Akeem Torrance. Backed up well with his defence. So I actually know, was that... Is that number 21 out there, Leon? Who for? For the Torrance descendants. Nice little break here from the total...
Drivers push it forward. Yeah, they found some there too. No markers. Caught short here. Table of Turtle Divers on the attack. Is Just over halfway. Jerome Green. Torres descendants are up to it. Found some space through the middle here. They're making good metres up the middle here, the Turtle Divers. They needed that penalty again. I'll let you guys take over. So picked up a penalty here, the Turtle Divers. That was a good opportunity again for Tablin to score, but they've made the mistake. Fox. There we go, half time. Hooters in the background. So 12 nil here at half time. Second half's about to go, get away on field one. Torrens are the sentence, Torrens are sentence kicking off. Here we go, we're underway for the second half. Turtle Divers got the ball, 10 out from their line. Long ball here out to the left they want edge. To attack straight up here. <coughs> Good defence here so far from the Torrens descendants, descendants team. Nice contact. So, Good. Foxy, how'd you pull up? Mate, I was just saying to CAC, it was a long five minutes for me, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> One mistake in five minutes. Was it five minutes in total? I think that's pretty good. Yeah, in total. So we got the Torres Descenders on the attack here, Les. Cack, pushing down hard. Oh, nice tackle there, low. As I said, to, I think we, when they played their first game, the Torres Descenders side, we actually said that they actually, they're not a very big side. But they play knockout footy. That's they're it. Play. They're a knockout football team. They're a family team. They've come together today. Obviously, they understand. They understand the the little in, in, intricacies of knockouts, and they get it right. They're very mobile, and they complete their sets of six, don't they? They, they, yeah, they don't do anything fancy. They just complete a, complete their sets and get on with it. Roll through the motions. Yeah, they, they get on with it, and they protect the lead by defending well.
Here we go, Tablin working it out here. I think that's uh, Drewy Lanston pushing forward. Nice run there from dummy half. The nice little scoop, getting easy meters up the middle. Oh, good Ta defense there. Tavian look a bit rattled. Yeah, they don't look settled out there at the moment. No, nah. and there's some blokes out there walking as well with hands on their hips. <laughs> but here's, oh, nice take there. Oh, Hang on, what's he got here? Penalty. I think he's got, you know what I think he's got him for there? He yeah, ran okay. him off the ball. He ran him off the ball. I feel like I played 10 games and I only played five minutes, <laughs> did you? Was it only five minutes you end up playing? Whole, whole game, I reckon, five minutes. <laughs> so in saying that Foxy, that retirement should have stayed in retirement? <laughs> yeah, should have. He's retired three times, you know, Coach. Mm. <laughs> Mate, it's all about... Um, Big run there. Getting a good start with the young boys and then kicking back for the rest of the game. Yep. Table them on the attack about 10 metres out. Oh, Hang on, we've got to knock on. He got a knock on. He was trying to, I think he tried to milk the penalty, but yeah. he ended up calling a knock on. So, Lammy trying to pull a Swifty. He's not happy with the call. So, Benji, is there a little break after this game or a bit longer? Yeah, I think we got um, the wall. The way it was supposed to work is that at 1 30, we actually had the official welcome. Or so what time is that last game? So this is the 12. Newcastle All Blacks are over there. These games are done. So, yeah, I think there's an, a break after this and we're going to do the official welcome to country. Lunchtime for us, guys. Yeah, we've got the Nine Bull, Nine Bull Brothers down here to which they actually play at 1.30. So there will be a short break in between this before the start of the next game. Does that mean we're back on at 1.30? <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. Here we go. Table them on the attack here now. I think the score's still, I think it's 10-0. It's still 10-0. Yeah, still 10 -nil. 10 -nil. They'd love a try here, the Turtle Divers. Nice charge up the middle there. I think that might be Dan Ross. They need He's still try, going. Yeah. We'll get a, get a look on how long we've got left in this game. 14 minutes left, plenty, plenty of, time of time here for Tabulum. We oh, the ball's what, gone back there. We all know what the fast finishing turtle divers are like, don't we? <coughs> They've gone through here, the Tabulum turtle divers. Oh, the ball's taken there by the Torres descendants, number 14. Or number 12, sorry. Shift out here by the Torres the centre to the left hand side, pushing down hard. James Torres. James Torres looks in, he gets the winger into the clear. Oh, Ooh, nice defence there from the turtle divers. Oh, he didn't like it. He goes up hard here, taken there by the Tablum defence, just 10 metres. The, uh, the Tablum side of halfway. <laughs> Torres the centre's attacking in. They're looking to go hard. Chip over the top. Nice defence. Tablum here, he's got to go. He's got they got the ball back here, Les. Yeah, I think that's Eddie O'Connor there, charging up the sideline. He's still going. That's that wonderful breeze. Cack is just starting to pick up yeah, as well. Here we go, Drewy Lanson's going to try and sneak up the sideline. They've, they've, mate, I'll tell you, if 
They've actually done a good job on Drury today. Him and Big Rossi. The uh, Tweed Tweed Coast Raiders connection, Rossi and uh, and Drury. Yeah, we've got a turnover here, so Torrens Torrens descendants got the ball now. Oh, Big no, run no. there. My prediction here is I think when Torrance descendants get down this half, we'll actually see their, <coughs> their little uh, hooker at the moment. Dart out. Yeah, mate, I think he's going to jump out, mate, and I actually reckon he can turn something on here. Once he's seen some tight defence, he'll start to have a bit of a look himself, young Akeem Torrance. Oh, nice ball. Bit of a tunnel ball there. Corey Torrens with the ball now. Nice little stabbing. Oh, they've got it. Got it. Torres descendants find a way through. <laughs> what a try there. <coughs> nice play there. Takes the score Torrance. out. Torres descendants, 14. Tableham, Turtle Divers, nil. That was a nice kick, Chris. That was a good try. I think Corey, very smart play, very experienced. Yeah, Corey Torrens, he's very experienced. Nice little kick in behind there. He's played a few years here around in the entry player with Northern and Casino. They actually look the better in attack, the sentence, and... Real mobile four tack, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to play up-tempo through the middle. Yeah. Like I said, they're, just, they're, they're, not a, um, they're not a very big side, and I keep saying this, they're, they're just a... To me, they just look like one of those typical knockout teams that everyone you can go into and think, well, they don't look too much, but they yeah. go out and they play knockout footy and all of a sudden they come up and do things like that. Do so, a play like that. Yeah. Which is what you want to see. I mean, that's what we all come to the knockout for, to watch that free flow game and watch players like this get out there and do their thing. And We're going to have a short break after this and do the welcome to country, I think. I'll just get a... While you guys are here on that, Les, I'll just get a verification on that right now. Yep. So the good successful 18 nil to Torrance Descendants. <coughs> so we'll get a break here after this, guys. As we got the welcome to country um, and smoking ceremony by Gilbert Laurie and Uncle Claudie Roberts uh, directly after this game. So it'll be just straight down in front of us down here at the front and. Um, these guys will do a wonderful Short job. Um, uncle Claude, no. uh, obviously yeah, my already. uncle, my mum's brother, and then you've got Gilbert, who's already in the Widgeable Wobble, Yagel man, um, with a smoking ceremony. <coughs> so, Chris, what game follows uh, the Welcome to Country? Field one will be. The Cabbage Island team are versus, they, they will play the Nine Bull Brothers. Uh, we'll also have the Coastal Brothers. Uh, Coastal Brothers will play oh, after, so all the games will converge there. after this, all on the ground one. So every game will be live here on ground one after this game. We've got, at the moment, Cabbage Island will play Nine Bull Brothers, Stony Gully. We'll play Country Coastal Brothers. The winner out of this game will play Julie's Rabbitohs. And the winner out of the Newcastle All Blacks game and Gambangi Angay will progress through to the next stage this afternoon. And they'll play the winner out of the, I think it's the Inverell Roosters, who, who uh, I think won that game against Steve Williams, Steve O. Williams Memorial. 
Yeah, thanks for that, Binji. Yeah, I'm on top of things, mate. I've, I'm, I'll tell you, it's been a busy day for me. I've had <laughs> protests. I've had um, arguments. Uh, arguments. I've had. We've had a field. People walk on the field and try and stop the games. And but you know what? It's knockout. It's knockout footy. It's what happens. I know there's Everybody a lot of things that are said at these things and that people can take to heart. For me, it's not about taking things to heart. It's just about <laughs> the way we have to make sure we, you know, put the rules in place. The rules are there for a reason. We do our best to follow that. Um, and look. Not every time things goes, things will go the way that people want, but we get the best result in the end, which is, you know, we get the footy that we need to get played out here today. Here we go. Can the turtle divers get over the line here? Jerome Green. Oh, they're going to need something here, mate. Oh, oh. Got knock ball. Here we go. Here we go. Eddie. Attack. James, James Torrance. Torrance. Looking for a keen. Oh, they won't get a keen he Torrance from here. A keen Torrance. He'll take that right around underneath the post. He's waving back to, you know what he's like, Les. He's got a bit of cheek in him, but he scores underneath the post there for the Torrance descendants over the Tablum Turtle Divers. That Great was try. A mistake down here. Off a mistake, Eddie Walker Tablum. picks I'll up the ball, really tips it on to like James the Torrance. Torrance descendant side. James Torrance gets his one arm free and then tips that on to Akeem Torrance who goes underneath the post to score. Great try. And I would say, my, I would say from what I'm seeing, that would be game. That would be game, I think. I can't see Tablum coming back from that. 22 with a kick to come. I think it's all over. <coughs> what a day it's been so far, hasn't it? Some good football played here on field one. Mate, it's been great. It's been some exciting length the field tries. There, boys. There's been good football played all day. And I think it's just flowed on from yesterday's women's part of the draw. And today we've seen absolute brilliant football on both fields. We didn't get to commentate, obviously, on ground two, but... From what I'm hearing, the games over there was just as good. Yeah, I went over there this morning before I come up here. And, uh, how good does that look? Yeah. It's a great field. It's I've got good. a bit of a sore rib. I don't know how. I, well, I can't. Me and Cac sort of can't work it out either. That's because <laughs> you didn't do anything really other than that one run where you dropped the ball. We had one run and drop ball. How do I get a sore rib? Mate, I will say the there was one time when you did go on early in that game and you took the ball. I think it was one of your first hit-ups in the knockout and your nephew, Kyle Binge, yeah. wrapped you up. Yeah, how good was it? Did what? Well, what did that? What was that like running? Did he give you a mouthful or what? From a little kid, Kyle Binge, to now playing against him, it was a bit weird. I'm a bit old. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell, he used you, to annoy I did you. tell him after the game that you were calling him Maui, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's him. That's my son, Maui. <laughs> yeah, it's very different, Chris, when you're playing footy and everyone on the field's calling you unk. You know it's time to not play, don't you? What was that score on ground two again? Kambangi yeah. Angay. 30 over the Newcastle All Blacks. NAB, four on ground two. Would that be the upset of a knockout? They have bought a very young side, though, the NAB boys. Yeah, I don't think that was... And I think they've got a couple of players that are... That, that word that we all hate, suspended. <laughs> um, so far, all the talk I'm hearing about is the coastal... coastal yeah, they do look the good, don't they? Country coastal brothers. Yeah, they do look good. But I'm telling you now, the coastal... Country brothers need to look out for the Torrens descendants, mate. Oh, yeah, I would say that too, mate. Oh, yeah. I would say that as well. Well, if they do, they won't play them until they may meet in the final. Yeah. So that's if they both get through to the final. Well, the Rabbits won that game. Here we go now. Tabbing them on the attack here. 30 metres out from the Torrance Descendants line. And I think the Torrance Descendants just have to defend this one out to win the game and go through to the next round, <coughs> which will be the last eight games. Three and a half Three minutes and a half to go, minutes ladies and gentlemen, yeah. watching, watching this game at home. It'll be, it's, obviously, you'll be seeing the, the attacking prowess of the Torrance Descendants team over the table and Turtle Divers. And they backed that up with a good defensive effort as well. Tablum still looking to attack here. There's two tackles remaining in this set. Jumping out of dummy half, shooting to that left. Looking for a runner, but he can't find one. Torres descendants have read that well and shut it down pretty quickly. Again, looking on that short side. They found some space. Tablum turtle divers are over. Scoring a consolation try nice with three minutes ball. remaining in the game here against the Torres descendants. Yeah, nice little short ball there. 
Make the score look respectable. There you go, 24 10. Conversion to come. Torres Descendants over the Tabulum Turtle Divers. Two and a half minutes to go. Tell you what, Les, the, uh, and Cac, the uh, security guards have been pretty active. By the time this knockout's over, they're going to feel like they've played three or four games themselves. <laughs> Mate, and all the volunteers. They've been great, though. Hats off to all the volunteers, too. Oh. They're doing a great job here today. Mate, they're working, they're working their absolute butts off down there in that canteen. Without your volunteers, mate, it's no, you can't do it can't happen, can they? That kick was successful, Chris. There you go, 24 12. 24 Like you said, mate, they've made it a little bit more respectable. Is it 24 12, is it? No, 24 I'll tell you what, Cac. After this, I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping that um, the people down at the uh, wonderful world of NITV and the, um, you know, the, the commentators at that are looking at this because, mate, we should be looking at having a gig down there as well. At some point, we yeah. make a good trio. <laughs> well versed in the game, might I say. Yep. I Particularly the knockouts. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi Coaching, the playing. Gigi and the Fox and Cat. That's it. <laughs> or should we say... The Fox and Gingy and the Cackstar. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Here we go now. There's been about a minute and a half to go here. Shifton. Tabulum are looking for an early shift. They found some. Oh, ball's oh, gone down ball. there. I think that's going to be called back for a knock on. And again, that would be all she wrote, I'd say, ladies and gentlemen, oh, in this I think game. So too. At, the, uh, at the finish of this game, we'll actually go straight into the um, Welcome to Country. Uh, we'll, we'll take precedent over this game uh, between the Cabbage Tree Island team and the Nine Ball, Nine Ball brothers. So what be, this is off? a local derby, wouldn't it be, Les? What time's kickoff for that? Uh, it actually says in there about that 1.30ish or just after 1.30. So, mate, you're going to have to stay here for us now. and You've got plenty of time to get ready. You don't do too much I anyway. I so, warm up, do I? Yeah, you just go out there. And here we go, James Torrance looking again to shape on that outside. He's had a great knockout, Jamesy Torrance. There we go. Full time. A little kick in here. What can happen from here? And that's the finish of the games, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go. The Torrance descendants run out victors 24-12 over the Tabulum Turtle Divers and played in the right spirit, might I say, as well. So as I said, we're going to have a little break now. And um, I think they'll stay ahead on the live stream. They're going to get the... Uh, they're actually going to get the welcome to country. That'll happen now. So I'm just going to make my way down there. They look hot. No, they're oh. Hot. At least I, I can, I can fucking see the kind of a thing. Yeah, it's on. Check one, two. It's coming through the mug. I can see it in the meter. It's moving in the meter, mate, so you should... You,
they win that other game over there on that other ground over the price of uh, over there, Steve oh, Williams Memorial yeah. or uh, they got smashed, they? is it? That's that's wrong. Just an update from field two, good man gear 34. You go up on the back four. everybody's attention for a bit please we're going to do the official welcome to the country and smoking provided by your party so we have everybody's attention for this please we've got Wichita Wild and Belda up on Gordy Roberts that's going to do a welcome and then that'll be followed by the smoking ceremony provided by Gilbert Murray so, before we start, on behalf of the Northern United Rugby League Football Club, the Hodge Club, on the Lisbon Aboriginal Rugby League Knockout, we'd like to thank all 
the supporters that have come here today, all the teams that are participating in this year's event, from both the women's and the men's part of the draw in this year's 2023 Dismal Aboriginal Rugby League knockout. Back here for the first time after three years of disruption. It was COVID for two years and then obviously the 2022 floods that impacted on the town of Dismal and the surrounding region. We just want to say thank you for your support today and your attendance at the event. And I'm now going to pass the mic over to Uncle Claudia Roberts, Wichita Wibble Elder. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Mala <laughs> So we're all going to stand today. We'll have a minute silent. We want you to all stand and, and show that respect to our elders here, Bunjilung elders, Wijibal Arrival elders. We want you to all stand now. Thank you. Stand up, please. Chris, you time us with your time. Let us stand. Thank you. I want you to just bow your heads. Come on. Show that respect. Thank you, you may be seated. I want to thank everyone for coming this afternoon today, this afternoon. And I want to welcome you. Malabana Mala Ngadang Mura Mala Yambale. I want to welcome you this afternoon from the from the Manjalang elders, Wijiba Rival elders, and past and present. We want to thank you all for coming. Even the children, Jajam, Mala Jajam, that's mean ch children. And I thank you all, and I just pray that you have a good evening and a good night. Thank you. Bless you all. Let us, let, let us just bow our heads in prayer. Bow your heads in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, for today. We pray that you bless the families, the children, and all the elders and people who came. Bless them, Father, and give them, the good, give them a safe journey home as they travel back home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just hand it over to Gilly now. Thank you. Yeah. Buku Bear, hey, Uncle Wallow, Uncle Claudy. Uh -huh. Yeah, my name is Gilbert. This is where I was born. I was born in Lismore right, a long time ago. I grew up in Lismore, so... Right, look, I'm a Widgeable. I'm a, I'm a Widgeable descendant as I walk, so... I like to acknowledge the land we are upon. I say, "No, I got a jungle Monday. Which will jog on you? Got a lot of garden English, a bunch of jog on you. Yeah, I watch a little garden English. Yeah, I still love to speak our language. I am a language educator. I go into the schools and share our language and share our stories of our great big nation, the Bunjilung Nation. I mention our family groups: the Wallabul, the Wallabul, the Banjilang, the Midjinbul, the Nandawal people, the Nyanbul people. You know." We are a deadly mob, us Bunjilung mob. You know, it's all about loving and caring for one another. So, and I'd like to acknowledge my elders who are here, you know. Thank, uh, to my elders, past, present and future. That's how I'd like to say it in English. When I say it, say it in, in my language, I say, Gada mare gala ningala jumbana. Jumbana kam.
So, all right, what I'd like to say is, again, on behalf of the, the bit of Rums, Northern United, to put this together. Thank you for, for getting up to do the work in the country for us, guys. But it makes me feel so proud to be who I am. So, Bukul Bear, that we say it in our language, no? Bukul Bear, learn that word, that means thank you. Bukul Bear. Yeah, enjoy your day. And back to Chris. Thank you, Gil. Really appreciate that. Uncle Claude, thank you so much as well for your welcome. Gil will be here. Anyone that um, is one to take part in the smoking, we're going to leave it down the front here. But strap yourselves in, guys. We've got uh, four great games now to play out. That'll determine the teams to go into the semi-finals tomorrow afternoon. So I think we're going to see some great footy. Keep enjoying yourselves. Be respectful. And I might be mindful that not of yourself, but also of others, eh? Thank you very much.
is when you go up there and you have a look at their stadium and they've yep, got the balcony yep. area. So, you know, a lot can be said about that venue, mate, and this whole complex in itself. Angelan community, ever pull the communities together and put in two very, very strong teams. I will say, I'll say um, it, it would go close to winning it. Uh, and, and I'll tell you, once it's done, what a spectacle it would be to have a knockout down here at this venue. Yeah, it'd be good. It would, it's, it's purpose built for that. Yeah. You could just see it. Um, the ground's over at the back, as I said. You've got another, you've got another ground over the back of uh, Crazy Field, that, which is the Oaks, uh, sorry, Blair Oval. Yep, yep. Then you've got another v venue over to the right over, uh, you know, it's a, it's purpose built for AFL. But we do know that we will play rugby league on an AFL field if we want, if we can. So there's, you know, five purpose built ovals here. I think it's a, a, an immaculate venue, but as I said, it's an ideal venue to hold a knockout. Yeah, I agree with that. Here we go. No. Here we go. What are you after? A napkin. Um, not up here. So strap yourselves in here, guys. This is the game between the Cavistry Island team and the Nine Bull Brothers. I'm just going to go out and tell you this, which you probably never didn't know, Cac, but this, this is, these two teams are actually full representation of the Ballina and Cavistry Island communities. Oh, um, we all know what they've been through down at Cavistry Island and what's happening and what's uh, going on in the community. We also know that um, the Nine Bull boys... You know, uh, again, a lot of these boys actually are living down there in the pods um, that are playing in this game. So life's still not, you know, the greatest, but it's good to see that these two teams are out there today representing their community. Yep. Um, I will say, may the best team win, but <laughs> when that, think... and the Cabestry Island team. Cabo's about to kick off. Mate, Cabestry yeah. Island, they uh, got underestimated in that last game against oh, the Murray yeah. John Memorial team, and um, I think they caught them unaware, and they, they played some nice footy. Yeah, they sure did. And, mate, these this guys, I've only seen game, them play bro. one game down here, the Nine Ball boys, and I'll tell you, that one game, they won quite convincingly. So <laughs> they're a very good side. They've got Brian Kelly here now receiving the ball, playing in the back row. Right. Uh, NRL, Brian's knocked it on. He's put the mocker on him. On. Oh, God. <laughs> Commentators curse good start again. Good by Cabo. Good start by Cabo. So let's just see what the defensive efforts here can be like. Jira Breckenridge. Mate, ironic, there's a story behind two players in the Nine Ball brothers, Brett Kelly and Jira Breckenridge. If they win, if they go through to the final, they would have played in six consecutive finals in the Lismore knockout, and they have won five. So they're, they're yeah, looking for record-breaking, um, you know, statistics to be maintained. But I'll tell you what, if I'm putting a knockout team together, I'm picking both those boys because <laughs> they, they do take you right through to that final series. <laughs> so here we go. A Cavistry Island attacking in here now. They're about five metres off the try line of the Nine Bull Brothers. Lincoln selling it. Take it back, young man. Play the ball here. Going out to that right-hand edge. They're looking to go unders. Strong run there, Glen Rhodes. The captain coach for the Nine Bull Brothers being Alwyn Roberts. We all know Alwyn. Great knockout footballer. Uh, has a big and long and extended history with the Cabestry Island team. So... No doubt he'd like to go here today and upset the apple cart for the Nine Ball Brothers. Penalty given to Cabo, offside. Here we go, Cabo on the attack. Nice run there. I think that's big Rashawn Anderson. He's only, mate, he's, only, he's 17 years of age, young Rashawn. Big wow. fronty and he plays. He's a great football. He's played some rep footy in the uh, Titans develop, Pathways development squads as well. Uh, forward pass court. Well, there you go. We know that the uh, Nine Ball Brothers defence is pretty strong. That they've <laughs> held out there. We've got two of the referees sitting down in front of us here, having a oh, well-deserved break, I think, taking some time out in the cool. Um, they're tossing coins at the moment, I think, about who's going to be refereeing the finals. That'll be my decision this weekend, not Josh's. So uh, we'll see how that goes. If they pay me enough money, anything's possible. <laughs> Can't do the job without the referees, guys. We know that. Nine Bull Brothers now on the attack coming out here. Big run there. I think that's Tyrone Kelly. I think he, is that Tyrone Kelly? No. That was Mikey Kelly. Great run there. He's, Mikey Kelly's usually an outside back. He took the hit up like a fronty. 
Jairo Breckenridge here. Plays it just off the halfway. They're going to have a shift down that left-hand edge. They show, they go. Young Willow James, There's great young going. footballer, this kid. Support inside everywhere. The Nine Bull Brothers are the first team to score in their game here against the Cabestri Island team. Really well set up there. There was two very strong runs. That was so here we had um, young Mikey Kelly. As I said, he's playing in the centres, but he took a hit up like a fronty, then followed up by Jaira Breckenridge. Quick play of the ball, found his fronty, found his front. Young Willow James, mate, brilliant young guy. Yeah, I think young, he's got a big future too, young William James. He's been up in the um, Tweed Seagull system. He's played his first full season of first grade this year with the Northern United Football Club with us. I had the pleasure of coaching him. He played, he played halfback for me all year, and I'll tell you what, if there's a player of the future in the whole of the Northern Rivers region, um, and there's NRL clubs that are out there looking for a quality talent um, and a very coachable kid with a good temperament, Willow James is your man. Yep, I'd yep. be getting him, signing him up right now if I was any NRL club looking for a, a, you know, a young kid coming out of the, the Northern Rivers region. So what are you thinking, mate? How, what are you thinking about that? I mean, they defended well, Danny. Yeah, they did. The Bangy boys. They did do that, um, and they had one opportunity to attack, and they succeeded from it. But I will say, I'm not, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to underestimate this young Cabbage no. Island team. I think we're up for a good game here. Bells are ringing here. Cacks on the phone. Don't, don't worry. I just. I was just ringing out to see what the score was over there, but it's all good. There's a big shout-out today as well for the, um, I think it's the Mustangs reserve grade team. They're playing in the grand final down there today yeah. in group three. Is that right, Kate? So a big shout-out to all the boys with the Mustangs that are taking part in the grand, in the grand final down in group three in reserve grade. We wish you all the best, boys. I know you would probably love to be here, but we want you to go out and... Uh, you know, service your community proud. Kelly. Brian Kelly there taking the ball up through that middle and uh, go and get that grand final win for the McClay Valley Mustangs. So the Nine Bull Brothers here on the We've attack there, about 40 metres out. Wally Kelly looking, showing, going, taking the ball right to that line. He's got the little offload away as well. Straight back here to Brett Kelly, I think that is. Don't give him any room, guys. He'll, oh, there it is. Wonderful try. The Nine Bull Brothers have set that up quite nice. Second phase play and Nine off he brothers. went. They definitely look a better team here at the they moment. At the moment they do. They're a bit flat-footed, Cabo. Yeah, they were, mate. They, they, they came out of the blocks really well for that first few minutes, but once the Nine Ball boys started to, uh, you know, get their groove together, um, they showed the class they are, mate. They're a very classy side, this. They've got a couple of NRL boys here, too, in Brian Kelly, and I think it's Tremaine Spry. He's in there as well. So, young Willow James, as I, I, I said earlier, he's part of the Tweed Seagulls system, and... He hasn't played much football in the Colts, and there's no Colts up in Queensland Cup next year. So, And I'm hearing the same for the New South Wales Cup. So those boys have been told that the Colts uh, competition is no longer a development system up there in the, in the Queensland competition. They would rather see those boys play first grade for their local clubs uh, and come through that pathway, which is, oh, look, to be totally honest, I think it's a great call. <laughs> I mean, it means those kids can come back and play, you know, First grade football for us and other clubs in this competition as well. Yeah, exactly. There you go. 12 nil, nine ball over the uh, Cabot Street Island team. Cabo needs to score, be the next one to score to stay in touch. This brother side can crucify them otherwise. What an atmosphere, I eh? Listen, look, look at I actually, as I said, looking around the ground here, this, this place is absolutely packed. Here we go here now. This is going on Josh Beach. We'll see what he can do here. 
Big Beachy taking the ball. Oh, he's gone straight oh, through, Beach. Through. He's going now. He's got support on the outside and inside. Oh, big run. The front rower from his in goal. He's gone 55 metres on the fly. They're an attacker, yeah? Yeah, they're going well here. Nine ball there, the second tackle there, and they're actually on the Cabestry Island 20. They're looking quite good here, the Nine Wool brothers. They're going to have a look in Willow James again. Oh, he's met well there. Great defence there by the Cabestry Island team. The referee score timeout. They've got an injured got player here, Cabo. Down. He's going to make his way back to the line. And I don't think it was anything, you know, illegal about that. It was just a good um, effort in defence, and he just come out second best. Their shape here is really good. There's Michael Roberts. Oh, oh Michael Roberts, he threw that one right. just that threw it away. wasn't on. He threw it away. Had an opportunity. I thought he was actually going to go himself there. Oh, well, I thought he should have. <laughs> he had him caught for with numbers. That, with that pass, yeah. I, he should have. He definitely had him caught for numbers. I'll tell you what, Kak, I know we're watching this game and I know we're saying nine ball um, look the goods here, but I honestly can't wait to see this country coastal brothers team. I've Apparently, never seen from them. what I'm hearing, the people that watched them on the other ground said they are one hell of a team. Never got the chance to see them, watch them play yet, so I'll see what what you're talking about when they come running on the next game. Yep. We've got, how about this, the Northern United staff have just brought around some um, some tucker. Uh, and me and Kaka definitely not going to say no to that. <laughs> so if you hear us cutting in and out, ladies and gentlemen, it'll simply be because we, uh, we are also trying to commentate and have uh, some light refreshments at the same time. A bit of a juggling act here. Juggling act here. Yeah, the referees are looking around at me at the moment. They look like they're absolutely starving. Jermaine, you don't need another feed, by the way. Um, here we go, Fred Pitt bringing the ball back, just coming off the back of a grand final loss against Kudjan with the ball on the Seagulls. He's bumping and grinding, he's moving, he's shaping, he's got some step, he found some clean ball out on that wing. He's got, I think that's Michael Roberts again with the ball now, he's looking, showing, going himself. They're setting up here, Willow James is telling his troops, come on guys, I want you out the back. They're going to go into Brett Kelly. Again, another big run here by Kelly. Wally Kelly now will step up and take over this right-hand edge. Inside ball. I think that's, that could be, I think that's Ethan, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Ethan Roberts. It could be Ethan Roberts. It actually is Ethan Roberts. Oh, look at this, Wally Kelly. Show and go. Cabestry Island defence just wasn't up to it, Cack. The Fox. The Fox. The Fox. Down. The Fox is on. They put the Fox on, and straight away they score. They run at him. I don't know if it was his fault, but I'm blaming him anyway. I'm blaming him for leaving us up here by ourselves again. So that takes the score out to Nine Will Brothers 16, Cabestry Island yet to score here in the last round of eight left in the competition here today out of 20 teams. That's the Country Coastal Brothers. Mate, there's a couple of NRL boys down there. Dane Laurie. You've got Braden Trindle. They've got a fair... They might have a couple of New South Wales Cup boys and they've also got a couple of boys that are playing some Queensland Cup. So there's young Braden Trindle going into the sheds getting ready for his next game. Good night. I'm a Queenslander too, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, mate, great kick there. Michael Roberts from the sideline. 18-0. Nineball over the Cabestry Island. Very young, youthful team. If Cabo doesn't muscle up soon, they'll be getting blown out of the park. Yeah? I say very young and youthful, but they just put the big fox on, so <laughs> we might take that back at some point. Here we go now. 
Nyingbo to receive. The, got the try scorer, Kelly, pops it up to... Here he is, Tadpole. Big run there. Malik Kelly. Malik Tadpole Kelly. Takes the ball up nice and hard. They find the way through here. The number nine. Oh, high shot on the way through, by the way. He's just throwing it at the back. Play on is the call here. No, he's called it back for that high shot. Cax got a mouthful of uh, chicken burger or steak burger. Eighteen. Eighteen nil to the Nine Ball Brothers over Capistry Island. Nine Ball here looking to uh, take the game by the scruff of the neck. Wally Kelly off to Tadpole Kelly. Takes it up ten metres off the Capistry Island line here. With a look into the left. Ethan Roberts showing, going, looking, taking the ball to the line, go, taking it down there now. Good defence there. Oh, that was the big fox. What the hell? He actually made a tackle. <laughs> mate, have a look out there. The camera right in the middle, mate. Big fox is down there. He's got his hands on his hips. He's, he's made one tackle. I reckon he's going to have potentially one run, and I think he's coming straight off. Got a couple of other blokes sitting up here to the right of me, and young Dayday Cordwell, he's looking at me, giving me the look, telling me to quieten down, but that's what commentary is. <laughs> We've got to get excited about the game that's been played. Cavistry Island, here we go. What can they do? Coming out of their half. Big defence here, Brian Kelly. Nice run there by the Cabestrial and out of dummy by Cabestrial and out of dummy half. Young Des Ferguson, he's looking here himself to have a bit of a run. There wasn't much on offer there for, for young young Ferguson. We go out here now to the left hand side. The chip and chase has come out. Regather there, Tremaine Spry, right out as well. Play on, I That's think he's going to call. On. No, he's called a knock on. Well, I don't know. Well, I thought, that I thought the... he was going to call play. I thought it was taken out and right back, but anyway. Yeah. Been I... proven wrong a couple of times today. <laughs> so They've 40 metres. Yeah, yes. mate, 40 metres out here. Nine will get the ball back here on a scrum set, attacking in. Straight out here, Wally Kelly, looking straight to Willow James. Clarence Kelly, out to Fred Pitt, and Fred Pitt's found some space here. Very strong young Fred. Inside ball, offload. Straight to Brett Kelly. Brett Kelly's dancing, weaving, jumping, diving, and he's over. He's over. Someone's throwing things at me here as well. If I see that again, I'm going to come back and slap someone in the face if they ever throw something at me again while I'm commentating. <laughs> They've scored over there, Chris. I missed that. Yeah, mate. 22-0 now. The Nine Ball brothers out over the Cabbage on a team who are yet to score. They didn't come out like they did that first Nah, game. mate. The energy level seems to be zapped. Um, there's not much to give out there from the Cabbage Island team. No one wants to put their hand up to do the hard yards, We've yeah? Got, I think this is young Willow James taking the conversion. The kid I've been giving a rap to. I've got big raps on this young kid. I think he's something special, young Will. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, Cac, sitting up here now waiting for this conversion. I know both of them you were saying earlier it's a bit, bit, bit warm, but 
that, that, that can you feel that cool breeze coming through? <laughs> yes. This is the best place beyond two o'clock, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is that. <laughs> Very cool, no air complain. conditioning. <laughs> Very cool, no air con. We don't need it up here. He's waved away. Waved away there. So the score remains. I think it's score at the moment in this game. 22-0. 22 Nine ball over the Cavistry Island. Young team here. Yet to score. Kids. Back to the game here. Some We've got some issues measure. with some kids up here in, in, a, in the new complex, so the security's going to take care of that, and we're going to take care of business here, calling this game. Kelly out looking for Roberts. Roberts, big strong run again. I think Rung Roberts is playing for the Bygle team down in the big knockout this year. He's going to be a handy addition to that team as well. Willow James, here he goes. Here go. He's straight through here. He's got support on the inside. Oh, great play. Fred Pitt right on hand to take the ball off. Oh, he's passed it on too. He's given it to young Tyrell Kelly. They're just not defending. Nah. And just looking down, they look very tired now. Hands on hips. Um, I'm not saying they're giving up the ghost. I think they'll play it out. But the Nyingle brothers have just taken the ascendancy in this game and I don't think there's any pegging them back. No. And they're still, this is the first half. So the score now goes out to 26. Nyingle brothers over the Cabestry Island team and the Big Fox, he's got his heads down. He's just about had enough. He's looking to get back up here in the cool. Free food, free <laughs> drinks. When he comes up here, we're giving him absolute nothing. Yes, exactly. He can have his packet of chips that he was That's munching That's it, he's got on. his little, nice little packet of chips he was munching on earlier. He did, did he give you any? Yeah, he shared them. Yeah, he didn't give me any. They weren't worth it. <laughs> you never missed out on nothing, Chris. <laughs> that conversion was successful. Conversion successful, 9 by the 48. 28-0. 28 28 ball over the Cabestry Island team. Got a shout out there by Brian. Briny boy out there in Moree, big shout out there. You got a you got a big shout out to Big Mike. So Big Mike, hope you're doing well, big fella. Big shout out from the Gingy up here in the commentary team at the Lismore Knockout this year. Watching the uh, game here between the Nineville brothers over the Cabestry Island team. Up 28-0 on the attack. Pushing out here again, James. Looking again, showing and going. Taking the defence there. This game has a potential blowout. We're only, it's not even half time yet, mate. Yeah, we're, not even half time. Yeah, we're 28 zip. Kelly, oh. Kelly looking to overplay his hand there. I think Cabo's open for half time to come. Yeah, mate, I'm just looking down at the bench. The boys are definitely warm down there. I'm not, there doesn't look too many, look, look like there's too many blokes keen to get back out and have another <laughs> run before no. half time. <laughs> Here they are. There's a 
Here we go now. Cavish Island back with the ball just before half time. It's the first time they've seen some ball for a while, Cuck. Yeah, the they've been the of it. Going in here now. Big Glen Rhodes. He's trying to barge his way through the nine ball defence. Nine ball are up for that. He's oh, lost the ball in that as well. Another mistake. It's not the it's mistake not you want need. at this time in the game either. Not what Being they down need. 28-0. No. Could see the uh, team over here getting ready for the game. The Country Coastal Brothers. I'm looking up here at 90 and I'm going like this. Where's mine, 90? Uh, <laughs> I've got a big mob out there, my brother. Here we go here. Wally Kelly's found his way through again. All the way under the post. The Nine Ball brothers have just taken this game this away from yeah. Cabestry. Cabestry, they're now really doing it tough. Those young boys are finding the conditions. Um, they just haven't got the cattle to compete with this Nine Ball team. Different There's a lot of that, um, from the first, time, the first yeah. game they played. Cabo. Well, they've got a lot of first grade talent out here combined with Queensland Cup and NRL experience. It's hard to, I mean, you know, we talk about knockouts, and we've already we spoke about it yesterday in the women's competition about teams that go out, go down to the big knockout and yep. stack their teams. I'm not saying that the nine ball teams are stacked team, but funnily enough, all those blokes that are out there that are playing either cup level or NRL level are actually from this community. So all they're doing is going back and playing for but their mob. They have just got an understanding with each other. Yeah, they I have, guess. mate. They re they read the game well. You know, you've got. I mean, you could actually call a play here, and we haven't done it yet. We could go. Kelly to Kelly to Kelly and Kelly scores. The support, <laughs> the support is, is really good. It's a bit of a Kelly-a-thon. <laughs> Other teams should actually watch the support that these yeah, their support boys plays been great. on the field do have. I hope all the viewers at home are uh, sitting back in their armchairs now and enjoying, you know, the day today and also the games tonight. I know it's a bit, a bit of a disruptive start to the day with the commentary team and I know we left each other posted at points where you got posted more than anybody. Um, thank God you came and seen me yesterday because I tapped you on the shoulder and said would you like to do some commentary today but mate, it's been, you've been a godsend to be totally honest, Kak, so oh, lo lo love having you sis. It's been great. Doesn't it give you a different view of the game? Oh yeah, <laughs> You just see things. <laughs> <laughs> and the view from up here is pretty good. Yeah it is, mate. No it one's is. standing in front of me. Here we go. Down. Deep into this is young Pongy. Big run here, Pongy. Taking it right in. He's, he's had a big season down with the Evans Head Bombers, Pong. So up there now, 10, 20 metres off halfway, the nine ball. Here's Brian Kelly. Was that a bit of a hit? Oh, actually, Brian Kelly is tackled there by his brother. In Brian Yo. Brian. Tackles Brian. Guess what? They're brothers. They've got the same dad. That's old Brian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you got old Brian. Yep, then yep. you got young Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's mobbed of us. There you go. Now they're 30 metres out. Just over 30 metres away from the line here. Young Toriel Kelly at dummy half. Big run into the Cabestry Island 10 metre zone. Cabo's actually short. There's one player. Yeah, they the are. Here. They look short in numbers again. Here we go, James. He's looking. Oh, oh he's gone for the inside kick. And that's actually a good result too, by the way. They're, <laughs> They're going to get a repeat set. set. But like I was saying, there was a play in the back here that was down and there. He's short with 12 players then. Yeah, repeat set there. So, this seems to be a long half. Uh, well, they'll get the ball back here. Actually, no, that's James Roberts. Yeah. We just noticed him out there. James Bad Roberts decision. out there for the you Nine Ball Brothers. 
We'll just get a check on the time here. Under a minute to go the first half. If I was Big Foxy, I wouldn't be walking out. There's one minute to go, big fella. You're not going to be able to do <laughs> too not, much in 30 in seconds. Rush. He's not in a rush, Chris. Nah. I'm trying to get him to look up here, and I'm pointing the finger up. One minute, big fox. Hold your horses. Change straight over, too, because we're not into the semi-final stage at this point in the game, Kak, so... We'll see what goes on here. Cabestry only get the ball coming out. Probably be about 30 seconds ago. I think they'll just ease it up here. They won't try and chance the hand too much here. They can't, they wouldn't really want to throw it away either. There you go. Number 20 there makes that, makes that last tackle before half time in young Kai and Laurie. Half so. Time, this makes this game. Neither of them. 34. So 34 nil. I don't know what Cabo can do with this. Um, I haven't seen a 34 point turnaround at a half time in any knockout game. So I I can't see the brothers letting their defence down. They're they're, they're good, mate. Alwyn Roberts is on there now, the old veteran. Um, He's out there, you know, trying to. Yeah, he'll just out there to be steer. He won't be doing too much. He'll probably have one or two stints, and then he'll come off and save himself for later on. Oh yeah. Tomorrow, so. The winner out of this will progress through to the semi-finals tomorrow. And I'll tell you what, if it is the Nyingbull brothers, and should the country coastal brothers get up, it'll be a brothers yeah, a thon a um, But I'll tell you what, it'll be one hell of a game. <laughs> it's a shame um, Cabo didn't start well in this game after watching them that last game. They're on the back foot. Yeah, and as I said, though, they're, they're like... They're a young and emerging side at the moment. The Cabbage Island team, they've got a lot of young blokes out there. They're trying to, they're trying to look and restore their future you know, at, at a knockout level. So, Des Anderson, he always does a great job with the Cabbage Island team. And, you know, you've got Willie Simpson down there as well. Both very active and, um, you know, soldiers for the Cabbage Island or Cabo teams in the years gone by. So here we go, start of the second half, 34-0 to the Nyingbull brothers. Alwyn Roberts out of there now. Ooh, Ooh Kyan Laurie was looking to take a big shot there. <laughs> he would have, I'll tell you what, if he, if he did connect there, I, he the, the other bloke wouldn't have come off too well, I don't think. <laughs> Cabo on the attack. Big Fox is out there now. That's his, oh, he's got the offload away too. Trying to wind the clock back here. That's catch up football there. He's given the opportunity to brothers to attack straight away, second half. Yeah, he is, mate. He's, he's, he's making the job hard here. Alwyn. Big, oh, here we go. Brian Kelly again. Big, strong run. He just pumps his legs. He does, eh? He just, he, he's momentum. He's a momentum player. He. He does that at NRL level. He just gets, once he gets into that space, his leg power is he's quite strong down in his legs and hips, Brian. Here we go here. A nine ball over again. Pretty much nothing defence there by the Cavistry team. Takes the score out to 38. Nil to the nine ball brothers over the Cavistry Island one. team here in the round of the last eight teams. I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to this Torrance Descendants versus Julie's Rabbitohs game as well. I think it's going to be an absolute bell ringer, that one. <laughs> Both those teams look very good I throughout think all, the day. all games yeah, are going to be... Yeah, the, the standard in the competition at the moment across all these teams has been top class, high quality. You can see they're all gearing up for the big one, eh? Yeah. I know there'll be a whole bunch of players that have played this weekend also that'll be uh, looking to go up to the Murray Carnival yeah, which is I've next weekend. Got to, heard some little whispers. At Last there. year, I think the Murray Carnival was played the same time as the Koori knockout. But this year, but they're playing it a week before. Yeah. So you'll see a bit of cross-flowing in the next week or so between the Murray Carnival and the Koori knockout. Which means one thing. It's going to be one hell of a branded foot, one, one hell of a brand of football 
being played when we get down to the Koori knockout yes. this year. Looking forward to it, Chris. Which team are you in, involved with, mate? I got... Um, oh, you, go- you told me yesterday that, that your local girls... No, I got the Goombangi, um R- Memorial side for um, Dean Jarrett, Annie Gale... Oh, yeah, you have, eh? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, John was telling me about that. Goombangi Rams. You're looking forward to that? Yeah. I am. A young side, so... Yeah. Be good to see how they go. Mate, I wish you all the best down there. And, I, and like you said the other day, Pongi straight through. There's the defence for the Cabbage Island team is just, it's it's just not, not, there. not there anymore. No, it's not there. They, they've given up. Um, you know, I've, well, they haven't given up. They're going to try. They'll play out the whole game. But I just think there's a, there's a few tired legs out there. The young blokes are really struggling in these conditions today. The Heat hasn't played them any favours either. We're going on the attack here. That'll be Mikey Kelly underneath there. He drops the ball. Straight back in under. That'll be Pongy again. He's had another big run here. He's been good for the Nine Bull Brothers since he's been out there, Pongy. Jaira Breckenridge here now. Alwyn outside, look inside. Looking for the tip play onto the Breckenridge. Alwyn he's Roberts, going. he's still going to the line. Taken down about two metres off the Cabestry Island try line. It's the last tackle here. What can they do on Jira the Jaira Breckenridge, a little tip play here to Clarence Kelly, and he's going to find some space here, Clarence. He rolls over, finds a line, yep. as he does, very strong. That'll be another try to the Nine Bull Brothers over the Cabestry Island team, yet to score. I can't see him scoring at the moment, Chris. No, nah, mate. As they I haven't said, had opportunities. They haven't they had they been starved of the ball. Forty-two kick to come, mate. The thing I will say that's going to happen now, Cac, that we'll see is I think they'll start to use their bench a little bit better now. Yep. They'll actually start to rest a few legs going into the semi-final tomorrow. Yep. Um, they'll be the first team through um, through tomorrow's semi-final at nine o'clock in the morning. So. I can definitely say that they'll be very smart about how they play the rest of this game out with rotation, um, which is what you do. You, you know, obviously, it's a buddy system. As we know, different to the women, it's a buddy system they use um, from a replacement point of view over those 20-minute period. And as I just said, Pongi and Alwyn have come off now, so they're going to rest them, them legs and save them for tomorrow. If they've got any young blokes they want to bleed, they'll actually put them through and help let them finish the game off. That's how you, get, that's how you grow your knockout that's, teeth. Yeah. And get that confidence up. So there's a uh, conversion was successful. I think that's that'd be 44 to Nine Bull Brothers over the Cabestry Island team. I'm getting some cheeky. I'm getting some cheeky blokes messaging me, asking me how many cans of Pasito have I had so far. I think I'm up to can number three. So for those people that do want to know, uh, it's can number three of Pasito, the best, best Pasiona drink you could buy. So we're going in here now. Nine will back with the ball. They're about 10 metres off halfway. Ethan Roberts, little tip play there. He's trying to play through the middle again. 40 metres out from the Cabestry Island try line. Little unders balls. Are, oh, is, oh, that's a high shot. Got away they with got it. Got away with that too. Last tackle here. Nine will, what can they do? They're just going to play the safe ball here. Michael Roberts put the ball up. They'll just defend their sets out now. Nine ball. They won't do anything silly here. They want to get through with fresh legs and the, t- the t- whole 25. They don't want anything silly happening between now and the end of this game. They pretty much wrapped it up. Yeah, Jara Breckenridge in there again. Strong. It's the fittest I've ever seen Jara Breckenridge at the moment. If we all, for those people that don't know, it's Gingy Jara. 
Big Sexy, as they call him. Better known as Big Sexy. <laughs> oh. Knock on there. That just shows the game. Have we our Cabo's been played in this game? The mistake rates, they're yeah. not into the game. They haven't had a lot of opportunities. There's about 12 minutes remaining in this game. Scores 44 nil. And as I said, I could pretty much give up the ghost here. There's no way they're going to come back here, Cabo's no. Island. So I think these guys from Nine Ball now will just use this as a bit of a ball run, mate. They'll actually be out there. Going through the motions, they look for a good recovery tonight and get ready fresh enough for tomorrow morning. They're deep here in the back line, off the scrum. Michael Roberts looking for that long ball. He loves that long ball, doesn't he? Oh, Freddie there Pitt you go. finds him right on the chest, and Freddie Pitt, they won't catch Freddie Pitt. He's too good. What Takes ball. the ball around, makes it a little bit easy for his kicker. What a 48 ball. to nil. They, they're, they're blowing this out now. They are now. It is playing touch football with them. Pretty much, yeah. So the Nine Bull Brothers now have wrapped this game up. You've got to say they have wrapped it up with the yeah, scoreline. Yeah, definitely. Michael Roberts here to, to take the conversion. Michael's been up in the um, Dolphin system uh, at the start of the season. He's back home now, uh, I think back in the area, or living up in the Tweed. Um, so... Not quite sure what he's up to next year, but he's an NRL kid, I can tell you that. He's played Australian schoolboys last year. So, very handy player, young Michael Roberts. He's the brother of James Brian's as well. having a kick. So, James's, James's younger brother is, is Michael. And uh, James, as we know, is also out there playing for Nine Ball. Um, Brian Kelly. I didn't know Brian Kelly kicked goals, but he does now, and he actually is pretty good at it. He did. So, there you go. 50 to I'm zip. I'm pretty sure he kicked a couple for Titans. Yep. Did he? No, he may really have, I don't really know. Really I've never known him to be a goal kicker, but anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen him kick a couple for Titans. When, um, it's, interestingly enough, they've given all their, the, the Nine Ball boys have given all their forwards a well deserved break. Yeah. And also if their you're halfback, Wally Kelly. would do the same yeah. as well, you know. Semi final. Yeah, well, you've got, you got Alwyn Roberts, is the captain coach, and you've got his assistant, his young, uh, old Willow James. So, oh, Gingy Jira throws it back. What's he done there? As I said, interesting stat is Jora Breckenridge and uh, Brett Kelly for the Nine Ball Brothers pushing for six straight knockout wins at the Lismore Knockout. Don't know if it'll ever be repeated yeah. again if they're <laughs> successful. Um, even five's big numbers, isn't it? Well, there's two games away, so anything's possible. Cabbage on the attack here now, Kak. We might get Les back after this <laughs> game, I think. I don't think he's going to be going anywhere after this, no, the Big I Fox. Don't think, I think if he finished for today. Looking down at that number 25 jersey, doesn't look one bit dirty. So he won't <laughs> need to wash that when he gets home tonight. And I don't think he needs to have a shower, to be honest. He doesn't build up a sweat that much. Yeah. <laughs> Big plug to some of our major sponsors out of the uh, Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout for 2023. Department of Aboriginal Affairs, New South Wales Aboriginal Land Council, New South Wales District Health, Northern Rivers District Health, I should say. Uh, we've also got iProud. We've got Southern Cross University. We've got Department of Corrective Services. We've got Corrections. We've also got Strutty Sports as one of our sponsors as well, M&K Business Solutions. Without those sort of guys, we've got Lives Live Well, Bunjum Co-op. Very proud sponsor, the Bunjum Co-op of our event. They always sponsor our event year in, year out. And we, we, uh, we love the Bunjum, you know, staff and, and my auntie Nita down there. They do a great job in the community. Ballina and Cabbage Tree Island. So big shout out to Aunt Nita out there as well. But yeah, well, without those sponsors, mate, we don't have we don't have an event like this. You know, it doesn't really get to where it, you can't pull off events like this without sponsorship. So we want us to thank all our sponsors that have been part of our 
uh, preparation to get to this point this year. Is it injuries or cramp? I'm back in cramp. No, I think he rolled his ankle. Or his knee. And then that's young Michael Kelly, I think. They can't do without him. They're going to have to put him on ice because I'll tell you what, he's probably been their best. Yeah, he done his ankle, I'm pretty sure. This game must be nearly over. The next game after this, straight into the Nine Bull Brother. Oh, sorry. Uh, the next game after this is the Country Coastal Brothers up against the Stony Gully team. Stony Gully team. There'll be a whole lot of walkers playing in that team. The Stony Gully team are representing their community out there at Kyogle. Big rugby league family, the Walker family. Nice take there. Here we go, young Tyrell Kelly here now. Under 18 from Northern United last year. Big step. He's going straight through Tyrell Kelly. He's going to chip and chase and back himself here. Oh. The Cabestry Island, the Cabestry Island unlucky. player there got back in time. But I'll tell you what, he was very unlucky not to get there himself, young Tyrell. <laughs> yeah. Would have been interesting. Oh, he got the ball back. Attacking in here, the Nine Bull Brothers. Josh Beach is back on here. Big, strong run, and he's going to try. He's just always oh, going to try. He's going to score, he's I should gonna say. He's going to score. <laughs> he's not trying. He's scoring. So a try there to Josh Beach. He's been off for a while, Josh, here. They haven't used him much, so they'll probably finish off the Josh out there now. Oh, Next game up here, Country Coastal Brothers versus Stony Gully. They look like they're ready to go. Look at him, Shilo. Shilo's already jumping out. He's going to be all out there, my brother. <laughs> all the boys from the Country Coastal Brothers. Got a bloke playing off the back of grand final win last week. He's going out there again, the young bloke. Plenty of legs. I'll tell you what, Jack, I've just had a look at the Country Coastal Brothers going <laughs> in that shit. <laughs> so was I. That is one hell of a team. Yeah, I just saw that as they, well. They, and look, look at they got carrying the water. <laughs> Braden Trindle. <laughs> Braden Trindle will come to carry water bottles after playing in a final last week for Cronulla. <laughs> there's no, um, there's, there's no favouritism at the knockout. No. Someone's yawning at the back of me here. It's been a long afternoon for Mr. Goff, I'd say. It's past his bedtime, maybe. Here we go, Fred Pritt bringing it out. He won't look for his forwards. He's going to just do it off his own bat. He's going to find some space here. Cabos are in shambles there. They're oh, mate, they're, in, they're, all, they're, 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 they're out in their feet. Yeah. They can't even make it back. They're all offside. They're standing in front. He's going to penalise him if they stay there. Or he might just let him get away with it. Yeah, I think, I think they're going to get away with Kai it. Kai and Laurie here. Big run here by, by Laurie. Laurie. 
Alwyn Roberts, the veteran, straight through the middle. He only knows one way, Alwyn. He'll get a quick play the ball here too. Always does. Ethan Roberts in at dummy half. The nine for the nine ball brothers here. Offload. Second phase. Second phase is gone. Out Kelly. to that right-hand edge, and uh, Kelly just tips it out the back. You can see that was going to happen. Tremaine Spry, just, he's going to ease it around. He's happy just to put it down there now, and Cabbage Trial on. I've lost count of the score. Yeah, I think they need to get the next game on. We'll see what the next game. See how many minutes to go. One and a half minutes left in this game. Nine Ball Brothers, they've defended. They haven't just attacked well. They defended well. They've kept these blokes to zip. They, they have. They've shown that they're um, here to play footy. He's not looking good down on the sideline. Yeah, young Michael Kelly's got his boot off. I think his day's done. I don't even know if he'll get him through to tomorrow because he's, he doesn't look like he can, he can barely walk down there on that bench. Brian Kelly looking for a conversion here. I don't know if that was allowed in the game, but he took a drop out instead of a I don't think it is place either, kick. But so even if he did kick, it wouldn't have counted. Although I'm, I'm not sure you... 58 nil. I'm pretty sure it's okay to do it. It's not in the rule book. <laughs> I actually don't want to talk about rule books at the moment <laughs> after my debacle this morning. <laughs> yeah, I won't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jack. I appreciate that, mate. There's about a minute left in this game. They're going for the short kick and regather. Nine ball, have let it go back. Ethan Roberts now has the ball. Ethan pushes through here. There we go. There you go. Full time. Well, that was a bit disappointing. But yeah, mate, I was actually expecting a lot more, Cac, to be totally oh, honest, out of that game. Know. I didn't, It didn't excite me once it got to that 30-point margin. Cavish and look like they just put up the flag, mate. And, um, they're a young side. They're, they're a developing team. And, you know, they've gotten through game one of a knockout. You get through game one of a knockout, it, you, you can go anywhere. So the next yeah, game... They just outplayed. Yeah, they just outplayed, all, mate. All all well, our class. Yeah. A very classy team. Talking about a classy team, we're going to watch this one run out of here now. We've got... Dane Laurie, Braden McGrady, Braden Trindle, Justin Shillingsworth. You know, you've got the likes of uh, Rexy Johnson. Uh, you've got Lukey Dumas. You know, you've got you got yeah, you got you got. Oh, hang on, we've got Jade Hooper. He's got the boots on. Number twenty, Jade Hooper has taken his place in the uh, Country Coastal Brothers team. Roy Bell, there as well. So here we go, Country Coastal Brothers up against the Stony Gully team. What's this Stony Gully team like, Chris? I've never seen them play. Mate, they're, uh, they're Shannon Walker. Um, they're all from out that Kyogel region. They probably mixed a couple of the boys from out at Mully Mully with them as well. But the same Walker family that's connected to Tabulum. So Shannon, um, you'd have Johnny Walker. They've got, you know, a whole... They're, they're, they're a team full of... They're a family team. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'll say they'll be... Look, again, they've gotten through. They won their first game, so they're here now. And they'll take their place in this game here against the Country Coastal Brothers, who look very good, by the way. And I know we haven't seen them play yet, CAC, but they do look very good from the point of view of uh, cattle. Uh, when I say cattle, the, 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 the cattle of, or, the, or you know, the players they've got on that team. Yeah. Even the bench blokes, you know, you've got blokes out here. And Jade Hooper's won knockouts with Yowies um, over time, and he's out here now on the bench. Um for the Country Coastal Brothers, so they've got a good 
you know, you've got young Chris Binge out there as well. Um, not me, um, my son. So he's out there playing as well. So, And then you've got Naughty out there fully decked out in his bird gear. <laughs> so you could say this will be an interesting and Mate, this will be. good game. Yeah, this will be a good game. But what, what I like about this game is should the Country Coastal Brothers get through, they'll be playing the Nine Bull Brothers. What? A game at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. It should be. That would be. That's going to be the game. Oh, that's a game we've all, all been waiting for. I'd say. Hello. Nah, mate. Foxy's. Oh, interestingly enough, young Goffy. Uh, Foxy's days are done, and I'm going to actually have a good talk to him here later. Um, just about, just about. I think that could be fate of complete, and I think he's in retirement. I'm playing next year, mate. So here we go, the kickoff. We're down to the last eight teams. One's just gone through, being the Nying Bull Brothers over Capistri Island. Now we're going to go to the Country Coastal Brothers up against the Stony Gully team in the white and the Country Coastal Brothers in the turquoise and brownish yellow. Shillingsworth coming out hard there. Rexy Johnson coming off the back of a grand final win with Kudjan, playing nine for the Country Coastal Brothers. There's Dane Laurie with the ball. Rexy again having a look down that short side. They're going straight through here, the Country Coastal Brothers. This is big Liam. Oh! He might have been tackled without the ball. He was tackled without the ball. First penalty of the game to the Country Coastal Brothers on the attack here, 30 metres out from the Stony Gully line. Here's Liam again. Rexy Johnson scheming, looking at dummy half. He's come out here to Trindle. Trindle drops a little under's ball. Shillingsworth up, playing the ball. Goes back to the right, Dane Laurie having a look, showing, going. Oh, look at this, they found space straight away. That, that and nice Country ball. Coastal Brothers go over in the corner. That's come from that penalty, Chris. Yeah, might have come in the back of that penalty. It was, it was a penalty that was there that happened through the player being taken out before the ball actually got to him. So that being said, great try there to the Country Coastal Brothers to start the game. Takes the game, Country Coastal Brothers four over the Stony Gully team, yet to score. I find so far with some of the teams, they're allowing their ball players to have lots of time to go yeah. where they want to go or do what they want to do. Teams need to wake up and get in their faces to stop that. There's a big shout out request here to Manuel Roberts, big sexy Rexy. Big shout out to you, Manuel. I'm getting big shout-outs here as well. Emma asked me, am I going to eat that feed in front of me? And I said that sometimes I probably will. I'm, I'm actually, depending on how this game goes, Kak, I could take the headphones off. And uh, I'm waiting for the Foxy to come to give me some eating time. <laughs> I actually haven't had much today, but I'll tell you what I could do with I could do with a good coffee. Oh, uh, no, you can have your coffee. Big shout out to Kyle Maui Binge up there watching from home now with Big Mal himself up there, his, his cousin. What I'm going to say to the boys is don't touch my alcohol and don't touch my food.
The kick's waved away. Shout out to my cousin out there. Conversion waved away. Yes. 4 0 Country Coastal Brothers over the Stony Gulla team. Big shout out, as I just said, to my cousin out there in Moree in young Zach Sampson. Good young fella. I'd love to see him up here one year playing in this knockout. If he's allowed. <laughs> Sunny Gully here. Big kick down here. Trindle with the ball. Shillingsworth bringing it back here now. He's just a straight up and down knockout footballer, Justin Shillingsworth. He's looking to go in here now. Ray Buchanan with the ball. Big run into that strong Stony Gully defence. Rexy Johnson at dummy half. Looked right, went left. Shillingsworth again, up, quick play of the ball. Trindle, he'll, he'll try and game manage the situation here for the it's Country Coastal on. Brothers. Taken there by Stoney Gully. Oh, he threw the ball away here. Oh, he's called it. The ref's called it. He's called a knock on. He's called a knock on. Back. There you go, Stoney Gully. Knock on there. The Country the Coastal Brothers. Look at him playing down there. Here we go now. Country Coastal Brothers on the attack. Lyndon McGrady. They're going wide again. Out to Braden McGrady. And another try. Here we go. Country Coastal Brothers are over again. Similar shape to the last one, but yeah. it was McGrady to McGrady. Out to the wing. Scores in the corner. Great little passage of play there by the Country Coastal Brothers, and don't they look sharp, Kat? They do look sharp, very sharp in their attack. They haven't had much defence yet, but they do look sharp in attack. Got a big shout-out out here to... My little nephew back in Moorese, he's probably bigger than me now. Young Kobe, Kobe Smith. Big shout out from your uncle Chris. I'm missing a commentator. You might have to come up here, uncle, and jump on that car, drive up here and commentate with me tomorrow. I miss coaching with you as well, so I want you to send me that team list up of that knockout team going down to the big one this year. Tell me who I should take. Just got another photo from Big Maui. He's up there in my house, <laughs> sucking back onto my beers. He better go and make sure he fills that fridge back with whatever he takes. Big Maui binge. <laughs> He's kicked that one. So there you go, Cac. 10, 10 nil over Stony Gully, the Country Coastal Brothers. They've got away to a good start here. They're not overplaying their hand. No, they're not. They're just going for their sets of sixes. I'm getting some shout-outs coming in thick and fast here now. Big shout-out to my baby sister down there in Kempsey, Luana, Bunny, Quinlan. Roberts, shout out to you, my sister, all my love. Shout out to yourself and all the kids. Have a great day sitting back and enjoying the footy on the live stream. Got another message here. I'm going to have a big session after this. I'm going to have to ring him. I'm having a carver session. 
it was my brother Sione straight after the day, which will put me in a bit of a recovery mode, Cack. <laughs> Nothing like a good carver session. Another shout out to my niece out there in Moree, Alani. Wish you all the best. Hope you're sitting back listening to Uncle Chris. Hope mum and dad are looking out after you, taking care of you, shouting you all the drinks and lollies and chips. <laughs> if they're not, tell them I said. Here we go, country, country coastal brothers. Have a look. They've got the big fella, Bill. He's out there in number 18. We'll see what sort of difference. Oh, we're going here. Oh. Six again. I think he wasted that. Oh, six again. There's a call. Yeah. Oh, how good is this? The security have bought a coffee to the commentating staff. Thank you very much, security. <laughs> three tries from three for the Country Coastal Brothers winger. We'll have to find out who that is. Not here he good. is, Foxy, with his brand new boots. I think he, there's only one thing I'm going to suggest to him to do with those boots would be put them in the bin, brother. Stay in retirement. <laughs> the big Foxy, we're going to give him time now to just suck it in here. He's just come back to the commentary team. How are you, brother? We'll wait till you hook up, find out how you've pulled up. So, uh, mate, what's the recovery mode? How are, you, how, are you, how are you going after that? that? Too many minutes that game. <laughs> Mate, we were, we were a bit worried about you. Cack was sort of saying, is he going to be okay? And honestly, I said, mate, if he is, and I ain't picking him up. We were dropping like flies, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, we were a bit worried about, there was probably a 15, 20 minute phase into that game you were playing. And um, we looked over the bench and there was one period of that game where you looked like you stood up and you're ready to go. And there was like a minute to go. And Cack said, what's, what's he doing going on now? And I'm like, well... Mate, if he goes out there and gives us one minute then and calls it a day after that, he's done his job. Oh, that's it. <laughs> but we was, in the meantime, he was trying to tell you that one minute to yeah, go. I was actually giving out. you... Oh, right, you right. probably thought it was the other finger, but I was actually giving you the one minute Yeah, I sign. thought you were giving me the other finger. Yeah, there you go. Conversion successful there by Linda McGrady. I was hoping there was a mercy rule. <laughs> This Could this be was... another blowout, mate? 16-0 yeah. to the Country Coastal Brothers, who look very, very good, by the way. So we've got, there's been a change. They've actually uh, injected the big fella, Beal. He's gone on for Justin Shillingsworth in front in the front row. We know what fella, Beal can do in a knockout. He's a knockout specialist. Yeah, number 19 is the best water boy we can look at at the moment. If I was 90, I'd be putting him on. Probably with about a minute to go, the same way that you went on, Les. Dane Laurie here, offloads. He's Hooper. If it wasn't for me, Hooper would not be playing today. I talked him <laughs> in and I even gave him the boots. I said, mate, I've got boots in my car. The big Jade Hooper, the Yowie specialist. Mate, we thought that game went a bit long, I thought it did. but it didn't. I thought it did too, mate. The only reason you thought it went long is because every minute you were out there, you thought it was 20 minutes, but you're only playing two minute stints, Leslie. I reckon I was out there longer than two minutes. Felt Here like we I go, Trindle, looking stage. for the 40-20. Goes back. The last time we went back down this end, they got a knock on the Stony Gully team. Wrapped up well there by the Country Coastal Brothers. Defence. Linda McGrady, I think, no, that's a, actually, that's your man there, Lukey Dumas, Foxy. Yeah, Lukey Dumas. He's be, he'll week. be with the Bygles team this year at the knockout, won't he? Yeah, Lukey Dumas is in. Mate, I'll tell you what, I was impressed with him last week in the grand final. His defence was top notch. Rock solid, wasn't it? It's probably the best defensive game I've seen do. He's more renowned for his attack and you know, ability, but defensive, defensively last week, he was great. Here they go, with they going these guys are going for 40 20 for 40. Oh, is this going to do it? 40 20. Great kick there by the Stony Gully halfback. Might be the start of. Tack. This could be the start of something special if they actually can convert. I want to say thank you to the security guards, too, for the coffee. It's quite a nice drop.
Yes, how's that? Yeah, no worries, mate. Here we go, the Stony Gully team on the attack here. Let's see what they can do. That's Rich Roberts for the Stony Gully team. Playing up front. What's the defence like here for the country? Coastal Brothers. Held up there, taking over line. He'll have to take that one back. Played here right on the line. Shift to the left. That's Dave Briggs out there for the Stony Gully team. Little chip chase. Can he regather? Oh! He, no, of, he's put a foot in the touch. He's got a bit of toe, that winger, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he has. Mate, there's a name from the past, Dave Briggs. Dave Briggs. In the number seven for the Stony Gully team. Wasn't he a lightning football Oh, player? how quick was David Briggs? Actually, both David Briggs, because his old man was just as quick. I think I can see uh, one of the... Oh, I think, hey, is he a movie star? Is that young Quinton? That's him. Look at him, Mad Max. We're going to get him up here later. We'll get him on. Get a few words from him. Up in the commentary team. We'll get him up here soon. <laughs> He'll be right. He'll have a yarn. We've actually got... Hey, South Sydney got Russell Crowe. we got Quinton. Look at him. Look. He's here today. Come up and see him, guys. Mad Max. Five to go in this first half. Country Coastal Brothers with the ball. They've got a good... Oh, this he's just had... He's Joshy just, Tool, I think it is. Is that yeah, Tooley? Oh, very unlucky not to get a penalty there, Tooley. Oh, what was going on there? Yeah, knock on. Was that his brother as well? Communication yeah, breakdown. Was that Tooley's brother? 60 minutes. A dummy half. Mate, he should know better. That was... No way he should have gave that ball. Mate, what do you think of the day, Leslie? Jam-packed. I'm trying to think. I'm still a bit buggered here. <laughs> <laughs> That's Whoa. probably the worst idea I've ever had in my life, isn't it? That's I'll tell you what, fun. at half time, I'm going to do it. If he doesn't want to come up, I'm going to go down and I'm going to carry him up here. But Quinton's down the front and we've got to get him up here and have a yarn with him. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Give me five It's not minutes. too often I get an opportunity to talk to a movie star. You might think you look like one, but you're not. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. Have a look at that specimen walking up there. Oh. Hey? Theo yeah. Hippie or Hippie. Hey, Theo. <laughs> Sunny Gully here on the attack. They're about 20 metres, 25 metres out from the uh, Country Coastal Brothers line here. They're going to look for something special. They probably need to skip. They, they, need, they need points. They do. They need points. I think it's 16. They got, this is their second chance at it. Yeah, 16. It's 16 nil at the moment to the Country Coastal Brothers who look who look really good. How does this go? Is that a feed yet? Oh, mate, we've had some food. Um, I'm on one of those... Yeah. Um, we had a little burger. Yeah, I'm <laughs> vegan at the moment, so. <laughs> Here we go, Stony Gully on the attack. Shifting Stony Gully shifting right. out here. Yeah. Oh, Roy Bell, six again here. Oh, he didn't get the ball down. Up. As I'm looking down there, I'm also seeing the number 19. Young Chris Binge waiting to go on for the Country Coastal Brothers team. Got a message from his brother. Back home in the lounge chair, he said, Dad, if you get a chance, he said, can you tell Chris to bloody pull his finger out? So I can't do it down there face to face, but I'll Paul try and Binge yell it out. him up at the moment. Yeah, oh, mate, Maui. Don't he, worry about him. He's, he's at, home, in, he's at home into the beers already, Maui. Watching this live from the lounge room of his father's house. If there's any young ladies out there that can make a better man of my young bloke, he's available. Get up there, but make sure you can cook, because I'll tell you what, he can eat. <laughs> very single and very ready to mingle, young Kyle Maui Binge. So here we go, mistake made. Stony Gully lost that 
on the back of some good defence there by the Country Coastal Brothers. Taken down there, five, five to ten metres off their own line. I think they look to lock it up here. They won't look for nothing crazy. There's only about a minute and a half to go in this first half. Braden McGrady, the Dolphin, gives it on to his ex-teammate from the Panthers back in their day. Dane, the man, Laurie, plants the ball underneath the post. Takes the score out to 20. Country Coastal Brothers. Stony Gully, nil. I've got phones going off the chart. They, they must have. Uh... Hello. <laughs> Young Kyle Maui binge, trying to ring his dad, probably telling me to shut up. But anyway, Kyle, have a great day. You're drinking my beers. So I'll say what I like today. What about that, guys? Straight through the middle. Yeah, it was. The defence wasn't there. Braden McGrady. I think been he's made his debut, NRL debut this year with the Dolphins as well. Son-in-law of mine, he had a gender reveal yesterday with the daughter. I, I, I told them six, seven weeks ago that it was going to be a boy and they didn't believe me. They, <laughs> I think my daughter's not happy with me at the moment, but guess what? It's a boy. It's a boy. Is it going to be another little Christopher? Yeah, I'm going to give, his, uh, give the phone to his uncle here. That conversion was successful. Takes a score out to 22. Country Coastal Brothers over the Stony Gully team. Yet to score. And that's half time. That's half time. Can you have a break for a oh, I'm loving it, Leslie. This is a, this is a break after what I've had the morning I've had, haven't I, Cack? Yes. <laughs> Trying to keep the knockout going and uh, putting up with all the well, they're not disruptions. Look, I get it. You know, like there was, you know, protests that happened. There's never two winners in a protest, it's as a, much as we hate to say it. Yeah, it's part and parcel of the knockout, and it happens all the time. It doesn't happen here. It also happens at the big one. Had a sit-in as well, and you look, it's all my family. You know, the Cowboy boys, they, all my family, Les, they're all your family as well, all the Roberts boys, and, um, you know, it's disappointing for them not to progress, so I think they had a good good team together there this year, but they'll go away, and they'll learn from that, and they'll come back bigger and better next year. And Big shout-out to my auntie. I just looked to my left, my auntie, Christine. She's sitting over there. Big shout out to you, Auntie Chris. I hope you're having a good day at the footy today. Thank you. <laughs> Is that Nini? Oh, my sister, I haven't seen you for ages. How are you going? <laughs> oh, I don't even get paid for this, you know, Nin. But if there's anyone out there in uh, live stream land, you can make a contribution to the Ginger and Foxy Facebook site. Fox, you'll post up our account details. If you like what we do, just donate. Donate straight into our accounts. Uh, we'll look after the big knockout. It'll be a Foxy's shout, no doubt. Have you recovered yet? Still trying to breathe. <laughs> Still trying to breathe. <laughs> what do you reckon, Kat? <laughs> he's only played two games and he's gone. Yeah, it's like he's played. <laughs> Not even two games, probably ten minutes. Two games. <laughs> No, oh, mate, bit of fun with the young boys. That's all that matters. Yeah. Well, mate, I've got to ask you the question because Kat did ask me. I was getting ready for the, what's it called? The bun, Bunger, what's the side called next year? Bungeroy. Bungeroy. Bungeroy binge connection. There's Full pre-season the with the half. binge. Big kick there to start the game and he's, he's found touch. And he's... I thought he, he watched the ball. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what he thought he was doing, but I was, it was there to be taken. So, Les, if we do put in this uh, Bungeroy binge connection team, um, you up for it, brother? I don't know. I think I'm out now after that. Well, Caleb was Caleb's only just texted me. He's, he, he had a bit of a snooze because he's been working long and hard in the mines, and he's just switched back onto the telly. And I, he probably didn't hear the announcement that I'm making a comeback next year at the knockout, and we're going to have a run with my three sons. We're going to put in our own team next year, the uh, Bungeroy Binge Connection team, and we'll see how we go. I'm good for two. I will start off the bench, by the way. Seconds. I'll have my I'm son Maui with me as well, Kyle. You going to coach Cac? No, Cac's, no. Yeah, <laughs> Cac's going to coach my team next year. I'll, I'll, I'll be assistant. Assistant, there you go. Here we go. 
Country Castle Brothers on the attack. Straight through, he's burrowed his way into the try line. And the Country Coastal Brothers come up with another four points. This game might blow out again. Yeah, could 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 blow out this one. Yeah, 26 nil. 26 nil, Foxy. 26 nil, is it? Mate, you're, you're doing it tough, are you right there, mate? Or <laughs> I'm doing it so tough. <laughs> Four or five minute man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but anyway, there's a lot of blokes probably wishing they could do what you did today, but you got out and played two games, it's all mate. fun and games until you finish. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I'm gonna, I reckon you're going to be coming back sore and sorry tomorrow. Oh. So here we got now, we've got Lyndon McGrady setting up for the conversion here. I think this will take the Country Castle Brothers out to 30 to... 30 to zip, should he convert this try. So Benji, who are you liking so far? Mate, to be totally honest, I'm probably liking the Country Coastal Brothers. It's going to be an interesting game tomorrow. We said if they get through today, Les, they'll be playing the Knowingville Brothers. So what a game will, will be that be? Yeah, that's going to be a big game, that, that one. That, one will that could have nearly been the final, couldn't it? Yeah, mate, it could have been. But, mate, I'm still liking the Torrens' descendants. So I'm interested to yeah. see how they go against Julie's Rabbits. Yeah, mate, I think they're a good thing as well. They play they play an exciting brand of footy, the Torrens' descendants team, and a very knockout-branded team as well. They're going to have to go and look to a couple of their go-to men in uh, Keem Torrance particularly, who's been a big leader for them in this, in this carnival. It'd be interesting how they come out with their attack, mm. um, Torrens, because they're very composed with their game plan, yep. and be interesting to see what they come up, up against the Rabbits. Rabbits was firing. I didn't get to see the Rabbits. How, how'd they go? Mate, they was all right. They, they were, were pretty good. Yeah, they were good. Kicked it in the gear. Another family connecting team. I think that's the thing about the Lismore knockout. It's not just about. It's not just about teams like the Country Coastal Brothers, but there's a lot of family orientated, community orientated teams in this in this knockout, Les. Yep. Which is what it's all about. I think there's a sale on up at the Strutty's tent, so if you want your you want your uh, Lismore knockout apparel, get straight up to the Strutty's tent. There's a sale on up there this afternoon. Here he is, Ash Moran. He's had a busy morning down there with the Titans development squad, and I'm quite happy right now to pass over something to Ash, as the as the he's going to take over. He's going to take over the day now for me, as the ground manager. I'm happy to pass over the official passing over of the ground manager's microphone. Here he goes, Chris. Good luck, on the Ash. And have a great day. Have a great day. We'll talk about all the arguments after. You missed him, Chris. Big Chris Binge had a good run there. Did he? Oh, well, there you go. He, his brother at home, sitting at home, he, he better have a good run. Caleb's told him to pull his finger out. Here we go. The, they do look the goods here, the Country Coastal Brothers. Here we go. Crash ball. There you go, Caleb. Get Don't that up, yeah. Crash ball. Chris Binge so over fine. for the no, Country Coastal the Brothers. You're not going to stop the binge from that. Oh, no, not from there. So, what is, is he with you as well, Bygles, this year or not? Uh, I don't think so. I thought he would have been in with a little bit of a chance. Very experienced. Knockout player. Hang on, he got his teeth knocked out as well. He's coming off, is he? <laughs> he's got his. It looks like he's got his. He got a he cop one across the gob. He's looking at his teeth, Leslie. Well, I haven't got any left, so I can't give any give him any. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how these blokes out of fifty are still running around, I tell you. Oh mate. Oh, there goes I don't know these, I don't, 
I, I've got no idea either, but I can tell you this. I don't even know how you did it, is what I was going to say. Oh. Don't worry about 50. He's feeling the pinch now, Chris. Come on. I won't say how old I am. Well, mate, we're both going to go around together next year, so. In the Bunjeroy Connection team. We've got some shout outs. <laughs> I got a uh, message coming in. Can you tell him to have a feed so we can't hear him for a bit? From young <laughs> Kyle Binge. There you go. Let's get back to the game here. Country Coastal Brothers on the attack here, just on halfway. Now they're going in. We're going to. Rexy Johnson jumps out. Oh, Dane Laurie wasn't expect. Oh, he was expecting it, but his hands weren't in the right place. So turn over there to the Stony Gully team attacking in now, just over halfway. We'll see what the uh, Country Coastal Brothers defensive work is here now. Big run here. They're trying to find their feet here, the Stony Gully team. Slow play. The ball didn't help. I've actually been impressed by the uh, Jack, by the uh, Country Castle Brothers' defence, not just their attack, but the defence has been pretty spot on as well, mate. Yeah, they haven't, uh, this gully side just hasn't had opportunities as well. They've been yeah. starved a fair bit of their ball. Pushing back into that middle there now. Sunny Gully trying to get on this short side. Dave Briggs, Chip, Chase, regather. Could this be the first points for the Stony Gully team? Six it's six again. again here. Held up over the line. He'll take it back, 10. Here we go now. Stony Gully, what can they throw up at the Country Coastal Brothers? Again, the defence read there was good. Strong defensive work there by the Country Coastal Brothers team. They're about seven metres off the line here, the Stony Gully team, trying to burrow their way in. Another penalty. They are trying. Yeah. They they're are definitely trying. trying. To get them, but the defence is there. Looking here now. Oh, good, good defence again there, Country Coastal Brothers. No way through there. There's no way through there. The defence through the middle is pretty good. They're shaping up out here the left-hand edge. Going, oh, the ball's just gone behind. No one looks like they know what they're doing in this set. Dave Briggs takes the ball down there now. Country Coastal. Big strong run here through the middle. Here we go, Chance. Was that Shannon Walker? No, he's short. There it is. And he's the over? No. Held no, he's up. held up again. Just want to give a quick shout out, Benji, to my kids sitting at home watching. I did that Just earlier. Just want to let you know I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling a bit, but I'm okay at the moment. I done that while you were out there playing, mate. I told Maddie, make sure she's got the ice patch ready. My little girl, Maya, <laughs> sitting on the lounge watching. Big pick up home. there. Tip back. No, he's called knock-on. No, he's called knock-on. He's called knock-on. I was actually thinking it was a knock-on as well. Gives the gully another chance to attack. Well, that was my first actual run-around in four years, Benji. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Les, that number, that number 15 out there for the Stony Gully team, is that Donnie Walker? That's the Don Don. 
There you go. I seen him as I was coming off the field. Is that when, you, when you mentioned the age 50, is that who you were talking about? Knockout legend, Don Don. Oh, mate. Well, this time last year, he played in the knockout. He actually got knocked out. <laughs> and that was it. It was all over. I'm going to say, he's going to score here right now. He's oh, lingering oh, at oh. the back here. Where is he? Can you spot him? He's at the back behind the play, the boy. He's just, oh. Oh, he's it's a knock on a dummy it. half. Once again, the Stony Gully defence, too good. They're just, yeah. They're just oh, not the Stony Gully. Sorry, the Country Coastal defence was way too good there. they got no answers. There's nothing coming back. I just think that they're frustrating the Stony Gully team with the defence they've got in their line. They've been camped in the line for about three or four sets and they've had nothing coming back. So, you know, that just frustrates the hell out of anyone. But when you're trying to attack and attack and you're not coming away with points and the defence is holding you out, it, it is a bit, and knockout's only 20 minutes each way, so time just lingers on, and by the time you look at it, the game's over. Oh, oh that was not on. I think that was, that, that pass I would have held back. Here we go, another chance for him. Here we go, Stony Gully. What can they do here? They're on the attack. About 10 out from the Coastals. Coastal Brothers line. Here goes the Don Don here, Chris. Yeah. All over to you, Leslie. I'm going to let the call. Let you have this one, mate. You, you're back. You're recovered. Sort of. Here we go. They spread it right. Oh, they might. Uh, I think he's yeah, going to call him back for a shepherd. Back for a shepherd there. Unlucky there, Stony Gully. There's no way through that way. Yeah, mate, there's nothing there. Again, it's just they don't seem to be organised. No. Um, I think when these games sort of blow out in the first half of a, of a game, the team that's coming from behind seems to lose their shape. Um, they lose momentum in what they're trying to do. Yeah. Um, and they just become frustrated with, you know, how they're playing the game. But as I said, the, the, this team that uh, they're playing against, though, this country, Coastal Brothers, a very good football team. Their, their rotation off the bench is working well for them. They're a lot very similar to that last game. They, they, the similarities between the country, country Coastal Brothers. Here he is, big fella, Beal. They're on the back foot again, Gullies. Yeah. The, the, as I was saying, Cac, the... Um, the similarities between this team and the uh, Nine Ball Brothers team is, is quite eerie. Yeah. Yeah, look, if the Coastal Brothers get through here, I think that's going to be one match-up. Oh, that's mate, semi-final. I can't wait for that one oh, oh, tomorrow. Oh, definitely be here for right. Rexy Johnson out of dummy half. Touch He's there, dangerous out of there, Rexy. No, knock on. Don't forget, Gingy, the Mighty Knights are on at 4 o'clock today too. Oh, mate, yeah, well, good luck to your Knights, mate. Fins up, baby. <laughs> Is that your side? Fox? When are the Dragons on next year, bud? Big shout out to one of my nephews down at Newcastle, Buddy Matthews. He'll never be able to play in a knockout ever again. I think he's suspended for life. He's, he's the king of suspensions, buddy. Um, so we won't be seeing him at the little or big knockouts. He's, uh, he's one well versed man in the. Uh, if there's one thing, if anyone's know anything about suspensions, just give him a give him a holler. Jump on his Facebook, jump on his phone, give him a ring. Country Coastal Brothers here, Braden McGrady. Uh. Oh, puts it down. But yeah, Buddy Matthews, the most suspended player in the history of suspensions. You did it. Big you shout didn't. out to Buddy. Oh, what a G up. <laughs> Here we go now. That's it. Big turnover. <laughs> Commiserations to my nephew down there playing in the grand final. Young Linz Munro went down 31 18 today. Stony Gully. Against the Roosters. For a place in the grand final. So 
Bad luck, Linz. You'll be better for it, and we'll see you at the knockout, Uncle. We'll see if we can get a time here and see how long we've got to go. Around three minutes to go here. Three minutes to go. Run. So it looks like the well, Coastal... The Coastal Country, Country Coastal Brothers, Brothers might will be up against the Nine Gore Brothers through. tomorrow. I can't wait for that game. I'll be here bright and early. I'll be making sure I have about six coffees. Braden McGrady picks it up here. He's gone through. Another try here to the Country, Country Coastal Brothers. Oh, he's, he stopped. What was going on there? He stopped over. Look, he thought he got called back. Did he get there? He got there. He got there in the end. But All what right. was he pulling up for? I don't know, mate. You'll have to ask him that There'll be some later. words happening at home tonight. I think he was looking for someone to score for him. No. That hasn't scored a try yet. Dinner at Benji's tonight. Whatever you want. So there you go, 38. 38, zip. This game's nearly Stony over. Stony Gala, this game's just about gone. Mate, I'm looking forward to this next game. Oh, mate, I can't wait for Julie's it. Julie's Rabbitohs up against the Torrens Descendants. Shout out to my brother, Chris Cook. Probably still on his holiday. Jumping on boats. Working for himself. Loving life. Loving life. <laughs> Give me a start, Christopher. Hope you're enjoying the call today, Cookie. Goffy just said ratings have gone up because I've come back into the commentary box. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to Sexy Rexy, Big Emmanuel. Love you, my brother. Thanks for the updates on the try scorers, man. Yeah, it shouldn't be long to go now in this one. Big shout out to my niece at home as well. Moo Moo. Hope you're enjoying it. She's probably at the footy here somewhere. She'll watch the replay of the game today and she'll be saying, Did Uncle Chris give me a call out? Shout out? Yep, there it is. Big shout out to my niece, Moo Moo. Well, I'd say Country Coastal Brothers now. I've got this one wrapped up, guys. Yeah, mate. They have. Seconds to go, I reckon. Short kickoff. Ed yeah, Skinner. Raked out there, two in the tackle. That'll yeah, be a penalty. Yeah, two in the tackle. I'd just like to give a shout out to my sister Velma and her partner Trev and Simon down at Nambuka Eds. Eh? Ask them for a shout out. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the day and then listening to the calls. To the Boom, dynamic trio. Right <laughs> We're killing it. Shout out to Slowpoke out there as well while we're doing all the shout outs. Have a, hope you're sitting back enjoying it. Back there in Armadale, my brother. I haven't spoken to you for a while. Pick up the phone one day. Ring me. I'm still your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> they might score yeah, to finish off the game. Yeah, there's not long to go now. Can they nah, sneak over one here, last mate. try? It's out wide. Oh, oh no, oh, they put it down. It. And put it in touch. I think that might be the game. That's it, yeah. She's all done. I think that's all she wrote. Well, tomorrow's so final will be a good tomorrow one. morning Cracker. at nine, nine o'clock. o'clock. Field one, we're going to have Niable Brothers up against the, the Country, Country Coastal, Coastal Brothers. Brothers. It's a brother. I'm going to back the brothers to win. Yeah, it's a brother of thumb. <laughs> The only brothers we haven't got here is Marsh Brothers, but if they was here, there'd be a protest because they're not Indigenous. <laughs> got a bit of a call out there earlier about, um, about the decision that was made in relation to uh, the protest that was done today around the player that took part in the game that was a non-Indigenous player. I thought we were, I copped a fair bit of flack for that, obviously being a part of that um, team, you know, the Cabo Connection. They're all my family, all Roberts's, and I'm, you know, my, my mum's, you know, all my mum's brother, Uncle Stephen, and that. But 
the rules are the rules, guys, and, you know, we've made a decision. I thought I copped a bit of flack about that earlier too, but I've just had a bit of a look at some feedback that's coming through from the Koori Knockout page. Uh, mate, nothing but positive in relation to the call that was made. The big call is we hope the same thing can be applied at the big knockout. So there's a bit of pressure on the NAB organising committee. I would suggest that you have a good look at the way that it played out today and take the leaf out of the book because it always is one of those contentious things, Cac, that comes up at yeah, the knockout about non-Indigenous players taking part in teams. Yeah, I think it's. Um, I think you've done well with that decision today, Chris. Um, like you said, the rules are rules and we don't want to, you know, hurt the game, but yeah, it's yeah. just it how is that, it is. And it is what it is. It's an Aboriginal Rugby League knockout. So, you know, I know it's, and again, it's hard because, it, you know, it's my... It's my family team, so yep. you know it takes a. a, a it took a it took a it took a good group of people to be in that room in the committee that we've got together to actually oversee that sort of stuff. And and the um, funny thing is, you never you're not the only one that made that decision. No, there's a, there's a group. Involved, there's a, there's so. actually a panel of people. We've got two elders on that, and we've got um, two people from our committee. So there's a group of five people sitting in the panel to make the decision. All the evidence was heard in full. Um, there'll be a bit of conjecture about it, regardless. But in saying that, it was a decision that had to be made and. It's a stand that we've got in the knockout, and um, you know, it's not dishing on the young bloke that played, but it, it, the rules are the rules, and we couldn't, um, we can't change that. So no. So and here they we might go. Learn from that lesson from yeah. next year, and not have a non-Aboriginal yeah. player play. So we got the uh, Torrance descendants here now up against Julie's Rabbitohs, going into this game now. There's two more games. To follow and that'll be the end for the day the winner out of this will flow through to the 10 o'clock semi-final game between the Torrance Descendants and Julie's Rabbitohs, both these teams look really good in the opening stages of the knockout today Yes, I'm excited with this game, this one should be oh, good Mate, I, I can't wait, I've seen a lot from the Torrance Descendants teams uh, since they started today and, this, and the same could be said for the Julie's Rabbitohs I was impressed by both sides The Torrance Descendants team have had the hard way through, they've played more games than the Julie's Rabbitohs. The Julie's Rabbitohs team will got through on a first round bye, so they've played one game going into this game, so they'll have the fresher legs. Yes. We'll have to find out, I hope so. We've been asked about the ratings uh, by the young Goff Meister that's sitting here now. Um, we got over nearly, I think we got over or just on 5,000 views from the live streaming and I've no doubt that those numbers would be through the roof today. It's been an absolute sensational day of football here at Oaks Oval for the Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout of 2023. It's been a great event. I think the spectatorship's been awesome. Oh, we've got some Good input here from the young golf master, but we want to get into this game here now. Just about to get underway. Scoreboard, ball boys, linesmen, are you ready? Let's get the games going. Here we go. Strap yourselves in. This will be a great game between the Torrance Descendants and Julie's Rabbitohs representing Gambangi country as well down there in Coffs Harbour. A memorial team, I'd say, the Julie's Rabbitohs teams. Would you know anything about the Julie's Rabbitohs teams, Kat? No, and only, I know a couple of players there, um, the Kelly boys. And there's Liam, a Kelly connection into this. I'll Simon tell you what, talking about the Kelly gang, they must be one big family. We've had the Nine Bull Brothers all Kelly boys. You've had half the Cabestri, Cabestri Island team Kellys. We've had a couple of Kellys playing for the Country Coastal Brothers, and now we've got a whole bunch of Kellys playing for the Julie's Rabbitohs. It's and a then, Kellyathon. And then we've got um, Leroy Buchanan he's, um, from all the way from Knock'em Down Barra. Ah, oh, the Barra. Knock'em Down Barra. When's the last time we've seen a team come out of Barra? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We need, to, we need to rebuild that team up again. <laughs> Knock'em Down with their supporters. Yeah, there's a few Coffs boys in here. This guy was good in the first game there, Locke. Yeah, Liam Kelly. Oh, he was so good in the first game. Jumping straight out of dummy half. They've started off quick. Yeah, they've started off really good here. They're about 10 metres into the 
Doris Descendants half now. I think it's hit the torrent there it a is. little bit. I wasn't expecting this fast start. 20 metres, going for the kick. On the attack here. What can the torrent see? Oh, he's letting it bounce. That could be dangerous. He's got his boot to the ball. He's kicked it dead. So that'll be a seven tackle set here now for the Torrance Descendant coming out of their half. We've got the referees coming up for another break. Jermaine looks like he's just about busted. Not quite sure he only did a line. I will say I've got to credit the referees today. They've done a sensational job on both fields. Um, Jermaine's backed his effort up from yesterday, but we can't have a game like we have without those blokes out there doing their job. So a big shout-out to all the officials that have been officiating the games over the weekend. Uh, and again today, it's been a long day for these guys. And we've got the number one referee of the NRRRL competition out there, Josh Gollan refereeing in the middle at the moment. I didn't want to say that, yes. Jermaine's looking at me and he's pointing at me. I'm only saying the number one referee based on the appointment of the grand final, but I'm not going to say the number one referee from my uh, perspective. I think my number one referee in the NRRRL this year was up there. He was Corey Cox, but he's not here taking part in the uh, event today, but these guys are just as good. The guy from Kyogle, he's actually up there big time. The guy that did the last game. I've watched him all year. Jermaine hates me giving raps to the other referees, but Jermaine's up there as well. He's sitting back here now. He's shaking his head. Young Jermaine Bradshaw, he's a great referee. So we got the Torres Descendant now on the attack. Uh, about 20 metres out going in on the Julie's Rabbitohs team. They look, oh, he's going, shaping, he's going, he's, he's going to find the line, he's got away. Oh. He only had to hold the ball. He was over. Tried to pop the ball with a miracle pass. Didn't find the man there. Julie's Rabbitohs defence are up for the challenge. It's been a great start of the game. Yeah. So far. No blowouts yet. No, we've been up both ends of the park and we've never. both teams haven't come away with points, but they've played the game in the right spirit. And I think that being said, it's going to be, I'm actually going to say that this is going to be a tight one. It will be. I will say that as well. So here we go. On the attack, coming off their own line here, the Julie's Rabbitohs team. Looking to come out through their forwards. Torrance defending really well here. Torrance descendants team. They're bis disjointed at the moment, Rabbits. They don't know what to do with the ball. Yeah, I'm just, as I said, I've been saying it all day. This Torrance descendants team, though, they, they, their attack's been great, but their defence has been just as good. So they've made it 40 metres out of their own line. One tackle remaining in this set. They're going to go for the early kick here. He's looking for the 40-20. He may have just found it. He's got it. He may have just found the 40-20. The descendants are looking for subs. Is it a 40-20? He's pulled it off. 40-20 yes, there. By the 5-8. Uh, for the Julie's Rabbitohs team. Torres Descendants boys trying to scramble back there now with their defence. They'll get the reset here. Attacking in. 20 metres out. The Julie's Rabbitohs team. Looking here now. Trying to shape it through the middle with their big man. And he's making it all the way through. He's, he's actually held up. He's held up. He's held up there. He'll be told to take it back. Great defence. That was great defence there by the Torres Descendants team. They're handling the pressure, Chris. Yeah, they are. We've still got three tackles left in this set here. Here he goes again, Liam. Liam. Oh, he's down. He's got the he's ball down there. That was a great run. Time. Big surge there, Liam Kelly. Adjacent to the left-hand post. 
goes over for the Julie's Rabbitohs. First try scorer. Torres Descendants there now looking around. I think they're all looking at each other and saying what happened there. So the Torrance Descendants team there go over through Liam Kelly. <coughs> what, what you call they on this one, Kat? For that one, they worked hard for that one. I always say this to Les when we're commentating, but as good as what that try was and potentially the conversion to follow, which will take him to a six-nil lead early in this game, the most important set is the next set of six after points. Yes. So I think they've just got to try and work through their set here once they get the ball back. See how they go. Get up to around that 40 metre or 50 metre zone and then get that kick back downtown again. What's the matter? Oh no, it dropped down in front where the refs are sitting. We've got a bit of commotion at the back here with the, uh, with the media team. There we go, it the, was successful. So let's see what they come out here now with Kak. Out of this half. They got the wind behind them. Well, mate, the we'll, we'll complain about the heat <laughs> earlier now. We've got the arms folded with a bit of a chill factor going on up in the grandstand. <laughs> Fox is on the pies. Fox. <laughs> the Fox. Oh, I, nearly, I nearly blurted out the wrong thing then. He's but the Fox the is on the pies. <laughs> I was going to say something very, very different to that one, but... He must have been hungry. He drilled that. Yeah, yeah, he didn't take much to scoff that down. First feed all day. <laughs> He's a two-bite wonder now, Cac, too, by the way. <laughs> he didn't even offer to share the rest of it. He didn't even offer to bring us up. Yeah. Here we go through again. The Rabbitohs. Oh. What's Be interesting to see what the call is. Is he called it knocked on here to the Julie's Rabbitohs or is he going to say knock on and give the feed to... The Torrance Descendants team here is getting some advice from his touches. Yeah, he's it. So it's a knock on here by the Rabbitohs. Opportunity for Torrance uh, attack here. I didn't realise this, but I've just been put out. So Liam Kelly is the brother of Tom Kelly. This is what I'm hearing. So. Thanks for that, for the uh, people that have got the inside oh. information. I think Tom Kelly's also suited up out there in number 14 for the uh, Julie's Rabbitohs. I think he took about three minutes in that first game they played, and we haven't seen him su since. Tom Kelly, TK. Number eight, Liam. Simon as well. Number eight. Simon. Okay, there you go. Number eight's also Tom's brother. Here we go now, the Torrance Descendants, they've got to get hungry down here, they need points. First try score rule applies here. Benji, I've got a shout out here from uh, AJ Davis watching at home. Is he, he AJ? Said, he said, tell Benji and Aunt Chica, he said hello, <laughs> thanks for the commentary today, he's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love to entertain it, isn't that right, isn't that right, Kat? Yep. <laughs> it's been good. And the we've new got addition. one here from Young Berrigan Young. Oh, he said, mate. he said, up the Northern United 2010 team anyway. Oh, come on, Berrigan. I, I actually would agree with him on that one. And he said, tell the Gingy he loves his own voice. <laughs> oh, well, if anyone knows, my nephew Berrigan would know. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, back to the live action. Nice. I'm just sad that he never listened to me all those times he was at my house. <laughs> if you're listening, AJ, thank oh, you for the... Hang on, what's going on here? Oh, he's got a knock on here, I think. Sorry, what, I cut you off there, sis? Yeah, no, I just was saying to AJ Davis, thank you for the hello. Hope you're enjoying it. AJ Davis, the um, 2022 knockout winner with NAB. Yeah. Big knockout. He's backing he it up too. He? He's backing it up this year He's with the NAB boys. This year. And there's a big chance, and I'm just going to throw it out, there's a big chance that the NAB boys could go back to back from what I'm hearing. Good, good inside information from the... Uh, Nab boys that came down to take part in today's event. I wonder Isn't if they want to the see fox that? after my effort today. Huh? I wonder if they want the fox after my <laughs> effort today. At what in commentary or 
or within the team? <laughs> within the team, I think you're I'm, I'm just going to call it really early. No. After that performance today, I don't think you're playing in the big one, mate. No. I think you need to go back to retirement. <laughs> <laughs> I love my commentary team support. <laughs> All right, Torres to center. Torres to center there on the attack on the here attack. now, about 10 metres out. From the oh big run here oh, oh nice tackle that was nice defence that hoop was that that was Liam Kelly what it about that he it wasn't a that. shoulder charge it was all contact and he wrapped him up and he jumped oh, over from to sleep. Liam's went to sleep he made the tackle he got into a bit of a bit of a mouth off and the young about. hooker from the Torres he sent and jumps over that's what I call getting your pants pulled down. That's football for you. That's ya. done. I've been watching this young hooker throughout the knockout and he's pretty crafty there. That was football. That was very smart. He was. Very he wasn't smart. worried about what was going on in the push and shove at the play no. the ball. All he seen was the line, and he took his opportunity. He found his way straight over underneath the post. Great stuff there to the Torrance descendants number nine. Was that Akeem Torrance? No, he's over there. No, it was, it was his 14. replacement. It's not the number fourteen. That's not young Andy Bell's young fellow, is it? Not too sure. I'll tell you what, if there's ever a person I've never been so glad to see, it's Ash Moran. <laughs> he turned up here about an hour ago, and I was actually <laughs> able to pass on the ground, manages walkie-talkie, um, and it's taken one hell of a lot of pressure off me today. Not pass. He literally threw it at him and said he doesn't want the job anymore. I, I had no support from the Foxy because he was too interested and in, wrapped up in playing the game. Um, if it wasn't for Kaki, she held the fort by herself for a little bit and then oh, I had to go out and do my exactly. official duties. But I've come back here now all rejuvenated, ready for the uh, for the back end of the, today's games. And today we've got the Torrance Descendants up against the Julie's Rabbitohs and it's now 6 all. We'll get a bit of a look on the time here now. Seven to go in the first half. Six all. Oh, it's, it's we did say it was going to be a tight game, Cac. Yep, exactly. You were spot on. We're still on the first try score rule here, aren't we, Chris? Yeah, we still are, mate. We're still on the first try score rule until we get to the semis. So what can the Torres descendants come out of here with now? Big run there, man. That was big. Good contact. Well, they're all in front here. I'll tell you what. The momentum shift has changed here. Torrance descendants look like they've got their, their, their feathers up. Solomon Torrance. If, oh, he's nice gone away here on the James edge. James Torrance. James, he's been good all day, James. they got a bit of momentum swing. Solomon Torrance. Yeah, mate, he's been good too, Solly. He he's been really work, good he? today. Corey Torrance. Short Veteran. Ball. Oh. Corey's just setting up. He's, he's a very smart player, Corey. Very experienced. Repeat. Oh, look, he's going for the little banana kick. Oh, the oh, It nearly came off for him. Ooh. Finally taken there by the fullback for Rule number one. Never Julie's Rabbitohs. Got away with that one. Oh, there we go. That's a rake out there, too, in the tackle. Panley there to the Rabbitohs. Looking down there and see brother Gaz Quinlan too. Veteran of the game, veteran of the knockouts. Out there for the Julie's Rabbitohs. Bit of a legend, old Gaz. You always won a fair few knockouts with the Narwhan Eels, Les Gaz Quinlan. Not out. Doesn't oh, find touch. To find touch here. here we go now. That's a harsh call for him. I'd love a try. I don't know how he never found touch. Tennis. He was actually literally standing a metre and a half away from the touch line. He was going for distance. Yeah, mate. That's a dangerous thing to do in a knockout. He was going for that distance. Big run there. He's going good, this big fella. Mate, he's going good. He's going really good, actually. Reminds me of a young myself. That's a big call, a young myself. <laughs> it's a myself-a-thon. No. Actually, we've just seen what we've enough. just seen what a young myself could do out there in two games for Cabestriola, mate. He actually runs off. Thank oh, God. I mean, you could probably wind the clock. Oh, he's gone through here. He's got the offload away as well. He oh, finds a winger. Oh, and go. Torres descendants. Again, that wonderful knockout brand of footy they play. 
Look, Straight in. They just stopped. They just stopped in defence. They were looking for the call and they didn't get the call. They called an offside. The whole defensive line stopped there and the Torres defending the Torrance descendants actually found some space out on that edge. Again, Corey. You got to play to the ref. He was uh, he was so good. He played that experience coming to play there, and I found some really, you know, good opportunity on the short side. You'll see a lot of that the knockout short side plays, yep. and that, that's exactly what happened just then, and brought the ball around, making it easy for his kicker. But well done there to the Torrance descendants team. They're on the back foot at the moment, rabbits. I'm not taking any advice from Caleb. He's giving me a bum steer on who's related to who here. He's telling me brothers, cousins, I'm over that. I don't care who's related to who today. I'm here for footy. Brothers, cousins. Mate, how good are these Torrance Descendants boys being today, Cack? Yeah. I, I, from I'm from, from game one to now, I've called them. They're going to be the – I just think they're a pure knockout team. Um, they know how to manage themselves in these situations. They've got a really good handy group of blokes out there, all related to each other. Um, James Torrance has been sensational. Solly, yeah, well, he's just, he's brilliant. He they should be on it. He's, he's, they they he's up there playing at Tweed Seagulls up there in the uh, Queensland Cup. So, you know, and you've got young Akeem. I think Akeem's just gone on there now. They always... Funny, eh? Akeem always looks to go on when they're in front. They just, um, they don't panic. They just play their sets out and yeah. their composure. I just love it. Mate, looking around here. The crowd's still hanging around, oh, isn't mate, it? Oh, mate, we've still got a chockers. Like, it's, it's absolutely packed here. At the Oaks Oval venue, it's been a. I reckon we've had easy. I'm just going to go out on a limb. I reckon we've had an easy three, potentially four thousand people through the gates today. I know the canteen staff are run off their feet. Um, I just hope at the end of the day I can walk in there and grab something to eat because I'm absolutely <laughs> bloody starving. I tell you what, Benji, there's not much left. Big run there. Don't argue. Gets up. Plays on. The Torrance descendants have grown another leg. They're getting We've a got bit. a rake out here, penalty. It looks like the Julie's Rabbitohs here are losing the plot a bit. The, the pressure's building on them. That's getting to them. That's, the that's, thing a, I, that's an Andy penalty too for the, the Torrance. The only thing I can say is that momentum. It's a wonderful thing, a knockout. If you can get momentum in a knockout... It can take you from 20 behind to two in front. You love that word momentum, don't you? <laughs> it's not I a heard it all last all week all on the, the podcast. Was it? Yeah. Well, it's a wonderful thing, Leslie. It is a wonderful thing. It is, it is. I mean, if you haven't got momentum, what have you got? Nothing. Exactly. Well, they call you the gingy from nothing. Mate, I do my homework. I've, I've been actually sitting back and watching old replays of commentary from the Rabs, Warren. And <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm picking up this commentary gig. Every 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 game's another Solomon step for me Collins. in this commentary box. And no doubt, you know, we've got Kaki here now. We're going to make her a regular part of the Lismore knockouts in years to come <laughs> in the commentary team here. And um, after this year, Les, I just really hope that you don't leave this standing alone again and just, you know, maybe not put on those playing boots and stay up here with us in the commentary team. Yeah, I'm officially not playing again. I'm just going to stick to oh. the commentary. Well, mate, I'm a bit confused because you did just say you were going to be playing with the Bunjeroy binge connection team think, next year. As much as I love to see that happen, I don't think you're going to do it. But if I you am going to do it. If you do it, I'm in. And Cax yep, assistant okay. coach. <laughs> yep. we, can, we can't not stick together. We'll get, a, we'll get three new commentators up here taking care of the commentary team at the Lismore Knockout. And there it is, half There's time. Half time. Half time, it's a change straight over here. 12 there you go, 12 6, six. to the Torrance descendant over the Rabbitohs. Watch it's been this a, second half. It's been a great game. What do you think of the second half, Kak? What's your uh, prediction on the second half? I think it'll be tight. It's anyone's game. You still think it's going to go down to the wire? It's going to be a tight it, game? I think so. No blowout? No. Nah, not this game. So 
Can you bring it up to the mountain side, please? I don't, I don't think this will blow out. I think this will be a close one. The Julie's rabbit eyes, they're huddled in the middle here. They'll be talking about those really simple things they need to get right, the one percenters. They'll be talking about completion on sets, getting to the kick, be chased and defend it out and see if they can force some mistakes. The other thing I think they'll be saying out there now is that they want to get down in this half and be a little bit better, you know, organised structurally so they actually can throw something at the Torres descendants because when they did that in the first half, that's what got them in front. So let's see what they can bring out here now for this second half of footy. Up against the Torres descendants who have been absolutely sensational, by the way. Yes, they have. Here we go, Here Eddie we go. Walker. Big Eddie Walker. He doesn't know any other way but hard. Bring it on. He'll get up quick here. Found his front. 20 metres out of his own line here. The Rabbitohs defensive seem to pick it up a notch after half time. Two tackles gone. This guy's been good. Is that, um, is that our nephew out there, number 10? He's uh, I think that up. might be one of Lionel's boys. That's one of Lionel. That's one of the twins. Daniel Lord But I'll tell you what, he's I been absolute. One. Daniel Lord one. That's yeah, it's the twins. One of the twins. I'll one tell you what, mate. He's been big he's been for the Torrance Descendants boys. He's been he? great. Oh, here we go. Corey looking for the long no. Show, go, step. He's got the little pop pass. Solly's passed it out as well. He's gone. The kick's in now. Oh, he should have held that one. Have a look at him. We'll get the camera straight on him after that kick. He's got the head down and knew he's probably blown that opportunity. It was an opportunity. Yeah, I mate, I think he's going to look at himself now and think, what did I do? He had a winger unmarked. He didn't need to kick. He just had to find the man, draw the player. So now we've got the Rabbitohs coming out of their half. 30 metres. Oh, the Torrance defence says, come on. Strong there, Eddie Walker. Oh, another big shot there oh, by the Torrance the Le Leroy. front rower. Leroy felt that one. He like would have felt that would have, take, that would have shaken every part of his body. He's coming off of that. Yeah, he didn't miss him. The contact was good. Early kick here. He's going for the 40-20. He could find it again. He had one in the first half. But this time they read it well. The Torrance descended to number five here. Brought back well, nice carry. Torrance Descendants look like they're coming back now. They're, they're struggling a little bit to get back. They're looking for their outside backs to come in. Oh! Big shot there. Lucky, unlucky not to be pulled up for a shoulder charge. Oh, oh he's got a spear tackle. Go. Now we, we, we're starting to lose it a bit here. We hope this game doesn't go off the rail. It's been pretty good all day. They just need to settle down. Scoreline's only 12-6, Chris, so they don't, they don't really need to do silly things like that. Yes. No, nah, they don't, mate. They just need to hold the ball. They don't, and, and those sort of penalties, I mean, the defensive, that was tackle four. So, you know, one more tackle, they kick and they get the ball back, recover. But you give away them back-to-back -back penalties at a knockout, you've only got 20 minutes of football, so, you know... Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We've found our missing million. She's been bringing Ida with a mark. Thank you very much for your support. There you go. Here's one for you, Foxy, and you're going to love this one. The number 14, the one that we just gave a big rap to. He's actually the hooker or replacement hooker for the Torrance Descendants team. He's the grandson of the legend, Davey Crockett. Oh. Torrance, out there. And obviously we know that family line of footballers out, out there in uh, Casino. We went over to that funeral there of Brother Dave, or Uncle Dave, I should say, Crockett, Torrance. He's, you know, Andy Bear, Andrew Bears. I think he's Andy's, is he's Andy's young fella. And who's the number 12 there, Chris? The number 12, he is... Mate, he's... Clinton Torrance, young Clinton boy. Clinton Torrance, young bloke. Yeah, young Nick. Nick Torrance. He, he so, actually, there he you go. He played a grand final Mate, with the Rebels last week. You know week. what? Between you and me, I, I, young Nick, I asked you um, earlier in the season, we went over and watched a bit of that Nations League, and he played for Casino All Blacks, and I got, I've got a massive rap on. Here we go. And I'm going to say, track. you know, I'm related to, to, to the family, and 
I'm looking for a back row next year at Northern United, and I'd love to take young Nick. And actually, I'll take both of them over if they're not playing for Casino. Mate, I'll have both of them over at Northern United next young year. Young Nick, mate, he played grand final with the Rebels this year. So no pressure. If my, little, if my little sister Nick is out there listening to the call today, I know she will be. Get the two nephews to get in touch with me, mate. I'd love to have a chat with them and sit down and see what they're doing in 2024 and trying to get them over to Northern. Here we go again. The Torrance Descendants on the attack here. Last tackle. No, we've got a penalty. Oh, penalty again. Two in Raked the out. It was the last tackle. And this is that. That's those that penalties, they, they just they kill you. Coach Killer. What's the score here, Chris? Do you know? 12, it's still 12-6. Would, would you take the Anyone's two? Anyone's game. I'd be taking two. I'd take two. But they're going for the tap. These no, boys. they're going to go for it. They're confident. It's knockout, oh, Woody. Mate, there, you, there go. you go. The number 16s for the Torres Descendants. He says, you know what, Chris and Gingy? I don't care what you think about taking two. I'm scoring points here and I'm getting fours. We're, we're not known to get anything wrong, are we, Bingy? <laughs> mate, nah. <laughs> Thank God he never listened to us. <laughs> no, used to. I was not so on So Kat, she's actually saying he should have tapped it. So she was confident in him. There's still a lot of time ago, are you? So there you go. Torrance descendants. Maybe that was my old legs thinking rest. Two Take points. the lead out to 16. Yeah. <laughs> Six over the Julie's Rabbitohs. I'm still impressed with this side. They're a good side, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They play to the ref and they're just playing their own game. They look like they really want it too, and, don't yeah. they? How about this, Les? They kick this goal. It'll be 18... It'll be 18-6. And I'd say there's probably about 13, 14 minutes to go. Um, that being said, mate, I think they could... Pretty confidently, I, and I know you can't get cocky in these sort of games at knockouts, but I'm, I'm saying that the Torres Descendants teams could be pretty confident in what they've done to this point because they started the game on the back foot and they've really recovered well here. You know, their forward pack, I've got to credit them, mate. They, as I said, they're not the biggest pack here today, but they're a working group, mate. They, they just they work are, hard yeah. for each other. And the, the Rabbits are take, going away from their game plan. Yeah, they've gone away and they've gone into the giving away those silly penalties and those yeah. errors are starting to creep into their game, even with the ball. So, I think with the Torrance side, the, the longer the game goes, the, the faster them boys get around the middle, quick quick play the balls, and they just play off the back of that, don't they? Yeah, mate, yeah, they do. Still heaps of time to go, but... Still plenty of time. Young Davo Briggs. Good to see you, Uncle. Backing him in here. <laughs> I'm going to back him because he can kick him from anywhere, Corey. Oh, oh I thought he had the old boomerang <laughs> kick going. The commentator's going. curse. <laughs> yeah, there you I go, Les. I'm, I'm letting you wear that one. <laughs> Cackle staying out of that one. <laughs> yes. So there you go, 16-6. With about 12... Oh, there you go, a spot on. 12 minutes to go. Not that I'm keeping the clock down here by us. We, we look around, our guy... <laughs> Tomorrow. We've got we've got our most consistent Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout official table. Darren Heron, if anyone's looking for a, a man to run a table, mate, at the big knockout, get in contact with him. All you got to do is feed him, make sure he's got a ride down there, and make sure you look after him through the day and you'll have him at the knockout. There you go, bell's on, he'll be there. Darren Heron, the best knockout official table man you could get. James Torrance looking for oh, a here you go, middle. James Torrance. He's been great. Big run there, James. Hey, I'll tell you what, Les. I know he's playing in the centres. Yeah, he played last week for the Rebels in the grand final. And I know he plays in the centres, but I'm just going to say it now. Back row. No, I actually think moving forward, and he really needs to think about this, he would be an absolute sensation in the back row because he can defend as well. Yeah. He played well in the grand final down in group two. Rebels were unlucky. Here we go now. Julie's rabbit has they've got to find something here. Well, they Probably down in the last 10 minutes, and I'm not, I'm not quite sure if they He's can. They're just continually going for this 40-20. 
I think they have to look at something different. They've th- four or five times now they've done that. They've got one, you know, but they, they sort of want to back themselves. This is going to be important. They're relying on their defence here to win this um, bit of... The Torrance boys? Yeah. 100%. No, the, oh, the, the yeah, rabbits. The rabbits, yeah. They're going to bank on their defence to keep them in this half. And they're doing all right at the moment. Yeah, they are. So, we're just hearing that the winner out of this game will play the winner out of the Gambangi Yanga team and the Steve O. Williams Memorial team. So, that's going to be another good game. I'll have to sit on the fence there because this is my team coming up next. <laughs> the boys from down home. Oh, oh intercept taken here. But it goes. He's pulled up. Oh, he's pulled up. His legs shall not weary them. The old legs couldn't go the way they used to. If he, but take him back 10 years, I'm guaranteeing he's scoring in the corner. <laughs> but it goes. What was he doing? He actually got that ball. He, he actually got that ball. He looked like he was running on a treadmill. Eh? <laughs> he's, he's still like, playing. He's still playing footy, is he, for the year? Yeah, he played for no one. They won a grand final. They won a grand final this year in Group 19. First grade. Yeah, first grade. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That, yep. Still carving up, Gaz. Mate, it's hard to take the football out of the uh, oh, out, out of the mistake. bloke that's played most of his life. You know, you love the game, and the hardest decision you've ever got to make in rugby league is when you have to give it up. Yeah, and then you but, stupidly go back and play four years yeah, later. Yeah, some people do. And some people do the opposite to that, There's which is mistake. pick up a microphone, which I love even better. Mistake from the rabbits. That was in a good position to attack, and they've made a mistake. So the Torrance Descendants team now get the ball back here, 30 metres out of their own line. And I know they're the type of team they can actually put it on from anywhere at the moment. They've shown that they can attack from in their own half, and they can attack from in the opposition. So watch out here, and let's see what they come up with. Well, what happened there? Kicking in the scrum. I thought that was a penalty, isn't it, these days, Les? There's no such thing as scrums. No, I didn't think you can contest in the scrums these days. <laughs> Corey Torrance has gone straight through here. He's got an outside player in. Oh, he's the old ball. It's first tackle. It's probably a good decision. That's, That's good his decision. experience coming out there. Yeah. Oh, he's got a penalty out of it. That's definitely his experience coming to play. Corey Torrance. He's a great footballer, Corey Torrance. Oh, mate, he's still got it. He's still got it at this level at the knockout, 20 minutes each way. He's throwing dummies all day. Yeah. I think he's still <laughs> playing in the comp out that way. I think he might have played with Gyra this year. I'm not quite sure. He's throwing that many dummies. <laughs> it looked like he was going through a revolving door. <laughs> exactly. But he's done well then the whole He's done on. well, mate. He's done well. His experience again comes into play. Rabbit, rabbits are just it's going away from the Yeah, they're going away from game play, mate. I just think they've really... They're not they're the same team that down. first game. Yeah, yeah, they're letting themselves down here. This Torrance descendant side, they're giving them nothing. No. We need some ball boys down here now. It's late in the day. We've got one more game to go after this between the Gambangi Yango team and the Steve Williams Memorial team. See what they can do here with the ball. Here we go. Just plays it out to the right. Comes back to the middle. We're going out now. The Torrance is, and, and this is typical knockout, oh, oh, one on one. This is typical knockout football from the Torrance Descendants team. And we've been saying that pretty much every game they've played. They are a pure knockout team. They know how to get the job done. They don't overplay their hand. They no. make the most of their opportunities and they come away with points. And here they do it again. Look at this. Oh, taken right. out. Taken Great defence there. Yeah, commentator's curse. They do do their job, but don't they? Like... There's Alan Roberts on the Mr. Whippy ice creams down there, Chris. Yeah. 
Big shout out to Alan Roberts out there from the uh, Nine Ball Brothers. He'd be pretty happy with the way that they performed today. We'll get something out of him tomorrow. What a great day of footy, Les. Kak, what do you think? It's, been a, it's, yeah, been, it's, it's been. actually been... I know we've had, as I said, I won't keep going over it, but it's actually been a great day of rugby league. Here we go again. They're on attack. James Torrance. He's been strong again. Chuck a number 12 on your back, Jamesy. Yeah, the weather's been great. Now the wind's picking up a bit. Is he with you guys this year, Les, down at the big one? Yeah, he is, mate. And I can tell you now he's playing back row. I was just about to say, mate, if I was taking him, I'd be taking him in the back row. He's looking for a water boy? <laughs> oh, they might be, yeah. Yeah, mate, put my name out. I'm up for that. Can you run? Yeah, of course I can. You see me the other day. Can't walk. Oh, oh short ball. Sully Torrance. Quick play the ball. Oh, they got it again Corey here. Look Torrance. at this. Corey Torrance. <laughs> <Dummies> again. <laughs> Shows, goes. The old legend. Hey, how's that? We got a ball kicked away there, young bloke. You better go and get that. You've only got one game ball at the yeah, moment. That was Hakeem Torrance kicking that away, Chris. You have oh. to have a word to him. We're lucky we've got another couple up here stashed. If someone could kick that ball back, it would be very much appreciated. I think I'm going to be having words with young Akeem after this. Keep the ball in play is what I'd say. He throws another dummy, Chris. Like, yeah. He's throwing them all game and he's taking them all game. Like I said, mate, if he was in a revolving door and throwing dummies, he'd be going around in circles all day. Mate, Corey Torrance, he's sucking in the big ones, but he's played a big part. Oh, mate, in he's had game, a big part he? in this win, though. He's played massively in this game. We've got no ball here. We might have to kick a ball out there, Chris. We're short of ball here. Should have told the one that kicked it to go and retrieve it. Yeah, we've had... So you can't... Look, I know it's time out here. Well, there's no time out, but they've recovered the ball. Uh, keep that ball with you, security, please. Can you hold on to that? Thank you. Sorry, mate. So here we go. Out on the go. Bit of a word to all the players. Once you've scored a try, you can celebrate, but please don't kick go. the balls away. With two and a bit to go, Chris, I think this game's sealed up. Yeah, I think, Torrance. look, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Torrance Descendants boys will be pretty happy. Yeah, I think you can pencil them in there, Cac. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. Yeah, we can write them in, Cac. We can put them down now. I'm putting them on the sheets. There's two minutes to go. They can't come back from here, the, uh, the Rabbitohs team. And I'd be, if I was a, anyone associated with the Torrance Descendants team, I'd be pretty happy about the way they've gone about business today. Ice buffing it up tonight. Oh, definitely. Oh, well, he's kicked it. Just to rub salt into the wound, he's kicked it from the sideline. He loves it too. He's loved yeah, it. Yeah, he's got the little dance going. And why not? Yeah. Is it connect? Oh, Descendants. So there's two, there's about a minute to go in this game and the Torrance Descendants have wrapped the game up here. I think they'll just do the simple thing here. They'll come out with a really simple set. They won't go too expansive now. They don't have to do, oh, that was a massive hit there. He'll be waking up tomorrow morning going, what the hell was that? Straight to his feet though, to his credit. Yeah, no, credit to him, mate. He's been good all day. I think it's the other twin. Yeah, it is. Mate, they're not getting carried away here. The, the, um, the Julie's Rabbitohs boys are looking to looking to put some stuff in here, but the Torres Descendants aren't even having a bar of that. Here we go. Oh, massive. I think he was offside too, that 13. I saw Big that. Guy. Oh! He's throwing a punch. I think he's going to be sent. It's the one-punch rule. He's got to go. 
He's got to go. I think frustrated. He's got to go, Josh. Rabbits. Make the right call here. The punch was thrown. The game's all barred over. There's no need for that sort of stuff. There's no need for that sort of stuff. He's left him out there. What's he doing? He's putting a scrum down. It's not even a penalty, mate. Oh, well, I'm not a referee, but if, if that isn't a send-off, nothing is. Is that right or what? I'm looking at his daughter. She's looking at me, and I'm going, is that, I'm asking her that, that would be a normal... Is that a send-off? <laughs> <laughs> so there it goes, the ball goes dead. We'll see how long we got to go here. Five, Five seconds. seconds, there you go. That's it, game over. There it is. There it Do is. not run the ball. He's kicked oh, the ball he's away kicked again. the ball away again. You're going to have to have a again, word with him, Please, do not kick the ball away. It's a game ball. It's a keep again, Bingy. You're going to have to have a word to him. Well, that was this. There you go. Torrance descendants go through to the semi-final. And they play the winner out under this next game, which was, should be a good I can't game. wait for this game. Of... I can see uh, Cowboy walking in with young Timmy, lining up, getting ready to play this game. Good luck, boys. The Steve R. Williams Memorial Team. And I can see uh, one of my nephews down here, young Rashawn. How are you, my boy? And there's Reynolds at the back. Hey, there's Eddie Walker Williams. Look at him. All psyched up for the game today, Big Eddie. They'll be up against the Gumbangi Angay team here. John Jarrett putting in this team as a memorial team for his dad, Dean. Wasn't he a great, great servant of the game? Yeah, he sure was. You know, he's had a long one. Dean, you know, we all know that Dean's, you know, very academic in his life as well. With what he did in the, uh, in the in the in the in the education sector, just an update on the NRL, Bingy. Warriors four, Knights nil. Five minutes in. There, there you go. Sorry for that. There you go, Leslie. I'm going to leave the commentary over to these guys while I make a call here to the council. Yeah, mate. No worries. <laughs> yeah, mate. No worries. <laughs> So the next game will be our last game for the day. How do I say this? Now, Gumbangi Yanga. Gumbangi Yanga. Are, are up against the Stephen Memorial side, and it should be a good game. Last game of the day, too, so crowd's still sticking around. Yeah, here they come. Gumbangi's going to take the field first. Good luck to them. He comes to Stephen Memorial side out, ready to take the field. The weather's going to be a little bit cooler for them. Not as hot out there in the middle. 
The boys are on the phone and eating their faces. They're yeah, I'm on my own at the moment. I'll just answer the question myself. <laughs> yes, they are. It's going to be a nice game of football out there in the back middle. Gumbangi's won the toss by the looks of things and going to receive. Stephen Williams kicking off in the first half. Sorry, Cack, I was checking my shout outs. <laughs> That's all good. Just like to do a call Double out ends. before this game starts. So all in the back of a mob, bear a mob, Maxwell mob. The boys are just about to run on. Last game of the day. And just a call out to everybody down home. Hello again. Hope you are enjoying the coverage. Here we go, guys. The last game of the day here at the Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout for 2023 on the Saturday. The winning, get with the winning team out of this game, Gak, and thanks for holding up the other end while I was actually trying to have something to eat, but the winner out of this game will go through and play the Torrance Descenders in semi-final number two tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Yes. So we've got the Gambangi Yange, Yanga, Yange, uh, team out here bit of a Dean Jarrett Memorial team as I said up against the Steve O. Williams and Memorial side as well We're actually gonna, I'm just going to go out straight away and say this is going to be a pretty close affair it's been a great day of rugby league here and the crowd hasn't gone anywhere no, they're still here. Oh, they're still here. They're still here. It's gone down a little it's bit, good. but it's still big. Yeah, it's still big. It's good. So here we have the Steve O. Williams and Memorial side here now coming out of their half. Working hard. They're, they're doing it the, uh, the, the way that most teams would like to do it, which is their outside backs jumping in and giving some relief here. That's young Clint. Is that young Clint Williams? It is it's young Clint Williams, mother young bloke, mother's young bloke. He's um, interestingly enough, uh, interestingly enough, he's he's uh, he's got a plate in his arm. So that's that dummy arm. Yeah, for about to play the ball. No, the front rower. Is, yeah, front rower. He is number ten. Oh yeah, about to play the ball. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Get to that kick. Nice big kick here. Oh, that's a floater. 
Good luck taking that. Oh, he takes oh, well it well. Taken. He takes, he takes, it, it, takes well. it well. He actually took it really easy. Nice kick chase there from the Steve O. Williams Memorial side. Yeah, they look like they're here to main business, the Steve O. Williams Memorial team. Oh, big shot. That wasn't called high either. That was just a good tackle. Grabbing at his jaw there, that player, after that tackle, though. Here we go, down the sideline here. Nice He's got away. That was a nice Scramble run. defense there for the Steve O. Williams Memorial team. Gets back just oh, in time. And that was young Willie Baker. Young Willie Baker. He's really good, Willie Baker. Oh, they didn't knock on. They had a big year this year out in Group 4, I think, for the Moree Bur yeah. uh, for the Moree Balls, I should say, not the Boomerangs. Uh, he was with the Moree Balls this year. They played a grand final over at Tamworth uh, up against the North Tamworth team, and I think they went down by eight points. I'm so hearing that he's playing for Moree Boomerangs at the big knockout. Oh, really? Am I right there, there you go. Chris? Oh, mate, I couldn't tell you. I've, I've, I'm not – I've actually uh, – I'm only I'm on everyone else's here, so at the moment I'm <laughs> I think Toby Keys is the coach for the Maury Boomerangs, and I'm hearing that there's going to be a bit of a Griffith three-way taste to it um, with the with the Fafita boys and uh, and a couple of other uh, two twin brothers that are playing both currently playing NRL. Um, here we go now on the attack, 40 meters out from the Gambangi line, Rashawn, young Rashawn Anderson. This will test the Gobangi's defence. This will test their defence here, mate. After that mistake. Oh, Shepard play. He's gone down. He's done the right thing there, young Eddie Walker-Williams. Clint Williams. Clint. Oh, oh, big nice shot. Contact. He'll get straight up, though, Clint. He's a tough kid. Very tough kid. John Jarrett was in there. <laughs> he loves those little shots. Oh. oh, that little kick could have went anywhere then. Grounded. There you go. Repeats it. Has, hasn't it been good watching the teams play and about they come down and if they're not getting points, they're coming away with a little repeat sets yep. and pressure, pressure, pressure. Just trying to build sustained pressure. Both sides are just feeling their way into this game. Yeah, they are. They are. Is that Brandon oh, wow. Williams there waiting to come on, Chris? Number nine for Steve Williams Memorial? Yeah, that's him. Actually, is that Brent? That's Brendan. Talking about blokes that are old that are still playing, mate. He's, he's up there with us as well, Les. Mate, but I'll tell you what, he he's played last year. He's done a lot of year. big things, hasn't he? Yeah, mate, he's, he's done a lot, mate. He's, he, we all know nice. that in the rugby world, he's massive. That was a You've nice a line big, drop. Big, see, a big uh, career over in, in Italy as a rugby player. It, it shows, Les, her fox, that oh. age is no factor. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Unless it's me. <laughs> so here we go now. They're coming out of their half here, the Gambangi Ango team. That mistake was made. Gives them the opportunity to attack here. I think that Tyrone Roberts Davis needs to get his hands on the ball here. Yeah, he does, mate. He really does. Is his brother playing as well? Yeah, yeah Greg, Greg's that's there. That's him getting tackled there oh, right Greg now as tackled. we speak. Nice run here yeah, up the middle. There's Willie Bakes again. There's Willie Baker again. He's he's had two chances down that right-hand edge, and he's, he's split them every time, Willie Baker. Dangerous, isn't he? He's a strong, strong kid too. Here's Here we go with the unders ball. John, is that John Jarrett? That's, That's John Jarrett. There you go. Had a big season this year with the Northern United Footy Club. Oh, intercept taken here by the Steve O. Williams Memorial side. Can he have, does he have the left? Cowboys He's looking now. He's finding He's it though. He's still going. Oh, he's passed it off there now. He's here got it go, away Brandon again. Anderson. Oh, they fell the way. Steve O. Williams Memorial. What a play. That was a good play then. Intercept on their own 10 metre line. He's gone, he's in, he's away. He thought he was going to pass it when he comes in there and he just drops it back in under. Great try there by the Steve O. Williams Memorial side. Takes him out to four over the Gambangi Yangay team. Did the pass need to be Nil. passed, Chris? Yeah. Did he need to pass that? Quick update in the NRL, Benji, and it's going to be my last one because it's 16-0 to the Warriors. 16-0 to the Warriors. I'm going to say that the Newcastle Knights bubble has well and truly burst and not even Andrew Johns could save them now. Yeah, you might have to get your jumper on. Yeah, that my left bag. Just grab the whole lot. Thank 
So here we go. We're waiting for the conversion here from Eddie Walker Williams. I know you guys are worried about commentators' curse, but I know what he's like when he can kick this kid. And I'm going to say he's putting this well and truly over, and the score will go to six nil. He should throw this one over. Yeah, there it is, six nil. Steve O. Williams Memorial over the Kambangi Yanga team. Still got 12 and a half minutes to go here. 12 and a half to go here. What can the Gumbangi Yenge team pull out? Kax going for the jumper. <laughs> She's now cold. She was complaining about the heat earlier. She's had four seasons all in one day. Here they go to Steve O. Williams Memorial. Must complete set here. Brendan Williams in a dummy half. Oh, There's no. a mistake. What, what happened there? I spoke too soon. There's the mistake. This was it a mistake they... in the play of the ball or was it a mistake in the pick Mistake in the play of the ball. Not what they needed from the kickoff, uh, Foxy. No, it's definitely not what you want after scoring points, is it? It's opened the door right it up here for the, for the Gumbangi side. Here we go. Down to that man again, Willie Baker. Here we go. Oh, strong again, Willie Baker. Robert Davis here wants the ball. Oh, big unders play there. The Steve O. Weaver Memorial team up onto, up onto their defence, though. They've got them held here. Pretty confident in what they're doing. Robert Go Davis showing, like, going. Yeah, mate. Again, a strong defence there from the Steve Williams Memorial side. Oh, nice defence again. They're yeah. aiming up here. They're reading the play pretty well. They are. Little one off the rock play. Short oh. ball. Oh, he's put it down. He's put the ball down. He's picked it up. He's, oh, it's the same bloke that took the intercept. Oh, no, they're not. Is that his twin? One on one. What have we got here, penalty? Yep. Yeah, too two many in the tackle. tackle there. So I've got a penalty here now coming out. Steve O. Williams Memorial just playing on the back of the mistake riddled Gumbangi Angar team. Big kick there. I think that's going to go down near halfway. So there you go. Six, seven metres off halfway here on the attack. The Steve Williams Memorial side. Going in nice and hard there. He's called out a knock that's on, a and that's it. You know what? There's that new rule that's come down. It's the plant rule. You can't plant. So you've got to get up. You've got to pick the ball up, and then you've got to put it down and play it. Good pick up, Bingy. That's hurt him again. Another mistake. I've been up to date. I've been checking the rules, mate, before this week. I spent a whole week going through the book. Could you believe that, Les? I do believe that. You're a stickler for the rules. I am a stickler for the rules, brother. This Stephen Memorial's old and hardening Mate, they're, they're a good, they're actually a well-drilled team. No one wants to run for them. We didn't see too much of them cack in the first part of the knockout because they were playing over on field two. Yeah, I've so yeah, both now they're these back sides. over here. Um, both of these Obviously from over that, there. we get to see. Here we, here go. we go. Oh, is it Willie Baker? No. He reaches out and scores. That's Credence Donovan. The, oh, young Credence. Young Albert's brother. Off the back of the Australian Schoolboys Championships. Comes here and scores a try on the wing. He had a big grand final as well, Les, if you could remember, for the uh, Balambul Jets under-18s team. Scored a, a, scored a really nice try in that game as well. But he's done the same thing here for the Gambanga Yange team. We need some comfy chairs, don't we, for tomorrow? <laughs> So that takes a score out to Steve Williams Memorial 4, Gumbangi Yenga team. No, six, oh, sorry, mate. six. Steve Williams Memorial over the big Gumbangi team 4. Kick to come. 
I can see young Akeem. Should I have a word to him about kicking balls away, yeah, mate? Yeah, mate, I think. Akeem. Akeem. Oh, he can't hear. He can't hear you. We'll get on to him, though. Before he leaves the We'll venue. get him tomorrow. Yeah. This has been a good game so far, boys. It has been, mate. And it could be that game that go. We, we need one of those games. Well, I mean, that, that last that game. That last was, game was good until know, they blew good, it yeah. away. I mean, I'm not saying that the other two weren't. The other two were just the, the other two teams that won through in the Nine Ball Brothers and the Country Coastal Brothers are just two quality teams. Yeah. And they match up tomorrow against each other. So are we going to say that tomorrow's oh. going to be close? Yeah, so I've, it's going to be an interesting and exciting match tomorrow, that first game up. Ash Moore and he's made his way back from his coaching duties down there with the Titans Pathway squad. He's sitting here now. I wish he was here about five hours ago because he could have been handling the dispute system, but he's left that to none other than me. But we've got through it. He'll cop it all in the afternoon. Uh, no doubt there'll be phone calls made to him post the event today. But guess what? Yeah, he got he got told. There you go. He's, he got the mouth from the from the gate. Here we go, the Gumbangi side bringing it out here. Punching it forward through the forward pack. Big nice Chris strong run Ryan. here. Up over to the 30. Here we go. This is going to be John Jarrett's back out there too. Oh, he's raked out. Penalty there. To the Gambangi Ango team. Am I saying that right, Kate? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to get I had to get language lessons for some of these teams because I just got to get the pronunciations right. I'll give a quick shout out here, Chris. Got a shout out from Nikki. She wants a shout out to her son Andrew Torrens and the Torrens descendant side, and they're gonna have a yarn. A yarn with Bear and Nick about playing with Northern well, next there year. Go. There you go. Thank and you. And they want to give a shout out to the Tumula and Bogabilla mob. I love him here. The boys, are, the boys are showing me something this weekend. I can tell you that. But I've had a big raps on young Nick since that uh, start of the start of the season, Les. When we watched some of that Nations League competition. Yeah, mate. But both of the boys are really, really good to watch. Great young players. I tell you what, I've never been hit hard like I've been hit by Clint Torrens. Oh. Winded for days. Mate, I, had the, I had the pleasure, me and Clint, we played for the Australian Aboriginal team. You know, they now call it the uh, All-Stars. Yep. Uh, yeah, so we, we, we're some of the original originals that took part in that, uh, that concept. And, um, mate, apart from, you know, playing with him, um, I only play, got to play against him on, I think, one or two occasions, if that. And it, we did go at each other a fair bit, <laughs> you know, being close relatives that we are but yeah mate Clint Torrance he's one of the mate he'd go down in, one, in the history of in this competition but also in the knockouts as one of the bell ringers one of the hardest if you, players if you ran at him you didn't you didn't get up anyway back to the game yeah. there you go <laughs> <laughs> Cac's keeping us online here we've got the 6-4 um, 6-4 to, to the Steve O. Williams Memorial team Gives and the opportunity Gimbangu were on the attack there Another set. Of They'll get the another set here. Can bang you on the attack. Again, the Torrance, def uh, uh, sorry, the Torrance, wrong side. The Steve Williams Memorial team, I must say their defence has been up to it at this point. Oh, long ball. He did have space out there, but he... Came back in. Big oh, defence nice there. Defense that was there. good. Rashawnee Anderson's in there. Yeah, he's in there in the middle there now. Looks like no one wanted the ball there. Roberts Davis. Where's their go-to man? Where's the Will Baker? The play, play was broken down then. He set himself out in that right. He's going now. Here, Here he is, Will Baker. There's the call. Oh, no, no oh, it's a forward, forward pass. pass. He scored back on a big, strong run. And there was no one stopping him from there, I think. No, I think he was looking at the try line. Be called by the ref. Yeah. 
Steve Williams, Memorial team coming out of their half here. Big run out there, nice. They're about 40 metres off halfway. Tackle two, Williams in at half. Nice quick play the ball as well. Bit of spinning going on in that tackle. 40-20. <laughs> Can it make it, it out? Oh, oh, seven tackle here. Seven tackle set coming out now. About a half metre too long on that kick, but I'll tell you what, if it did get to that line, they were, oh, my money was on Steve Williams. Memorial we actually getting some points that time if they were in there. But Gambanga get the ball back here. Cax got the jumper on. I'm up here, cold as. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit wind blowing up this way. Foxy's still uh, recovering from his games today. But blood pressure's still blood up. Blood pressure's through the roof. Gambanga jumping out here now, looking for some short plays. They found some ball there. Held, nice tackle three. Start to tire a bit here, the Steve A. Williams Memorial side. In John Jarrett with the ball here. Let's see what John just only knows. He's straight in. Taken there by Good play Tim the Torrance. Ball. Big Dan Argy there in on the Tim face. as well. <laughs> in your face. Two tackles left in this set. They're on the attack again. They're trying to find space out on this edge. They're pretty confident. They've come to this edge a couple of times now, but they've come up with nothing. So I think that... Oh, oh nice defense. big. Was that Tim Torrance That's a again? Timmy Torrance special. Nice He's been great. That's Timmy to a T. And he then makes another desperate tackle there. Yeah, no, and the ball thrown the away. The Steve Williams Memorial team can thank Tim Torrance for his three defensive efforts there. And we'll see them retain the ball here. We'll get a read on what the time is coming out here now. 50 seconds to go in this set. So Steve Williams Memorial here. Just have to play this set out to get to half time. The Newcastle Knights have found the try line, 16 4 to the Warriors. Here we go now, they're looking for the Shifting. quick shift. Oh, Cowboy. What's oh, he done? Let's play on. Oh, no, no it's got a penalty. Offside. No, he's called offside. Must have been touched, eh? No, in, no inside the 10. Oh, inside, inside the 10. Inside the 10. Well, it was either touched or inside the 10. It was actually both. Les is looking for his jumper. It's getting a bit uh, cool up here. There's the halftime siren. They've got to play the penalty out, even though the halftime siren has gone. Good first half. Mate, it was a good teams. first half of footy. Score 6 4. 6 4. What a this cracking last game. game to finish the day this off. This could be the game that actually does go right down to the wire. <coughs> we we're sort of thinking that that's what the last game was going to be like, but the Torrance Descendants just showed <coughs> how their class, I think, um, and, and made that and really opened that game up. It didn't get away, but, you know, both teams need to be credited for their. You know, for their efforts in that game as well, and the Torrance Descendants go through to tomorrow's semi-final. Must be pretty cool out there because they're not they're using their benches as much as the last few games beforehand. Yeah. We're swapping straight over here. The, yep, here we go. Here we go, start the second half here. Young Lincoln looks like he's a bit cold as well. He's got dual factor zero. Here we go. Here we the go, last half, half of the half. day. 
Who's going through to the round? Who's going through to the semi-final? Second game tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Will it be the Steve O. Williams Memorial side? Or will it be Gambangi Yanga? Not doing the call yet. You're not? No. You're not, you're not, you're not. You're not, not going prediction. like us, are you, Cac? Six, four, I'm just not going to. Big run there by the Steve Williams Memorial side. Front row, he's held that ball as well. Let's play on here. We're going down now. Looking to get out of their half. Tackle four. There's Brendan jumping oh, in. He's gone he through Brendan Williams. Nice defence there. This is a good set coming out here by the Steve O. Williams Memorial side. Last tackle here. They he got... spotted something here, the number six. He's passed out the back. They've still got the ball and regathered, and it's a change over there. It's a knock on. No, Lucky. Knock He's on. been dangerous this time. Mate, six who's the for six? Steve Williams Memorial. Who's the six for Steve Williams I'm Memorial not side? I'm not sure who he is, but he's been very dangerous. I'll tell you what, he's pretty today. good. He sees the gap, he takes it. <laughs> he just, and he reads the game well. He actually reads the game really well. He's got a great kicking game and he can take an intercept. <laughs> <laughs> so here Three we go. What can the Kambanga team do here? Oh, nice hard contact there. Who's that, John Jarrett? Welcome to football. Wind's picking yeah. up, the rubbish is going everywhere in front of us. So here we go here. Here we go. Bangi. See what they can pull out of the hat. Oh, oh the big front row through if he gets a tip on. Oh, oh, it was on. He was gone. He's played a quick play the ball though. It's a quick play the ball there. Goes out to that left hand edge. Little kick in behind, looking for that winger. And he's, oh, yeah, he's, he's got missed. it down. He's got it down. Hang on, he's going to his touchy. He's calling her in. I think he's got it down. I think he's got it down. But from up this No! Way. He's called no try. Didn't get it down in time. It's a, no, it's a penalty. What's the call? Oh, he was offside. He was in front of the kicker. Big play there. Oh, what a kick. Is a found touch. No. Hasn't found touch. Hasn't found touch. Brendan Williams tried to go early for the kick. He's made the He's tackle, made the though. tackle down here. He's made up for it. He's got them deep in their own half. But they're coming back here, the Bangu team. They're looking now. Oh, he's, the support was on his outside. And he's, he's just gone down with the ball. It's only tackle two, though. We'll see what comes out of this. We've got an injured player coming off. Court? Time off for? I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Injured player. No, we've got an injured player, so it's time out. This will give them time. This may give them time to Steve Williams and Morris to reset. Oh, okay, down here. Yeah, well, it has. <laughs> so they've got their defence now back in order here. They still need to aim up. Again, a nice run by the same front row that took it up earlier. They created an opportunity. We're about five metres off the Steve Williams Memorial line. Oh, he's found space. Is he there? No. Oh, no, he's, he's held up. He's short. No, he was actually short. Oh, is that John Jarrett from Dummy Half? John scored. No, he's held, held up, up again. Oh, he's called held up. Get out of Dummy Half, John. Oh, I'll have to have a chat with him I about that after this. I thought he had the ball down, to be honest. I'm backing John on that one. <laughs> so here we go. Gimbinga, two two tackles left. They're starting to find and probe. They look, they're six again. Oh, I think, oh, I think he's going to pull that. A knock on by. T there was a hand in that, Les. Yeah, it'll be six to go, so they'll be, get another yeah, six. They'll get another crack here. Kak, you're going to be quite on assist. They just need to be patient. It's been a long day. Here. I know where your heart is. <laughs> they, uh, need to be, they need to be patient here, Gimbinga, just to settle we'll get, into this. We'll get a track on time to see how we're going here. 15 minutes remaining in this game. Plenty of time. They'd love some points here, wouldn't they? Oh, they'd definitely love some points. 
He goes Willie Bakes again. Willie Baker. Oh, he's big, strong. strong. He's hasn't been he? great all game. He just hasn't found the clear space yet. But if he does, there's no chance they're going to pull him back. He's like a second rower. He is. <laughs> big run back in here. They're trying to just calm it down here, like Cack said. They're looking to set the play up. John Jarrett has gone into first distributor. No. I think they've got they they the wrong option there. They need to play it. They need to go set. left edge. Timmy they've got Torrance numbers if they really shift hard. Defense there from Timmy Torrance. John Jarrett out the back. Wide, hard again. Oh, nice. Good read there. And the, the defense of the Steve Williams Memorial team has been brilliant. Play on here. Here they go here. Eddie Walker, Eddie Walker Williams. Williams. Can he find some space? He's pulled up. He looked around the referee. Then I, I <laughs> thought he was going to get called. But he must have thought he was going to get I called back. I thought he pulled a heavy. He had a shift early. Oh, he's going to kick early. Oh, this could be the right option. Oh, no. The other the Gabangi player has gotten back there. But still could work here in their favour. Steve Williams Memorial side. They've got him down here now. That was silly. They just have to defend this set out, I think. Or try and create. Oh, they found some space out on that edge. Timmy Torres looks to be a bit hurt here. Yeah, Timmy's done something there in that last tackle. He goes John Jarrett. Jarrett. John Jarrett here. Big. Good man. John Jarrett's popped his head through. Oh, oh take it. Oh, now he's dropped it. He is pulled it, it in. The and support was anyway, just a bit oh, this guy, there. Look at what's going on. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah, he's going. dropped it as well. It's a rake out here. The rake out was called. Did you see a punch in that? No. No. I thought there was a little uppercut. They're losing their way here. Well, if I, I, I thought I seen a little uppercut and the referee gave the old. They really need to be pushing up in support there when Jan went through. They oh, were just yeah. a bit yeah. too far behind, weren't That's they? That's where the opportunity was just then. I'll tell you what, this is a great game to finish oh, off the day. Oh, it is a good game, mate, to finish the day. Here we go, Steve Williams Memorial on the attack here, tackle three. We went quiet a bit there, didn't we? I was there, I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's this number six yeah, again, he's look, found he's some space. Loaded. Oh, he's still going. This is tackle four. Offload. Like Bundock, is it? It's going from dummy half. Young Waylon Cordwell's in at dummy half here. Ah, oh, what an option. Right open under the post. What an option on that play. Waylon Cordwell. It's a young he looked to the He looked to the left, but his shape was back to the right. He found nothing but open spaces underneath the goal post, and the Steve Williams Memorial front roller goes in untouched. I tell you what, mate, this number six for the Stephen Williams Memorial, he's putting his hand up. And he's just directing him around the paddock, scheming around. He's causing a bit of trouble yeah, here. Yeah, he really is. He really is. What's, um, what's that make the score line? Uh, that would make it 10-4. Ten, 10-4 uh, ten, ten four. Ten ten four. Four to the Steve Williams Memorial team. We'll double-check that score in a minute. <laughs> Mate, I'll tell you, either of these teams get through, it, it's going to be a good game. Yeah. But... The Steve Williams Memorial team are very similar to the Torrance Descendants team in the way they're playing the game. Yeah, they very are. Very knockout orientated. Understand what you need to do at the right time. They got they look like they've got a good set of halves that are steering the ship for them. Um, they look very controlled. They haven't panicked either when they were down in the no, defence. I think didn't. they did three or four sets of defence down in their own line and they didn't panic at all. I think Will, young Willie Bakes need to get involved a bit more with his, uh, with the game. He's been showing that he's dangerous out there a few times.
Conversion successful. Conversion successful. Speed between the score is 12. Gumbeji 4. 12-4. There you go. Still plenty of time. You two have more. Strap yourselves in here, guys, for the last nine and a half minutes of this game. On other scoreline reads, 10, uh, sorry, 12-4. But as we also know, CAC, anything can happen in the knockouts, in the knockout with those nine minutes remaining left in the game. Yes, they sure can. Oh, he's taken that well. He's, I was a bit worried. I thought it was going out. Still plenty of time here in this one. Yeah, there's still plenty of time here. A couple of boys here. They don't need to pack up here. They need to still play the same sort of football they've been playing, the Steve Williams Memorial team. This guy's been good for them as well. Yeah, he has. Carried the ball up. Yeah, he's, he's, he's had some really nice carries, the number 20. Here we go, young Clint Williams. He only knows one way, Clinton. That's straight through the middle. Oh, a little chip here. Yeah, there it is. Credence. Picked up well there by Credence. Gumbangi's running, walking back still. Yeah, Gumbangi struggling a little bit here. I'm not quite sure they... Seem a little bit disorganised. This is where. There's young a couple Willie. of boys looking a bit tired. Oh, no. They might need to go oh, to the no. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen an arm in I'm there. I'm sure I've seen the six. Did right. you see the arm in there? Yep. So, oh. Got away with that one. Big call by the ref then. So here we go. We've got about eight and a half minutes to go. Steve Williams Memorial will get the ball 40 metres out from the Gumbangi line. What options can they come up with here? I think you'll see Brendan Williams show his experience in this set and he'll know when to go. And if he's got support, anything's possible. Here we go again, the number 20. Oh, big defence. Was that John Jarrett? Yeah, that's John, John yeah. Jarrett's that's John. special there. That's a special tackle there. That decision that was went against him made him a bit wild. Yeah, there's young Clint Williams again taking it up, just taking the hard yards. Just, they look like they're setting up here for something. Oh, oh, John again. He's come out of the line. He's put a shot on. The number six has just gotten straight up back into play. He hasn't pulled anything. Oh, there's a bit of push and shove here. They didn't like it, I don't know. Mate, I thought, yeah. Yeah, I John's thought. out there trying to calm the farm. John's not happy. <laughs> yeah, I think the Stephen Williams Memorial side thought it was a bit late, but I don't think he could have pulled out on that one. I thought, I thought it was okay. So here we go now. Two tackles left. Oh, he's gone wide. Oh. He found space again here. I'll tell you what. Really? <laughs> we need to find out if this number six is out here for the Steve Williams Memorial side. Oh, here, 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 here we go. Here goes Byron Roberts Davis. Oh, he's, he's, away. he's got through. He's got inside support. He's found the support play. Oh, oh he's thrown he's it away. It. He's thrown it away. Play on call. Play on call. Back to the action. Needed to go down there, but here we go. Oh. I think the um, couple of swinging arms back there. Here we go. We've got a penalty now. We're getting to settle down here up. now. He's got 10 minutes. He can't be replaced. He's yeah. been sent for 10 minutes. He's been sent for 10 minutes. Sit 
So now that brings the Gambangi Ango side down to 12 men for the last portion of the game. It could be a defining factor in whether they win and go through to the next round or whether the Steve Williams Memorial team give the opportunity here to really take advantage of this one man down. They're going to I think they're going up. for the two. Eddie Walker-Williams, confident. 35 metres out. How do you reckon them and how long to go, you reckon? Oh, there'd be seven, six, seven minutes to go. Four. There you Four go. I'm three go. minutes out. This could be a good decision here, Les, based on the amount of minutes left in this game. They kick this conversion. I'm pretty confident that they'll go through to the semi-final tomorrow against the Torrance Descendants. Another big game. Oh, he's... I think he's... It's short. Oh. He's short. Play, Play on. Gambangi, you need to find something here. They've got... Three and a half minutes to look deep to see what they can pull out. We're going to just play footy. John Jarrett taking the ball hard. Oh! There's a penalty here for lifting. John Jarrett. I think the referee's got to take control of this game. There's one bloke in the sin bin already. Can there be more? So the Steve Williams Memorial team, safe face here. They remain 13 on 12 with about three and a half minutes to go in the game. I think you've got a good call here. A Bindi. minute 50 in the game. I'm the being wire. corrected here now again. Nice big oh, charge Oh, I've lost here. track of time. There's not enough time for the Gambangi team to win this game, I don't think. What's the score? The Steve Williams Memorial team's defence is up to this. Here we go now. Two tackles remaining. He needs to get up. John Jarrett looking to shift wide. Oh, Intercept. he's got an intercept here. Young Wayland Caldwell. Can he go Wayland all the way? Caldwell. He's kicked inside. Bounce. Oh. oh. Unlucky there not to take the ball. Now they'll have to defend themselves out here to win the game, to which I think they can. Yeah, I don't think there's enough time on there's the There's not enough time here for the Ngabangi Yango team. Here they go, though. Taken there. Two tackles left in this set. That was young credence again. Oh, we've got a drop. No, ball he's got a knock on here. He's got a knock on. That, my friends, will that's... take the Steve Williams Memorial team through to tomorrow's semi final against the Torres Descendants. Yeah, there could have been The too makeup long of to tomorrow's semi finals will be the nine o'clock game. One minute one to minute. go. On Oaks Oval. The Nine Bull Brothers against. The country, I think uh, sorry, can pencil that one in country coastal brothers I'm the at brothers. 9 a.m. Followed by the second semi-final between the Torres descendants, and I'm penciling this one in already. Steve Williams and Memorial. I think I am. 50 seconds remaining in the game. All I can say, Benji, is what a great finish. Oh, what a great finish of want. the day. This game has gone down to the wire like you two said it was going to be. It's been a great, great last two oh, games. Oh, high shot today. there. Unlucky not to be penalised. I just hope these guys hold their heads here and not lose the plot. Big run, Clint Williams. He's done a mountain of work, young Clint Oh, Williams. he's been good, mate. He's been really good all day. And he's got he's just coming back from a broken arm. He's got a plate in that arm. I don't even think he should be playing. But as we know, knockouts bring out people that don't you don't think can play. They'll get they'll boot lace their boots on and. Try and get out there and do their best. <laughs> That's the game. There we go. That would be the game. The Gambangi Yango team are out of the knockout 
and the Steve R. Williams Memorial team will progress through to the semi-finals tomorrow against the Torres Descendants. What a day of football. It has been. How was it, Kak? You're looking a bit cold there now, my sister. Yeah, it has been, and um, it's going to be another cracker tomorrow, and especially in the girls' game. Well, Les, we just need to ask straight up, do we have your full divided attention for tomorrow's semi-finals and finals? 100%, mate. So there you in. So I'm not quite sure what Kak's doing tomorrow, but if she's in, we'd love to have her back on board. Yeah, I'm here to get So she's tomorrow. here, and that's it. We're going to we're gonna be the trio again, the Gingy Foxy and... So just going through that again, semi-final number one on field one. Everything's on field one. Nine o'clock game. Niable Brothers up against the Country Coastal Brothers. I can't wait for that game. That's going to be a cracker. That's a bell ringer. That's a grand final come early there. Yeah, it is actually. It actually is. And then the, the side we've all been talking about, the Torrens Descendants, up against the Steve Williams Memorial side. Game two, 10 o'clock, field one. Strap yourself in. That that be, two that cracking second game should be a good game. Followed by the women's yeah. final between the... There's probably only one There's only one thing out of the whole day for me, Les. And Here he is, the, the ball kick away or up. Kick away or up. Kick the balls away. So we've got young Akeem Torrance in the background. Have a bit of a wave there, Akeem. <laughs> Mate, tomorrow you're going to go into a semi-final against the Steve Williams. I know there's going to be, you know, a big game tomorrow for you guys. Mate, I'm just going to say one thing to you. No matter what happens in the game, do not kick the footies away. <laughs> okay, so there you go, but ladies mate, and gentlemen. Who's the women's final All those, oh, the women's grand final will be the Nullinga Dubs United. Against the Mustangs. Against the Dungari Badar. No, against the Mustangs. No, yeah, no, no, no that's no. who it is. Yeah, Mustangs. It's the Dungari Badar yeah. team Dungari yeah. up against the Nullinga, Nullinga Dubs Nullinga. United. That's going to be the game before the final. And then obviously... Out of the semi-finals tomorrow, wh whatever teams progress, I t I'll tell you what, that final 30 minutes each way will be one be. hell of a game. All right. Mate, I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm going to ask you two, are you game enough to yep. pick the two semi-final winners? Yeah, I will. All right. I, I, I'm confident. Okay, I'm who crack. are you going to go, mate? So I think the game between Nying Bull and Country Coastal Brothers, as tight, I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be played at a very quick paced game but I'm going to actually go with the Country Coastal Brothers. Yeah look I, I'm going to... Based on what, what we've seen today. I'm going to think it's going to be tough but I, I'm going to stick with the Niable Brothers there so you know me BG I always go against what you say. Yeah, I know so. you do. I'm actually going with um, Foxy yeah, yeah. I'm going for an upset as well with the Yeah you're going Niable. for the upset too. Yeah. Okay there you go. And the second game I, I'm confident in the sentence I've been impressed with them all game all day and do you know I what? they'll come away with the win. I know Foxy may not agree, and if we all agree, this is going to be a bit weird. But I'm actually, my money's on the Torrance descendants to progress through to the final tomorrow Mine because from game one to the last game to get into the semis, I've actually said this from the start, they've been the team that plays their pure knockout brand footy. Yeah, uh, they defend well, they scramble well. When they get the ball, they take their half chances and they make the most of those. And then they come away with points when they need to and they've got a good support crew behind them as well. Yes, they have. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to agree with you too. I think I'm going to pencil Oh, there you go. The but, ball tipped it. hey, it's knockout. It's semi-final. So Anything let's put our heads happen. on the line here. Nullingar Dubs v Dungari Bader. Uh, I'm saying... Are I, you I know, game enough? I'm not, I'm not, I, uh, um, I don't know whether Kat's uh, game enough, but I'm just going to go out on a limb and I'm just going to say the Nullingar Dubs look too strong. I, I'm, I, I yeah. don't know whether... And the reason being is I don't know whether the Dungati Badair team can find another two or three bench players because they had two. They've only got three benches. That's yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. No, and they only had two. On two. That. No, well, actually, they've got three on the books. They're trying to get one right for oh, tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah, I'm if not they do call that, call they'll that have one. three on the bench <laughs> in a tough game. It is only 20 minutes each way with a half-time break, so that could go into their favour as well. But overall, ask me tomorrow when I'm watching the game with you. Ask me then. Yeah, I'm going to save my tip for the final until just before. Okay, well, yeah. I've gone out early, but You're you know what I'm like, as I always do this sort of stuff. Yep. But I just want to say thank you to Big Foxy. You know, you played today as well and your commentary, <laughs> and I was, you know, taken off the mic for a bit and then Cack came back. The for us. Cack <laughs> the fort. And also, Cack, I just want to say, you know, last year you came in for a guest stint, and this year you've been here pretty much 
most of the the commentary of, of the knockout. Yeah. I just want to say thanks, mate. It's, it's really, from my you know my point of view, it's really good to have you here. It's great to have you part of the commentary team and. Mate, I think you you know you've you definitely the rose between two thorns, <laughs> um, and no doubt you know tomorrow's going to be exciting, mate. And we just can't wait to get into it. Yeah, I, I um thank you for inviting me and having me on board here, and I've, I've really enjoyed it. No, that's great, mate. Have them a little say there and there <laughs> <laughs> when I get it's a word. It's all good. <laughs> okay, so all those live stream viewers, we'll see you all tomorrow, tomorrow right here, nine o'clock, Oaks Oval, for the Lismore Aboriginal Rugby League knockout. Semi-finals, 9 o'clock. The Bunjeroy connection followed, starting off. Followed by the... Is that what fo- fo- Followed by the Torres Descendants up against Steve Williams Memorial. The women's final, Dungadi Badair up against the Nullingar Dubs United. And I'll tell you what, next year, the Bunjeroy <laughs> binge connection, it will be here. So... <laughs> Make yourself, get yourself ready. All my boys out there, you know who you are. We're going to get, I'm going to hit you early. Straight after the big knockout and we'll get you back here in my team. All right, see you tomorrow. Yes. All good. Let's get out of here. Thank you, guys.